Look at him burn. Look at him cook. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and we're back out here for a little stealth in the snow. I'm super excited. This is actually my first ever winter stealth camp. So it's uh, one, for, one for the books. It's gonna be one for the ages, I'm sure. Uh, it's gonna be really cold tonight, dipping into the teens Fahrenheit. So that'll be good. I'm going somewhere where I really, really hope that I can have a fire. But of course, on any stealth camp, you don't really know until you get there. Uh, I'm walking down a stretch here just outside city limits. I'm looking at city that says, welcome to the city of Rochester right ahead of me. So this little industrial area right on city limits should be okay. Should be okay to, to camp near, to camp at to camp on. We'll see. It's now occurring to me that the path that I was hoping to take has not been broken and I'm going to have to break it now. Well, that's actually a pretty good sign. I see some footprints, but they're not from today. And uh, there's some vehicle tracks or something it's hard to tell might have been a plow there's like one set of footprints of a human one set of footprints from a dog i'm already like really warm but that'll change because i can feel my face it's really cold and my body is a well it's getting colder but it's really warm you see how out of breath I am? It's because I haven't really done anything physical since the last episode of Small Plots. Whew. Got a train going by. These are active lines. I'll be hearing that all night. Oh, jeez. Yep, these prints are going right where I'm going. Right up this way. Oh, it is tough walking through this snow. That's what that looks like. My boot, maybe a foot, foot and a half. Oh. The tracks I followed down here, it looks like they stop, or do they? Let's, let's see. Oh, definitely human. But, it kind of looks like they just went right there. Probably somebody just exploring, because there's just vines. This little clearing right here looks promising. Huh. Hmm. Oh. Man, that was a brutal walk in. I am exhausted already. I guess let's go through here. Stuck. Stuck. Okay. I don't even see deer footprints out here. Ooh. Almost walked into this. It's 
some nice prickers. Oh, these are all prickers. Holy jeez. And right there, the perfect hammock trees. With a fire right out in front. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get my back, my pat, my back, my backpack, uh, which I left right up there. Come back and kind of try to make my way around this pr giant pricker bramble to right there. That's uh, pretty perfect to me. No hunting stands. I mean, we're right next to uh, the expressway right there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that. Now that I'm in the woods, I'm starting to see more deer tracks. Here's a spot. Looks like the deer is kind of digging up a little bit, maybe to lay down. I don't know. I'm thinking between these two trees, setting up. But I'm gonna take a quick little walk around, see if there's not a better spot to set up. Kind of close to the edge of the clearing over here. I don't know if the camera's picking up on that. There's nothing over there, but uh, power lines and like piles of dirt. I think I'm okay. You see that yellow there, maybe. Just uh, holding up the power lines. I've already tripped twice. Once I fell, once I almost fell. The snow's really deep and there's like branches hidden. <sighs> All right, time to set up camp. I had to set it up quick. You know, usually I set up my camera and then I set up in front of the camera. However, my camera is uh, having some issues staying on because it's so cold. <clears throat> in fact, it might just turn off in the middle of a sentence. Any sentence doesn't really matter. I'm keeping everything in my pocket against my body and it's still turning off like it, it, it takes about 40 seconds to turn on and then I've already I've already lost uh, a, a full battery basically by turning it on when it was too cold so this should be a fun night trying to film anyway let's see uh, see what we got here it's one of the worst setups I've ever made <clears throat> the hammock and tarp are too big for the trees I've chosen so you kind of have the tarp uh, over there, kind of up against everything, going over on that side of the tree. You can see how much is coming down. This tarp's been up for 10 minutes and it's already full of snow. Uh, there's a bunch of branches hanging down there. You can kind of see, whoop, kind of see where I took care of those. And I will use them for firewood because they were just some dead hangings. Uh, huh, so this is great. I uh, finally have everything set up as well as I can anyway. I'm going to get my sleeping pad set up and get my fire going because it is cold. Okay, got the fire starting right next to this, this uh, billboard, this roadside advertisement here. Looking pretty good. Let's see what we got. Yeah. The fire is just outside of the tarp area here. Uh, and I will have my chair right there. Loving the fire. And there is going to just be endless traffic all night. But that's okay. Huh, finally starting to look like camp. Nice. This is that special kind of cold where you're either too cold or just sweating the bejesus out of your coat. This coat right here that I was just wearing uh, is wet on the outside and the inside. I'm sweating through, I have two thermal shirts on. I'm sweating through both of those. I sweat through that coat to the point where this phone that I'm filming on now, which is acting much better in the cold than my GoPro, uh, was in the pocket of that coat and wet from my body sweat because it was facing like the front screen is facing the inside so I'm just like I'm trying to replenish some fluids uh, I have my coat off I'm just wearing this now I'm gonna switch back to that coat I've had it off for a little while I'm gonna switch around switch around yeah got, uh, got the fire going there that's pretty good huh <sighs> pretty soon we'll be breaking into the beverage center there mm -hmm. <sighs> 
doing dry January, so I really, I had a couple drinks this past weekend, but this will be basically the first time I've drank, not really in this month, but you know, basically. Got a new canteen. Girlfriend got that for me for Christmas. So far, I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, holds a little bit more than a liter, which is an improvement over the uh, the liter that I've been bringing out before in the Nalgene. <sighs> Just taking a quick break. It's been nonstop trudging through snow the last two hours, and I I am, I gotta get back some. I gotta get some of my energy back. Whew, snow has not stopped coming down. Camera's not really picking up on it, but it's uh, it's it's moderately snowing. See if I can get like, yeah, the camera's really not picking up too much on that. All right, well, I'm uh, just taking a quick break next to the fire here. I have more wood over there that I'll process up in a little bit. Have some more water from my new canteen. Got a couple other new toys this trip. Pretty excited about that. <sighs> but whoa. Oof. I am it's a little critter over there, I think. <sighs> uh, probably a squirrel, but I am pooped. Good, good lord. I, uh, <clears throat> like you, even coming in here, I was like, <clears throat> and then trudging through this snow. It's like two and a half feet deep in some places here. So just trying to trudge through all that. Oh, speaking of which, see if I can get that. I did. Find a hunting stand. It, 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 there it is. There it is. Oh, it's weird if you don't see one, to be to be perfectly honest. There's a pretty much any patch of woods, even if it is like 50 feet next to a freeway, there's gonna be people hunting in it around around these parts. Other than that, super peaceful. The uh, footprints I saw coming in just basically they came all the way in from the trail, all the way up to the exact woods that I was walking into, and then they just stopped, basically. I think I, I, think I got all that on camera. Um, so I'm, I walked further into the woods uh, to have this fire. Oh! Yeah, the critters are out, man. I think that was like a... No, it wasn't a chipmunk. Chipmunks hibernate. Must have been another squirrel. Maybe even a mouse. Little guy. Saw it like go up a tree. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a mink. Uh, it's about uh, 19 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I think was the last number I saw. Huh, pretty soon we'll have some beers, make some food. Uh, I got a, a new segment I want to do here on Small Plots where I read a couple comments. Uh, I made a post earlier this week of people that oh, wanted to. Uh, you know, have me read a comment on a video. So I'm gonna pick a few. I'm not gonna. I can't read all of them. I don't want this to turn into this like a, like a half hour of me uh, reading and responding to comments. But I thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Oh my gosh, these boots are getting warm. <laughs> uh, uh, oh gosh. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta move. I gotta move. Okay. <clears throat> See if my phone can stay propped up in this very precarious position. I wish I could show. The position it's very precarious ah, first drink of the night a nice cool refreshing soda water because i am parched and i love soda water Whew, that's what i was drinking all month instead of beer Ooh, it's already chunky we've only been out here for uh, two-ish hours maybe a little bit longer two and a half hours it's already almost totally frozen <laughs> wow ah Ah, it's so cold. Ah, it is, it is thirst quenching though. That's pretty good. Ah. Let's put it with this hand, huh? The glove hand. Let's get a, let's get a close up of this canteen. It's covered in snow right now. Uh, I I, I'm sure you guys have seen this style of canteen before. They're great. Seen Joe Robinette use them, so you know it's uh, it's an, it's an official camping piece of equipment. It's gonna be dark in a half hour, forty minutes or so. I need to process more wood. I have wood to process. 
I've just been so bushed. I'm like running on fumes. I didn't get good sleep last night. The, the walk in here killed me. I was just breaking trail all the way here uh, and then leaving the trail, even though there were footprints still basically breaking it. Just, just breaking just the, the trail. You, you know how, you know what it's like. There's a big old pile of poop right over there. It's frozen. <sighs> it's already almost done. I'm uh, making short work out of it. Making short work of it. Making short, short work out of it. I, I don't want to do anything right now. <laughs> I don't really have to. I kind of plan on just processing the wood as I need it. Take a couple minutes here and there throughout the night. Probably going to be an early night. Uh, but that's okay because I'm in the wilderness, kind of. I'm camping. In the in the winter wonderland first of the season snowy winter camp uh, I'm definitely a little bit rusty on the winter camping uh, but I'm doing a, I'm doing okay you forget little things like the it's difficult to walk through deep snow so, stuff like that you know and and, and you, you get sweaty and wet Ooh, let's dry off the sock a little bit getting kind of wet in these muck boots they don't breathe they keep you super dry from the elements, a little moist from the foot sweat. See that little bit of steam coming off of it? Not really picking up on the camera. Whew, a little toasty here. Oh, okay, well that's enough of my foot. Uh, I'll make some food soon. And you know, beer always gives you energy. Well, not always, beer sometimes gives you energy. Okay, so on this new uh, segment on small plots, I want to kind of make a habit of this. I'm just going to read a few comments, just kind of uh, like, like a connection with you fine people. So in future videos, if you want to see your comment read, well, please leave a comment. And, you know, if you haven't already subscribed, maybe that would, that would just be so lovely, so lovely for you to subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. Got lots more of uh, this kind of business, you know? So, uh... And, you know, liking it also helps to grow the channel. I got, I, I got to go fast here because this camera's going to turn off. I got my <laughs> phone here to read some comments, so I got to, I got to move. I got to book it. All right, uh, Brett Hartling uh, asks, "Are you planning on doing any more collaborations with other YouTubers?" <clears throat> uh, Sam Bananas brought me over to your channel. I'm for, forever grateful he did. Well, well, thanks there, Brett. And yes. Definitely uh, more collaborations with YouTubers coming up this year, including Sam Bananas. We haven't set anything in stone, but we're, we're both, we're gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And may, maybe some, someone else, maybe some other people. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, you know, who knows? No. Nope. Uncle Dubs asks, uh, what's your favorite? Cold weather stealth camping or warm weather stealth camping? My guess is cold weather, no mosquitoes. You are absolutely right, Uncle Dubs. More specifically, cool weather. Um, I love this out here in the cold, but it is cold. Uh, you know, you need the fire basically to stay alive or some, uh, a, t a ton of layers, uh, especially cause I, I sleep in the hammock, not a tent or anything like that, or a hot tent or, or, or wh whatever. So, um, fall, fall's my favorite season. Ooh, big old cardinal just flew by. That was beautiful. Funky Monkey asks, what was your major in college? And what's your zodiac sign? Well, uh, my major in college was commercial art and advertising, which I did not actually get a degree for because going to art school is a waste of money. And now I make a pretty good living doing art, animation to be specific. Uh, and my zodiac sign is a Capricorn. Just had my birthday during the break. Camping with Sam Bananas, my dude, asks, what is your beauty regimen and how do you make black v-necks look so good? Uh, well, first of all, uh, I, black v-necks are just ridiculous. I just wear them for the heck of it. But they, I, I recognize that it's a ridiculous type of shirt to wear. And my beauty regimen is just slathering myself in honey 
and lying down on the ground for 48 hours or so. Isaiah Johnson asks, uh, do you ever get afraid at night when you're, in, oh, hold on, hold on, there's was, there was a couple, sorry, a, a lot of people are super nice and they write really nice things um, about loving the channel and I really love those. I'm not gonna read those right now, so I'm trying to get to the question part. Uh, have you ever fallen out of or had your hammock break on you? Also, do you ever get afraid at night when you're in some of those places? I've never had my hammock break. Uh, it's gonna happen someday. Um, and I've never fallen out either. I almost did one time. Ooh, I almost feel it got like darker all of a sudden. Maybe I just looked up and realized the snow is just coming down pretty good still. Anyway, I almost fell out one time. And no, I don't really get afraid. I get, uh, especially when I'm stealth, I just, I'm on high alert. Um, I would even call it uneasiness. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say, the only thing that would really make me afraid is if I was alone in the woods, like on a stealth camp, and I saw someone like running towards me with a flashlight or something. I think that would spark fear for sure. Uh, Philip G asks, are you starting to get recognized around Rochester now that the channel has gained some traction? Will you be exploring beyond Rochester eventually to, say, the Adirondacks, Syracuse, Rome, Utica area? Uh, no. <laughs> I haven't been recognized around Rochester. Uh, and yes, I will be going to the Adirondacks, hopefully this summer. Uh, I have some plans to this spring. All right, I'm gonna do one more. I, I'm, just, I'm having so much fun reading these. Okay, let's, let's go two more, let's go two more. We got weed in the bush, my dude. Uh, my question is, do you, did you ever have hair? And if so, we all want to see a picture of that. I did, although I started balding pretty early and I was shaving my head by 25. I'm 36 now. Um, so I've been bald for over a decade at this point. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I had a straight up afro in high school. If I can find a picture of that, I'll, I'll put it, put it up. But uh, yeah, no, I had a ton of hair at one point. Okay, final, final question. Somebody's coming up on me. Now we're good. All right, final question. What is the toilet situation and what happens if you need to drop the kids at the pool? Yeah, I don't know, you just go. That's really it. You dig a hole, you poop in it. Usually next to a tree. I like to do the uh, uh, lean up against the tree and kind of just uh, I find that that mitigates any potential uh, contamination of my shoes or pants. And it kind of probably looks funny to people watching. So yeah, thanks so much everybody for leaving comments. Uh, leave a comment on this video and I will hopefully read it next video um, and a answer the, the question if you have a question for me. <sighs> Time to drink a beer. <sighs> Today we have Rohrbach Brewing who makes Space Kitty. The store, I was gonna have a Space Kitty tonight but the local bodega didn't have any. Uh, different Animal IPA. I can't remember if I've had this on the channel. I've had it before and I like it. So let's... Uh, <sighs> Get into it. Ooh, very good. <laughs> My hands are so cold now. <laughs> That's pretty good. <coughs> Ooh, that cold in the lungs. Hmm. Well, that is just that is just freaking delightful. I like that a lot. <sighs> well, I don't want to push it too much with this camera. It's probably going to shut off at any moment. Although I am pretty close to the fire, who knows. Okay, time to cook some food. Today, I just have some regular classic beef Oscar Mayer wieners. I'm gonna start with three. And as per usual, you know how I do this. No need for a stick. Oh God, it's falling. Well, okay, can't fix that now. I wanna burn my finger off. Oh, I'll put them right on the coals. Cook them up nicely. There we go. So bam. Look at him go. Look at him burn. Look at him cook. It's, they, they, just, they just cook so fast in the coals and they taste delicious. They're probably good. I'm gonna leave them on for like a little bit longer, but they're basically good to go. Probably takes three or four minutes to cook these guys. A little bit longer for other stuff. If you've been watching the channel, you know I've cooked steak on the coals a few times. Uh, sausages. Uh, I think I cooked a chicken one time. I don't know if I did that on small plots or just in my life. I'm not really sure. Uh, got this sweet new light. Thanks, Ann and Josh. Look at this uh, kind of just 
barrier of snow that the fires melted out. Looks kind of cool. All right, time to eat some hot dogs. All right, here we go. Let's get that, let's get that hot dog. Numero uno, that's, that's not. There we go. A little bit of ash, not too bad. That's fine, just fine. If someone were to look in the woods right now, they'd be able to see me with this light. There's a, you can see the lights over there, the expressway. And then over here behind me, you can see those lights. That's from the uh, the path over there. They, they illuminate the path at night. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm quite bright with this bright, bright light. And bright, bright hot dog. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, it's about as dark as it's getting tonight. Uh, it's overcast. I'm right next to the city. Not in the city, right next to the city. And of course, that that little what's that? That that little guy right there. Huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a little, let's take a little walk around here, shall we? Just see what we're working with. So, about to finish my first beer, move on to beer number two. Now that I've had some hot dogs in my belly, uh, right now I'm walking towards the expressway over here. Nobody's stopping. Everyone's going 70 miles an hour. And what is happening? That looks nice. Here, let's turn the light off. Yeah, this is, uh, this is no light. This is just how bright it is out here. Now that I'm not under the tarp, you can kind of see. It's uh, the sun set about an hour or so ago. So it might get like a touch darker, but this, this is kind of it. This is what we're working with tonight, which is interesting, this is cool. One of the things I like about winter camping, the snow reflects the overcast skies, especially right next to the city. There's the lights over there for the uh, walking trail that I came in on. Uh, I'm getting a tiny bit of snow in my hammock here. Uh, nothing to really write home about. Let's see if I can pick any up. Yeah, not really. It's not, not in here right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to blow this up again. Oh yeah, it's already flat. That always happens. You blow it up and then it gets flatter and you gotta blow it up again because of the, the heat of the breath hot breath well just kind of relaxing it's pretty uneventful uh Enjoy my hot dogs. I have some snacks. I'm not really hungry though, so I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna eat those. I might save those for next time. Just keeping warm. I'm a little chilly, you know, it's in the teens, but uh, I, I have this outer hard shell jacket on, this Nautica soft shell ja jacket on, and two thermal shirts. Uh, I got these snow pants and a pair. I mean, I should be warm, right? <clears throat> Somehow still a little bit chilly. Uh, it's uh, very tired. I'm kind of just sitting here listening to the sounds of uh, the expressway and kind of turning on a podcast when I remember that I'm listening to it, but I keep pausing it and then forgetting to unpause it just because I'm, I'm listening to it. Oh, look. Well, as I'm filming this, it's got a little text from Sam Bananas. Shout out to Sam Bananas. What's up, buddy? I'll answer your text in a second here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like drinking my beer so slowly. I don't even know if I'm going to keep... I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to open another one after this. It's been like three hours. I'm a third of the way into my second beer. I feel like I'm wasting it a little bit, uh, but kind of just trying to stay awake. Oh, jeez, it, it is pretty peaceful back here. There's not really like a lot of times when I'm at stealth spots, um, constantly head on a swivel. Here, um, I'm really close to rows. I'm really close to paths. I'm really close to the uh, uh, industrial area over there and, and the train yard and stuff like that. But. Uh, even if one of those people saw me, I don't know how, mu how much they would care. So I'm not like super an edge tonight. Obviously, taking precautions, it's still a stealth camp. I'm still trying to be as stealthy as possible, but it's uh, 
I, I don't feel too much danger back here, which is which is nice. Good, good uh, first stealth camp of 2022. You know, easing in. So we got the fire kind of dwindling down. But what I really wanted to show you guys is how much snow is on top of my my tarp here. Uh, what's more, I'm not going to do anything about it. It's sinking down pretty low, but in a way it's also kind of blocking future snow from coming in because I, I, I did a terrible job hanging this tarp. I could have done a lot more to help, but I was, it was snowing, I was cold, uh, and this isn't the best area like to set up. You know, these trees are kind of close. My camera's not focusing. There we go. But bed is imminent. There's the billboard. It stopped snowing, which is nice. Yeah, this is just gonna have a hard time focusing. But uh, that's what's going on. Bed's happening soon. I'm pretty tired still. And it's bright. And there's the hunting fort, the hunting stand. I get corrected in the comments. Bed is happening. I'm very tired. I'm probably gonna pass out pretty instantaneously. Uh, so yeah, unless anything wild and crazy happens in the night, which it's, it doesn't seem like it's likely to, but you never know. Oh, uh, well, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll see you in a second. Yeah. Well, that was a terrible sleep. Ugh. My feet were so cold all night, cause, yeah, let's see if I can, this hammock hang is so and slouchy. Some bird freaking out. Uh, see, like when you sleep at it at an angle, feet are kinda like almost sticking out of the hammock. So they were pretty chilly all night. Uh, bird freaking out over there about something, probably me. <sighs> I did sleep, it was okay. The sleep I got was fine, it just, was brief and often interrupted every, t every time I had to move, which is often. <sighs> oh God, <laughs> stuff out there. I guess it, it wasn't as under the tarp as I thought. It is under the tarp. Oh God, <laughs> good thing I don't, other than the gloves. I mean, it's okay for all this stuff to get snow on it. And the gloves are fine too, really, there's no problem. All right, well, I better get up and get out of here. It's just starting to get brighter out. So I got to get out of here. All right, mostly packed up and ready to go here. Got my hammock all cleaned up and all my lines all cleaned up. And all my cans. All cleaned up. There are the holes. There are the can holes. Uh, well, it was a pretty fun camp. It was a great one to get kind of back in the swing of things, both filming small plots and winter camping. Uh, definitely have to make some tweaks, like making sure I, uh, you know, find better hammock trees, things like that. Because that's my feet are still cold. I can barely feel them. I can't wait to get home and jump in a nice warm shower. Uh, but yeah, got the fire out here. That's what I love about winter camping too. Is just throw snow on it and pack it down and there's really, really no question. It's a pretty serene and wonderful little small plot. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, don't forget. An episode of Small Plots every Tuesday. Yes, even in this, this wintry, disastrous weather, we're still doing Small Plots. We're still, we're still doing camping, we're still doing other stuff. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you on that uh, you know, white compacted next to you. So there's the Costco. There's the woods behind the Costco. And here where my shadow is, is the trail I'm following to the woods behind the Costco. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice little setup there.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and we're back in the snow for another little stealth camp. It's a little bit warmer today than it was on my last winter stealth camp. It's very close to 40 degrees Fahrenheit today, so I just had to get out. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, the spot where I'm stealth camping, it's gonna be a little tricky to get to. I'm kind of already where I need to go in. There's nothing stealthy about my entrance other than the fact that it's winter and there's nobody around here. I'm going to be searching for those, those hot incredible deals camping behind Costco here. So that's gonna be wonderful. Look at that sun, isn't that, that's a fine sun. That's fine sun indeed. Okay, so I'm gonna walk a little bit backwards this way because it looks like there's kind of a path and there's kind of footprints that are, well, they were left here today. Because they're very fresh. Uh, looks like two people. Big boot, little boot. We'll see where these lead. Hopefully it's not directly where I'm going. <laughs> like the last time I was stealth camping. Not that I saw anybody, but uh, I followed footprints all the way to the camp. Now, the good thing about this stealth camp is if I get there and there's really no place to camp, I'm near some other options. Places I've stealth camped before, and boy, are these footprints sure leading right where I'm going. Oh boy. Oh geez. I think I'm walking on ice right now. I kind of hear it buckling below me. Let's just uh, walk forward here, gingerly, gingerly now. Easy. Some, some fine bags. It's a nice uh, construction trailer. I don't know what they're doing with it. Probably nothing. This is going right where I'm headed. And what's worse, there's no footprints back. The fresh tracks veer off this way. A little bit older tracks go this way. I'm gonna go this way real quick, just to see where these are going. Oh, <laughs> okay. It looks like they just walked over here. Uh, there's some animal tracks. And then walked right back up here. Okay. I guess we're just playing follow the tracks today. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fun game, isn't it? Whew. Hopefully I'll be able to camp. So there's the Costco, there's the woods behind the Costco, and here where my shadow is, is the trail I'm following to the woods behind the Costco. There's that building there too, some medical building. I'm honestly, I'm honestly not really sure, but I will say that uh, most of the footprints are walking that way. There are still some going this way though. If I can find a spot back here, this is gonna be so perfect got like these hills kind of all around me here and flat ground in between. Whew, man, I'm getting warm. Well, I'm a warm little guy right now. Well, this spot would be pretty perfect if they weren't on the top of a hill here for everyone to see. And this woods behind me here has footprints leading right into it. I think I'm gonna call this spot. I don't think I'm gonna camp here. Um, maybe in the summer, but I can see everything. I can see the road, I can see that building, I can see the Costco. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go back the way I came and hop into another little patch of woods. A little patch of small plot. Walking through this little kind of field here. Oh, I got some, got something in my boot. That's nice. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Lots of footprints around. I don't think any of them are human though, so that's good. But a ton. Oh yeah, a lot of footprints, a lot of footprints. That's okay, that's okay. None of them are human, and uh, that's really what I'm worried about. Looks like something peed on this rock, on this snow, and then uh, took a little dookie. Maybe coyote? That's my guess. I've camped near this spot before, and uh, definitely some coyote holes. So I'm guessing this is coyote right here. Uh, shame, I wanted to set my tent up right here, but I'm not gonna do it on the poops. So, 
I guess I'm gonna look for a better spot. Yeah, I think this spot is gonna do it for me. Uh, I'm hidden on both sides. Not so much that side, but there's not too much over there, and I can see the traffic behind the camera. But I'm not planning on having a fire tonight. It's gonna remain in the uh, 30s, the upper 30s all night. So I'll be fine, just fine. The, uh, the first thing I wanna do before putting up my tent is stomp out a little ground. like the jingling of keys, but I, I might have just been that bird. Huh, getting it pretty good. Moving the snow aside, stomping it down. This is gonna work out nicely. Watch me walk away, putting myself on display. One, two, three a day, I'm on my way, on my way. That's, that's probably, that's probably good, right? Almost perfect. Worse. Trying so hard not to get snow on it, failing equally as hard. No matter how big you think the spot that you're stamping out is, it's never big enough. It's an incredible feat of uh, nature. That ground sheet isn't big enough at all. Oh. I have a feeling I'm gonna get a little bit of snow in my tent tonight. It's okay. Okay, got the tent up, kinda. Gonna rearrange the under tarp there. Already snow inside the tent. Took about, yeah, roughly two seconds. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, do, one of, do one of these. Thought I could fold that. Definitely not gonna be big enough. There's snow right in the middle. I gotta get rid of that. Oh, that worked pretty good. Okay. Much better. Okay, gonna stake it in. Set up my sleeping pad. That's basically it for tonight, guys. No fire, no hammock, not too much. It's gonna be dark real soon. Camping time. All right, here we are, home for the night. Uh, a little bit of a uh, raised back here from the snow. That's not gonna be too bad to sleep on, if I'm being quite honest. A couple of little sticks and stuff. I still have to, uh, still have to get the corners with the stakes. Uh, but for now, for this very moment, it's pretty good. Man, look how that bright that sun is coming in. Okay, in the tent, everything staked out staked out uh, because of the snow couldn't get quite down to the earth and in the places where I could get down to the earth it was just not going in so, uh, not too worried I don't think we're supposed to get high winds tonight maybe a tiny bit of precipitation uh, did I say precipitation usually I wait a little bit uh, till a little bit later in the night but since I'm gonna be sitting on this sleeping pad all night I think I should get it going huh 
Okay, got everything kind of just set up for the night. Uh, found out something a little lame. Um, I must have gotten just a tiny bit of snow in each of my boot. So the backs of my socks, that weird. Uh, the backs of my socks and the backs of my ankles on my pants are just wet. So when I was kneeling, blowing up my sleeping pad here, uh, that got my butt a little wet. Just, uh, I don't even know, it must, it couldn't have been that much snow. I didn't feel any snow go in there. Oh, I got some, got something in my boot, that's nice. But it must have gone in there. So I'm just sort of sitting here with my legs out on my coat, uh, kind of just drying them off a little bit because I don't want to be wet by the time I go to bed and I don't have a fire to dry off next to. Uh, so this is, this is, this is what I'm doing. Let's, uh, Let's get a view, huh? Let's get a let's get a nice little view. How's that for a view, huh? I've stripped down to my most bottom layer. It is so nice outside. That's that's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice little setup there. And on this side, just some woods, some traffic. The expressway is over there. Maybe you see some signage. Just kind of the rest of the forest. It's not very thick. For reference, the Costco is over there. I can't actually see it. I've definitely camped in this little woods before. Not this exact spot, but along here before I have camped. Uh, so that's how I knew when I came, when I was coming to that other spot. And I was like, eh, if it doesn't work out, I do have that other little spot I could go to and I'm glad I did because it was just not going to happen. Pretty soon going to have a little bit of breaking into the beverage center there. Uh, but for now, you do what you do when you're camping. Time to eat a little bit of food. Uh, today, I will be making the, uh, the, 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 the small plots exclusive uh, leftover cold pizza. That's it. Nothing fancy. Nothing even kind of remotely entertaining or impressive, but I will be putting some Louisiana hot sauce packet from Popeyes on there just to spruce it up. See how that goes. How's this going to work? Oh boy. All right. Okay. Here's my, here's my plate. Little dippity doo. Oh yeah. If you just put hot sauce on it and pretend it's cooked, it's like the same thing. So far, extremely fun, chill little camp. Kind of hanging out after I eat, after I get a little something in my stomach, I'll break into the beverage center and kind of go from there. Delightful. Time to break into the beverage center here. <sighs> Gotta have my special gloves. The beverage center is right here next to me. I actually had it out in the snow originally and forgot I'm not really spending too much time outside on this trip. So I brought them inside so I don't have to get the snow off every single time. Uh, today we're working with a favorite here, a little bit of Space Kitty from Rohrbach Brewing here in Rochester, New York. It's a uh, Citra Double IPA. And it's one of my favorite beers. So why not have it on a little bit of a winter stealth camp tonight? Hmm. Oh yeah. A pretty chill stealth camp. Not really worried about anybody coming back. No, I wanted a chill one today <clears throat> after last week's harrowing blizzard that I camped out in. So yeah, if you haven't watched that video yet, go and check it out. I mean, after watching this video, of course, don't leave this video to go watch that video. That's ridiculous. Finish this video and then go watch that video. In fact, go watch other videos that I have. Tons of videos to, to choose from. Uh, and if you like those videos and you like this video, I'd love it if you popped a little subscribe there for me. And if you really like what I do, maybe a little bell, get notifications when I when I post videos or go live, you know? Maybe, so live is happening too, you know? 
and a like. Can't forget the like. Like this video, please. Comment if you can. Share all that good stuff. It really helps my channel grow, and I'm trying to help the channel grow with Space Kitty. Oh, I took a sip and then burped. That was terrible. Yeah, subscribe, subscribe for more of this. Whew. That was cool. Yeah. So I would like to hear what your favorite beers uh, to drink while camping are, or if you're not a beer person, well, what you like to drink, whether it's uh, another alcoholic beverage or otherwise, maybe you like some hot cocoa. Maybe you're just a water person. Maybe, uh, you know, you're one of those people that, that drinks their own. This like hair at the corner of my eye, I feel it. It's like right there. I can't see it, but I see it. It's like right, it's like right there. That is hitting the spot. After that cold, cold leftover pizza, this is really hitting the spot. Going down smooth, going down easy. <sighs> well, I'm gonna chill out for a little bit, drink this beer. It's already going down pretty quick. And uh, just kind of enjoy being plunked down here in some tiny little forest behind a Costco. <laughs> you know, as much as one can enjoy it, which I do, but I know that's kind of weird for a lot of people. Uh, but just know that it's a blast if you ever, if you ever have the opportunity. Just kind of enjoying a little relaxation here in the night. It's quite, quite, quite fun. Just did a little bit of a live stream. Uh, check that out. It'll be last week's video. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thanks everybody for coming out to the live stream. I, I had an absolute blast answering questions. Uh, and to the person who guessed that I was camping behind Costco and REI, um, I lied. You were right. Wheatcott family says next to REI in Rochester. Why would you think I've already been there twice? I wouldn't go there a third time. That's yeah. I told I told you I wasn't here, but I'm I'm here. This is <laughs> you got it. I guess I'll show the uh, inside of my tent here. <clears throat> Not too much to show, but you know, have my uh, production lights up here. Uh, got my water. The rest of my beverage center. The uh, it's like half half done over here, about half done with my supply. Uh, here's some toilet paper. I'm not going to need it for anything but blowing my nose tonight. Uh, here's where I had my phone for the live stream, just kind of right, right there. Um, and yeah, this is it. One thing that I'm kind of uh, I'm gonna have to deal with it more in the morning than tonight is some moisture under there. That's that's something that I. I don't know. If anybody has any ideas of how to stop that, uh, please let me know in the comments. I have a tarp underneath here. Um, it's not going to be too bad, uh, especially because it's not going to be freezing or anything tonight, but uh, I'd like to mitigate it if I could. It's, you know, it's fine for a, a single overnight, but yeah, here it is. Here's my little space for tonight. <sighs> it's pretty, pretty relaxing, if I'm being honest. Here's my, here's my external battery. Very relaxing in here. Yep. I have to have my sleeping pad diagonal in the tent because I am tall. And that's just, that's the way, 
that I fit in this tent. It's technically a three-person tent, but, uh, you know, one Kevin, basically. Not too much else planned for tonight, other than some relaxation. Um, yeah, really, just it's just so nice to be out here. Uh, so, for the rest of the night, I'll just sit here. I think I'm going to get in my sleeping bag. I'm going to change my socks, get into my sleeping bag, and put something on my phone, and just kind of hang out for the rest of the night. Which sounds <laughs> pretty good to me. So this might be a good opportunity to show you that here's the last of the flat ground in my tent and then it just goes up i have uh, oh oh and and the light falls uh i just have my beer kind of on this ledge it's uh from here where my hand is to up here it's about i don't know seven inches to a foot <laughs> up something like that it's hard to tell because it's a, a gradual incline but yeah so i'm down here um yeah you can kind of see it's all snow <laughs> it's okay it's pretty good hey do you guys hey do you guys want to see real quick what uh what a spilled space kitty looks like under underneath underneath there Oh God, <sighs> that's a bummer, man. That's the last space kitty. There's a little bit left. And what makes it worse when I tried to pick it up, I picked it up <laughs> uh, the wrong side. That's what happens when you're drinking beer in a tent in the absolute dark. All right, well, I guess I'll clean that up. That's fun, that's good, that's good stuff. Well, I tried cleaning it up best I could. I uh, only brought enough tissue to blow my nose with, not clean up a, a beer spill. So it's still wet, but at least uh, it's not pooling. And that's uh, it's kind of the best I can do here. Had to pull my bag up out of the beer. Man, what a bummer. You know, I'm going to bed soon, so like at the end of the day, like, you know, whatever. It's not, not, not really, and not really that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. It could be worse. It could be way, way worse. Well, I've just kind of been chilling, relaxing after I spilt my beer. I actually spilled kind of two beers, like the last little bit of one and then uh, kind of like three-fourths of another. That sucks. Definitely gonna have to hose some of this down. My sleeping pad and, and the bottom of this tent. Uh, but it's dried up. I used the last of my tissues uh, to, to do that. Um, so now I think it's, it's time for bed. Uh, yeah, if anything crazy happens tonight, I'll, I'll let you know, but unless it does, I'll see you guys in a second. Well, that was a night. Oh, I didn't sleep very well. I slept okay, just not very amazingly. I slept a little bit later than I wanted to, too. It's like 8.30 a.m., Pretty pretty late for a stealth camp. I gotta pack up and get out of here. Huh. Nothing to report. No weird animal sounds, no weird people sounds. Just kinda drifted in and out of sleep. I don't think I mentioned it, but uh, for the first time on the channel and for the first time in many years last night, I used an inflatable pillow and I'm glad I did. Uh, it worked out just fine. I think last time I was in a tent, I missed having that elevated thing in the hammock doesn't matter because you're kind of just like you know in the hammock and it's not a big deal but uh glad i i brought this uh tip for people that like to bring blow up pillows don't blow them up all the way i blew this up about halfway and it was perfect you know by the time your head gets on there that's more cushy blow it up all the way it come, becomes kind of like hard and it slides around and it's a whole thing uh yeah pillow between the beer i spilled and melted snow just kind of coming up through 
the ground sheet and the tent. Uh, that's what we're working with. Not a problem today. I'm just going to pack up and leave and I'll dry it out when I get home. But if I was on a multi-day, that would be a much bigger problem. You could literally see where I was laying. <laughs> like diagonally. All right, well, I'm going to continue to pack up and get out of here. Well, I'm all packed up here. It was kind of a big P in the B with everything being so wet. My pack's definitely a little bit heavier and fuller leaving, even though I have exhausted the food and beer and water. Still, still heavier and, and, and more full. I also packed it pretty poorly. Uh, here's where the tent was, right where I'm standing. There's, there's some yellow back there. That's where I was stomping the beer cans. I know what you're thinking. That's it's not what you're thinking. That's where I was just stopping the beer cans right there. Uh, just taking a little look around here before I get out. Just appreciating the final last bits of nature before I return to my creature comforts. It was a nice one. Very relaxing, as most are. Huh. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday. You know, I'm going to be doing stuff like this. I'm going to be doing other camping. going to be doing other stuff as well. I, I, I made a meat hot like a, like a month ago. You never know. You never know what's coming up on Small Plots. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you on that beer-soaked nexty. Welcome to another sweet universal sensations with Kay. I'm once again your guide to the spiritually decadent Kay Davies. Please get yourself relaxed. Grab a bagel. Grab five bagels. <laughs> You've heard the carbs. Now, step into my world of wonderful existence. I think you'll be quite pleased you did. I'm definitely a little closer to homes than I think I realize. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and I gotta move quick because there are tons of people around and we're jumping in these woods. I'm in a little patch of woods right now. It's uh, technically a park, but it's right behind this Walgreens over here where the Uber dropped me off. I saw a man with his dog coming back here. I don't, have, I don't think I have to worry about them. Whew. I don't know if you can see apartments and busy road right over there. And here are some footprints. But fear not, I was the one who left these footprints yesterday when I came back here to check this place out. Really looking forward to this one. It's, uh, I think I'm gonna be able to have a fire, which is, you know, always my goal out here on these stealth camps. Very busy over there and uh, I don't know if the camera's picking up. Just some homes, just homes 
Homes, 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 homes. We're looking at some, some gusty winds tonight. We're looking at some rain, some possible snow. I've already gotten rained on a little bit. When I first got here, it was raining. It's tapered off for now, which is nice. Well, home sweet home. This is actually kind of a little hidden gem. Despite that busy road that's right there, I can hardly hear it at all. I can definitely hear it, but it's not too bad. I am already sweaty. It's in the mid 40s here, and I don't have too much on. I have this jacket I'm about to take off, and this hoodie and a t-shirt. I have more for later tonight when it gets colder. I'm hoping to have a fire. I think I'll be okay. This is really peaceful back here. A bug just landed on my camera. That's nice. Just to kind of show you what we're working with here in early March in upstate New York. Yeah. Yeah, nobody, nobody comes back here. Well, if it's one thing I always do while camping, it's uh, injure myself almost immediately. No clue how I did that. I just noticed I was getting blood on stuff. So let me treat whatever this is. And then I think I'm gonna set my hammock up right here, right here, right here. I'm gonna have to cut this vine, but that's okay. It's basically the only spot. Oh, maybe I set up over there. I'm gonna look around. Maybe I won't have to cut the vine. There's a couple of spots. This, this, this woods is kind of prime, but it won't be for much longer because a lot of these trees are ash trees and they're dead. Right, I've looked around a little bit. This, this is definitely going to be the spot. Also, the wind is picking up. The rain's picking up just a little bit. Not too bad, but I want to get this uh, tarp up so when it does start to rain heavier, I, I'm not just standing out in it. The challenge is uh, not having it drip goop on my tarp after I cut it. If you know anything about cutting wild grapevines, it's... Uh, you'll know that they, they goop up. There's a lot of water in here. You, I think you can actually survive on the water in these things. There's, there's so, so much moisture in there, uh, but cutting it makes the water kind of goop out into a gel. I don't want that dripping on my, on my tarp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it lower and then kind of take the vine and like wrap it around a tree to just keep it from dangling and dripping on me. Oh yeah. No time at all. Oh, it's kind of like two vines connected. All right, well, okay. There we go, okay, that's gonna dangle over there. And I can have this dangle over here. Oh, beautiful. <sighs> well, that's great, no more grapevine. So, I don't think the camera can see it. There's a tree over here right there and I'm gonna connect the other side to this tree right here as always I'm going to be using my Kamek Cooley you no, these no these are the Python straps I don't even know the name of my own gear setting up my hammock first um, I was thinking about setting up my tarp it's only gonna take another second or a second longer for me to set up my hammock first and that way I know the perfect height for the tarp sometimes when it's like raining when I get to a camp I'll set up the tarp first just to get out of the rain but I think I'm okay for right now all right gotta go fast the rain is picking up I can see little droplets on my hammock here oh. Oh, super peaceful out here very relaxing I'm, get, I'm getting rained on my face, so, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna set up the, the tarp now. Right, right now. I'm definitely a little closer to homes than I think I realize. They may be able to see a fire if I have one back here. I'm definitely gonna set up camp here. I think I'll be fine. 
But if I start a fire, I might try to start it somewhere else. Like there's a big uh, fallen tree behind the camera here. I might try to go on the other side of that. That might block some of the light. Cause yeah, these are a little bit closer than I, <laughs> than I realized. <laughs> I'm saying maybe like hundred feet, something like that. Not, not too far. It's not so bad when you have the light gray tarp uh, while stealth camping in the winter. It's basically white. I don't, I don't think anyone's gonna notice. There's none of this is getting recorded. I'm not, I'm not on camera at all. <laughs> Just a little bit. It is supposed to be weathery. <clears throat> okay, tarp's basically up. I'm gonna uh, get that staked down. I think I might do one of these because I got some trees right here uh, behind the camera, and I can do kind of one of one of these. I think I'm gonna do that. That's. I think that's the move. Have everything nice and set up here. Let me show you around this precarious setup I got. So ev every single line is going to some kind of branch. <laughs> Even this tall guy right up here. This is a this is a Kevin Marcus original. You got to tie the knot uh, approximately seven and a half, eight feet in the air. Uh, should be really cozy tonight. Uh, keep the rain off me. Let's tighten this up a little bit. Yeah, pretty excited. Okay, so that's all set up. My stuff's under the tarp, staying dry. The rain's turning on and off, turning on and off. It's coming and going. Um, got some got some drops in the old tarp already. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go that way and see how close I can get to the houses, and that will either alleviate or compound any concerns I have about starting a fire. So let's get over there. Okay, I'm gonna follow this uh, deer trail a little bit here. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm 10 feet away from my camp and I can already see bedroom windows. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna keep. I'm actually gonna go this way. No, let's go this way. Yeah, I'm pretty close. I don't know if that means I can't have a fire. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm like... I'm like right here. Now, this is not their land. So even if they do see something back here, they shouldn't really care. Yeah, just a row of houses, just four houses right here. Let's see, my camp is right over that way. I do not see it from here. Uh, got another cut of my hand. Ooh, that's gushing. I don't even know how I get these. But yeah, I guess I gotta figure out what I'm doing. Rain's starting to pick up. I'm closer to the houses than I realized. It's not gonna be too cold tonight. Having a fire isn't essential. I just really want one. I have about a uh, little less than an hour of daylight. Huh. <sighs> Hmm. I'm gonna have a fire. If uh, somebody calls the cops, it'll make for uh, an interesting video anyway. So I've already started gathering some twigs. 
I have birch bark in my bag that I brought, so I'll be using that to start it. Uh, got a little pile started, not too bad, but I'm trying to not stay too much out there. I don't know if the mic's picking up on it, but it is raining. You can hear on the tarp a little bit. It's also quite windy. Thought I heard something crashing through the woods. Must have been the wind knocking a branch off of, of a tree. All right, well, anyway, I'm gonna get this fire started now before it gets too much worse. And the wind's coming and going, there's gusts. Like right now it's still, but then a gust will come. So I wanna try to start the fire in between gusts. Hey, there we go. There we go, onto that side to catch. It's a little bit wet, so I might need some duct tape in there just to kind of help it stay going. This is, an old, this is a little trick I learned. You can also start the fire with duct tape. It's just, it melts and it's like a whole thing, but this will kind of sustain the, uh, the starter anyway. And there you have a fire. It's finally time to relax. Got the fire going right there. Looks pretty nice. I don't feel it over here because I'm underneath the tarp. Just waiting out the little bit of rain that's here. No, no point in slowly getting soaked, you know, sitting a couple feet that way. But I think this is the perfect time to break in to the beverage center. Uh, starting off today, I don't know if I've ever had this on the channel, uh, this is pretty much everywhere. I, I've, I've gone to other states and they have this. This is the Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA from New Belgium. Uh, it's, it's pretty tasty. Uh, I brought this and of course some Space Kitties. Uh, but I wanted to start out with the Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. I can't, it's, the top is so wet. I had it sitting <laughs> out in the rain. Oh, okay, there we go. I don't want to goosh it out all over my pants here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I wanted to have this before I have my space kitties, uh, because once I have a space kitty, nothing's going to be able to compare, uh, you know, taste-wise. So may as well start out with one that I like a little bit less. Still great beer, still great beer. Uh, but I want to start out with this and then move on to, to the Goldie sauce. Yeah, really nice. I'm glad I got everything done. I have uh, maybe 45 minutes until sunset. Just kind of listening to the wind and the rain, some sirens in the distance. And I'm gonna, I gotta keep up on this fire. Uh, I don't have nearly enough fuel to last me more than 25, 30 minutes. So, excuse me, I'm gonna rest here for a couple minutes and then go get a bunch of the fuel that I need. I'm not sure if I'll have this going all night. We'll see. Uh, but I have it now and it's, it's, it's pretty glorious.
All right, well, I've been kind of getting some more wood for the fire to last me the night. I st still don't have all that I need, but I don't know if the mic's picking up on it. It's the, the rain's picking up. Uh, so while we have some daylight, I think I'm gonna eat some dinner. Uh, to on tonight's, on the menu tonight, we, yeah, hey, 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 on the menu, <laughs> on the menu tonight, I got uh, a, a sandwich from my local bodega. I went to that place and I got some beer and I got this sandwich and that's how I'm going to do it. It's actually the same sandwich I had uh, on my quote unquote charcuterie board over the summer <laughs> when I stealth camped in, in the ditch. Uh, it's just turkey and provolone, tomato and mayonnaise. Looks like a little bit of, uh, oh, spinach is in there too. How about that? Hmm. Pretty good. It's just what I need right now. I like to keep it light when I'm eating camping. It's just, uh, I don't like to get bogged down with tons of stuff in my stomach. Sorry, rain's <laughs> dripping off the tent. I wanted to make sure it's not dripping onto my bag. I think I'm good. Um, so I like to keep it light, keep it simple. Uh, you may have garnered from watching my videos that I don't put a ton of effort or thought into the food. Someday I will, Someday, sometimes I like to. Just a huge passenger jet right there, just, just right there. Sometimes I like to cook a steak on the coals or, you know, it's always a goal in the back of my mind to up my food game, but it's already such a, such a, a, a planning, not fiasco, but there's a lot of planning that goes into these um, and food kind of just gets forgotten. So I'm not saying I'll never up my food game, but for now it's tuna creations, sandwiches, hot dogs, stuff like that. It's just regular camping stuff, you know. Kudos to the people that do make the effort. It's fabulous. Ugh. Ugh. Well, fire's looking toasty. I'm actually pretty toasty. I have more layers that I brought. Um, I don't know if I'll need them, but I got them. So far, I don't see any lights coming from the houses over in that direction, or the traffic over in that direction, or the Walgreens in that, that direction. Pretty good so far. It's not, the, the, the camera's showing way lighter than it actually is right now, which is great for me filming. Whatever you're seeing right now, it's like twice as dark as that. It's gonna be pitch, pitch black dark in like 20 minutes, half hour, something like that. Just kind of enjoying nature out here. Everything's wet, it's raining. Uh, we're uh, just a little bit before spring here, so things are kind of soggy. It was in the mid 40s today. It's been really weird weather lately, where uh, some days will be in the mid 40s or 50s, and then the very next day, is uh, down into the teens. So it's just kind of, kind of how it is in in Rochester this time of year, the the pre-spring time. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and uh, continue camping. So now that it's a little bit darker, I can show you. There's my fire, and I can see some bedroom windows right about there. Or living room, you know, whatever. So, gotta keep it small, gotta keep it light. Gotta keep it small plots, light plots. Pretty cozy camp. Pretty cozy camp, indeed. Uh, well, it's still raining. It wasn't supposed to rain this long or this hard, uh, but it is. And here I am, and here we are. So thankfully, I'm underneath my tarp here, uh, about seven feet away from the fire. It's, it's becoming a, more apparent the darker it gets how close I am to things, even though it feels like I'm super secluded right now. I'm really not. Uh, I can see, cle clearly see windows uh, from those houses over there. 
I can clearly see street lights pretty much all around me. Uh, so yeah, this fire is gonna be, have to stay pretty pretty low key tonight. I'm not anticipating an issue, but you never know. I just really like having fires, you know, even on stealth camps, if I can. All those houses right there. Hmm. Well, it's fully dark now. The fire's kind of still going there. Well, I just blew on it. Oh, it's going pretty good. It's going okay. Um, I guess it's time to uh, crack into a space kitty, huh? Uh, cracking into the space kitty was actually a uh, small plots live exclusive. So if you want to see me crack into the space kitty for the first time, check out my live stream last week of this very camp. Delicious. I'm gonna keep tending to the fire. It just stopped raining. Um, it's about eight o'clock at night. It was supposed to only rain until maybe like six or seven. Uh, so now I can finally sit next to the fire instead of seven feet away from it. This is going to be wild. This is going to change the whole dynamic of the night. Um, I don't really have anything left to do other than film stuff, drink beer, and sit by the fire. So, so, so that's fun. Uh, before any campfire uh, beer drinking stuff happens, I got to get my sleeping setup going. Nothing, nothing's been done. Um, so I'm going to blow up my pad and open up my sleeping bag. The reason I haven't done that yet is because uh, they're bright yellow and I didn't want to do that during the day. But now that it's dark, I mean, sky's the limit, huh? Well, I've kind of just been hanging out, listening to the sounds of Mother Nature. But yeah, kind of just hanging out. The fire's been dead for a while. It started raining, raining again and I just took refuge under my tarp here. Still going. I think it's starting to freeze a little bit. I think it's getting down towards freezing. Some freezing's happening on the tarp up there. I can see it. Uh, but yeah, not too long before I had the old uh, uh, racky sacky. But right now I'm just kind of really loving the silence and the sounds. I'm kind of enthralled by it. It's one of my one of my favorite things about being in, being out in the woods, even even stealth camping, even in some urban woods. Okay, let's take a let's take a little little walk around here. The uh, the houses whose lights I could see previously uh, are still on, still can see the lights. Less so, uh, but are st they're still on. You know, these, these houses are so new. They've, built, they've been built very recently. And it's occurred to me that it's possible that these lights are just going to be on all night because nobody lives there. But I've seen, I've, I've already, I've seen cars drive down that road over there, so I know some people live there. But I don't know if all do, because it, the, all these lights, it's pretty late. It's, it's uh, about 11.30 at night. And all of these lights are suspiciously on in all of these houses. Like every single light is on still at 11, at 11 o'clock at night. So that, 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 that's something, huh? That's, that's some information. The sky is orange now. It was purple. Oh, now what is it? Man, I got to figure out this camera's doing something on this phone. The fire's dead. I've, 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 I've given up on bringing it back. It's, it's dead. It's over. Not this is the fire. We're not doing, we're not having a fire anymore tonight. It was orange. It was just, oh, there we go. Yeah, I got the orange sky. Yeah, that's the orange. Let's get the orange sky back. Come on. Oh, orange sky. Sorry for the lighting scenario. I'm trying to keep it low key, just in case those lights are actual people. Well, my chair broke. Uh, not really sure what happened. I pulled it out of the snow and a part that doesn't normally come out came out. That's it's insane. In reality, it's kind of like purpley gray. Not orange, never been, never been orange. Now, I think I can fix this. 
Uh, but I tried to fix it right now, and then I sat in it and fell on my butt. So yeah, I'm just chilling, listening to the sounds of Mother Nature. Listening to the sounds of nature. Yeah, really nice out here. Really nice feeling. Really nice vibes. And so that, that's a tomorrow fix. That, that's not a right now fix. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, I'm here, here in bed, very cozy. I just crawled in and I can already feel the heat just happening on my body. The heat being contained within the sleeping bag. This is going to be good. I can tell this is going to be a good night's sleep. I can hear not this very second, but I'm an off. Uh, there's rain happening on the tarp. It's been happening the entire video. And it continues to happen. Just little sprinkles. Just tiny sprinkles. Not anything crazy. It's not a uh, major weather event. A rain event. Nothing like that. It's uh, basically here to lull me to sleep. There's some water pouring off my tent. Anyway, unless anything uh, totally radical happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you guys uh, in a second. It's incredibly bright out here. I had a pretty good night's sleep, as I usually do in the hammy ham here. Oh man, the sun is just right, it's like coming right in from over there. Who? Oh, glory. Nothing really happened last night, I just kind of slept so soundly and so delightfully. My feet are numb. I gotta get better socks or something. They were numb last time. I can't too. It's not great. It's not a great thing to have your feet go numb all night. <laughs> the rest of me is fine and warm and delightful. It's just my feet. A little bit better now. I can kind of feel them. But I'm gonna pack up and uh, get out of here. I actually slept a little bit later than I meant to. It's like 8 30 at night or 8 30 at night. It's 8 30 in the morning so I gotta get up and go before someone walks their dog back here or something. <laughs> Man, I'm really hungry. Ooh, ran into the line. <laughs> oh, that sandwich I had last night was good, but it wasn't a huge dinner. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just hungry. So I don't know what I'm doing, not packing up camp so I can go eat, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm hungry. <laughs> Look at all these little frozen raindrops on my tarp here. <laughs> yeah, I got, got a lot of that going on. I gotta shake this off, or as much off as I can before putting it in my bag. Man. I'm all packed up and ready to get out of here. It's a really nice little small plot here that I've plotted so smallly and so tender over the night. Got the fire covered in snow. Got my all my lines down. That's always the thing that I'm worried about is leaving a ridge line or a hammock strap or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a real, real nice one. I had a fire. I didn't really sit next to it because it was raining all night. I was in, under the tarp, but it was nice to have. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. EST. And uh, I'm going to get out of here right now, and I'm going to bring you with me because I'm about to walk out uh, where people like walk their dogs, like into the main park.
and it's very, I've been hearing people like yelling and tr cars and dogs, all, all manner of things. So I assume there are people over there, even though it's in the 20s right now. Uh, so I want to see their faces when I walk out of the woods. Let's go. I think this whole area that I walked through, it's just ice. So I'm walking on a pond or something right now. I'm gonna come out very casually. Hmm. Wonder what critter left these? Raccoon? I saw some fox tracks earlier. I think, or what I think are fox tracks. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's here. Kind of disappointing. I thought it would be funny to scare a man and his dog. Scare a woman and a dog. Yep, nobody here. Bummer. <clears throat> that would have been kind of funny. Alright, well, I'm gonna call my Uber and I'll catch you on that. Oh my god, this is a pond nextie. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and today I'm returning to the first ever stealth camping spot that I ever went to. As you can see, I'm on my way out of the city right now. That's right, I'm walking to this one again. No Ubers for me today. The weather's a little bit warmer and I just couldn't help myself. It's gonna be a fun night. I'm gonna try to find my old, uh, my old spot, the spot that I camped at one time, just about a year ago. I don't remember the exact date, that I went on this uh, first ever stealth camping trip, uh, but it was right around this, it's within this week, this within this two week area uh, span of time. So I thought it'd be appropriate to go back to uh, the first ever time I stealth camp and you know, never look back. I have about three and a half, four miles to walk. Uh, it's gonna be really nice. Although I wish, wish I had picked better, better shoes. My feet already hurt. I've been walking for like 15 minutes. These, these dogs are going to be barking pretty good by the end of the day. I, I can tell, tell you that right now. Just like last time I went on this exact trip, I'm walking next to the river here, as you can see to my left. I'm gonna walk through a college, and just on the other side of that college is a nice little small plot of woods that I'm going to once again be taking advantage of for the night. A lot of people out today. It's a nice day. It's a weekday. People are going to school. People are going to work. And I'm going camping. Okay, I'm leaving the college campus. Got a lot of weird looks walking through. I'm glad to be getting out of here. Uh, in just a second here, I'll be crossing over a bridge that will uh, take me right outside the city. Okay, I'm crossing this pedestrian bridge now that's gonna take me outside the city. Oh, oh, do you feel that? Oh, I think I'm officially outside the borders like right now.
glorious. Okay, it won't be too much longer now. I'm almost to home for the night. Now, so it doesn't look like much now, but this is all cleared out here. This was forested last time I was here, and there was a couple more spots where I just came from that used to be forested and are now deforested. So it's got me worried a little bit. Not worried just yet, but I hope, I hope the place that I'm planning on going to uh, exists. That'd be, that'd be great. I think that would be great if it existed. It's starting to quiet down a little bit, which is good for some reasons, bad for others. Oh geez, look at this, uh, this old fallen telegraph pole. I think it's gonna fall sometime. Now is when you have those awkward moments where there's like one or two other people on the trail that you have to like awkwardly avoid having them see you jump into the woods where you're not supposed to be. You don't know who these people are. You don't know if they're gonna, be, you know, be snitches, be rats on you. You don't wanna get ratted on. Yeah, all this cleared out over here. I assume it's because of the uh, telephone poles and the telephone poles, like people have telephones, the power lines, good Lord. Whoa, it's really gonna be hard to see on camera. Uh, I'm on the trail here. These people are probably gonna be weirded out, uh, but I have to go see what that is in there. It looks like a two-story tall bushcraft shelter or something. Let's go, let's go check that out. This is a little side path off the path I was just coming up on. It would be kind of nice to camp back here if it weren't so open and well used. Whoa, man. Yeah, that, that's, I think that's what that is. Good job. Oh my gosh, yep. That's just a really huge bushcraft shelter. It's got two entrances. Man, people definitely camp back here. There's some deer, huge tails, impressive tails. They got poles, variety of poles. Looks like they're downing live trees, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know why I'm ducking. There's no ceiling, really. You got, you got a ice station zebra. Yeah, people are definitely sleeping here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't trust the uh, structural integrity of this. Um, maybe they put a, a tarp right here. Who knows? This is cool. I'm glad I came over to check this out. Uh, Oh, they're drinking the kind. I like that beer. Too bad they didn't take their trash away. Well, this is where I popped in the first time. I just passed a couple walking down the trail, so that's good that they're not coming up on me and already passed. I'm not going in this way this time. Last time, different trail. Anyway, last time that I went down that way, it was a whole thing. I had to go through prickers and swamp just to realize that there's an easier access point just up, up here a little bit. You live, you learn. Oh, it's so quiet. I love it. Okay, nobody's around. This little trail in here is uh, the way I came out last year, about a year ago. So let's go in this way, save ourselves about a half hour of swampy, painful torture. This also happens to be the trail uh, that somebody was running on and saw me stealth camping last time I was here. That's right, somebody just straight up caught me uh, I have it on camera. If you want to go check check that out, but uh, we'll, hopefully it doesn't happen today. I wouldn't even say like, oh, wrong time of year, because it was exactly a year ago. So 
there are people that like to run through these woods. But, unless they have swamp boots on, like me, they're not getting too far. Ooh. Yeah. You hear that? That's the sound of freedom. I feel so free. Yeah. There are some semblances of footprints, but I already knew that. Okay, I remember this, this little bridge here. And on the other side, we should be coming up on where I was camping. All right, is this gonna be safe? Uh, no, let's go. Okay. Starting to look familiar a little bit. Like, weirdly. I've been to this small plot before. Super peaceful. I'm in this very rare birch tree grove. Uh, in the in the forests around these areas, there's tons of birch trees, like in the wild forests. But here, like adjacent to the city, stuff like this is a gold. Let's get some of this. Let's just get some of this, just in case. Just just in case, you know, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. I feel like there's a lot more fallen trees back here than there was a year ago. I'm having a hard time identifying exactly where I was. Maybe it was like right here. I'm gonna go down a little bit, uh, see if I can't find anything that looks more familiar, but I think that was that area right there. Just a, a, a tree had fallen, so it looks different. Hmm. Yeah, a ton of fallen trees. This guy is pretty fresh. You can see this one here is pretty fresh. There's a ton more that way fallen. Uh, you can see this tree just completely uprooted. Yeah, a lot of this stuff. And now I'm starting to see houses this way, so I don't think I camped up this far. I see another uh, hunting stand in the tree over there. Those things are everywhere. I'm almost certain this is exactly where I camped. My first ever stealth camp right here. I think I had my hammock up between that tree and that tree. And I brought my chair tonight, but I didn't the first time I came here and I was sitting on this log all night. And the clincher is a, a charred piece of wood. All that remains of the fire I had that night. Yeah, just, just a charred piece of wood, nothing else. I'm not sure if I should call this home tonight, considering the first time I camped here, somebody ran past me at like, so at sundown. It was, it was actually a little after sundown they ran past. And sundown, I haven't looked at the time, but I think it's about three hours from now, two, two three hours. <sighs> and it's a nice day. It's a nice spot and a small plot. It's a good spot and a good plot. I hear people talking very loudly over in that direction. Yeah, I don't know if this is the spot for me. It might be. I'm gonna, now that I know where it is, I might come back, but. I'm gonna look for a better spot, I think. Maybe I won't find one, but I'm gonna look. But uh, for now, I'll at least take my pack off. My back is very wet. Ooh, and uh, guess, I guess just walk around for a little bit here. 
here. There, there, there. Just gotta put putting this right here so I don't accidentally lose it by putting it like on the ground and walking away too far. It's elevated on a log. So if I do find another spot, it's not gonna be too far. Um, there's only so many spaces in this forest where I can camp. There's houses right over there, there's houses right over there, and then pretty close in front of me is that trail I came in on where people are constantly walking and biking, uh, possibly walking right back here. <sighs> nice old forest. Hmm. Looks like this thing is still here. <sighs> Classy. Okay, well, I think I am gonna stay right here in my original first ever stealth camping spot one year later. Um, the reason I'm staying here, even though the trail is about 20 feet that way and I was almost caught the last time I was here, is because this forest isn't that big and this is a good spot. I could go that way and camp in a worse spot and they would still see me from the trail. So I guess it's just a cross your fingers kind of night. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna chill out here for a little bit. Usually when I get to a spot, I like to set up, set up immediately. I'm gonna hang out here for an hour or so. I have about two hours until it gets dark. Um, I just kind of wanna make sure there aren't people walking through with their dogs with the appropriate footwear. <laughs> I tried to dress down a little bit for the walk over here so I didn't uh, sweat profusely like I normally do on my walks. Um, you know. I didn't bring any birch bark because I wasn't sure if I was going to have a fire. I think I'm going to have a fire. And I knew that there was a birch tree right over there that I could harvest from. And I did. I harvested from it. And it, that's, it's good. It's going to be good. <sighs> it's so nice out here. I can hear a small uh, personal aircraft in the distance. Occasional just shouts of people. The college is right there. Um, they were get, gearing up for a, a game or something as I was walking by one of the one of the areas. For a, a, a second, I was positive I heard somebody pushing a bicycle through the woods, but it was actually just the slightest breeze uh, blowing. There's a couple of uh, leaves that just don't fall during the the, the winter uh, that are up there, just kind of just enough to kind of sound like somebody's slowly pushing a bicycle through a big puddle. <laughs> like it sounded exactly like it. I, I froze, I whipped out my camera and just started filming immediately to see if somebody came around. Nobody did and then I saw the leaves. Super glad I brought my chair tonight. This log that I sat on last time uh, is completely drenched and disgusting and it's got a year's more rot on it than it did so it's just not a place I want to sit down. <sighs> But yeah, I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit, set up my chair, and kind of just relax for a little while, feel comfortable, and then I'll start setting up my hammock and things like that. All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> All right, well, on top I have a hoodie for tonight. I might change into this sooner rather than later. Get out of this wet shirt. Oh, got a little beverage center here. I'll get into that in a minute. I got my classic super stealthy sleeping pad, which is the same color as this bag. Oh, underneath that is my sleeping bag. Just kind of shoved right in there so I didn't have to put it on top and look extra like I was camping. So that, that shows in there pretty good. This is a 25 liter bag that I, that I fit all my things in here. And in there, just uh, got my, my uh, non-tarp weather shelter. See right there, weather shelter, not tarp, specifically. Specifically not a tarp. Uh, and then just some extra clothes, some extra socks, some lights, things like that. 
And that's it for today. Pretty light load, um, as per usual, but particularly light today. This is kind of like the magic season where I don't need to uh, bring an extra like quilt for my bag, for my sleeping bag, and I don't have to bring a bug net. So those are two things that I'm glad I don't have to bring. Um, so basically, yeah, just setting up a hammock, putting a tarp over it, and sleeping in it tonight. That's, that's about it. <sighs> well, here I am, here we are, sitting kind of right where I was about a year or so ago, doing the exact same thing. I stealth camped a bunch since I had my first outing a year ago. <sighs> it's kind of it's kind of good to, to, to reconnect with this first little spot. Um, I looked around and not really any better spot. So I'm going to be seen from some kind of trail, no matter where I am, if people come back here. That's kind of what I'm hoping on is that nobody comes back here. <sighs> we have uh, not too much longer before it gets dark. So I figured before I start setting things up and like really look like I'm camping, um, let's break into the beverage center. Today I have the exact same thing I had a year ago when I was here, and that's Citra Dreams from Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. I believe out of El Elmsford? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a good one. I, I, even, uh, I even got it from the same place. Um, it's closer to my uh, old apartment that I lived at when I did do my first stealth camp. So I went back there, got this beer. It's kind of like, listen, I like this place. It's a little, this place, it's, it, they got a good beer selection, but it's, it's a little dingy and there's just, I mean, there's just dirt on, on the top of all of the cans, just uh, like just black little particles. Um, Fa fabulous establishment. I'm gonna try to get around the edges here because it's like, yeah, I don't know if the camera can pick up on that. A little, just like, just little dirt, just dirt. It was on the um, four pack holder too. That's actually how I noticed it. I was like, why is this so dirty? And I realized it was on all of the cans as well, just dirt. All right, well, now that that's taken care of, totally, uh, Totally sanitary. That just echoed throughout this entire forest. Hmm. Yep, I remember that. It's been a while. It's been a while since your dreams. I've had it a few times since the uh, the first stealth camp, but yeah, it's a good one. so quiet. I can hear a, a train off in the distance. I can hear the expressway. It sounded like somebody just hit the on the expressway. What's that called? The, tr the tread? The something? Lots of old trees back here. This whole area used to just be adjacent to a well-used rail line a hundred or so or more years ago. And that was the, uh, the, there's a couple of old like telegraph lines still propped up after all this time. And yeah, this forest is definitely going through a transformation. Like many other forests in this area, uh, there are many ash trees, which are just, they won't be around. There's not going to be any ash trees in this area in a hundred years. There, the, the, there's a invasive species uh, that I'm sure you've heard of. It's, it's a lot of places around. Uh, it's called the emerald ash borer and its literal sole purpose is to just kill ash trees. <laughs> That's what it does. It just like gets in there it's, and it's thriving here. It's, th it's thriving a little, uh, a little too well. So uh, it's been, it's been around long enough to where every year uh, I don't know, probably hundreds of ash trees in the area fall, if not more, if not thousands. So yeah, give it some time. There will be no more ash trees in upstate New York. Well, it's been a little while, kind of just been relaxing. 
the temperature is dropping exponentially and I felt a couple of raindrops so I think it's time to set my things up. I wanted to wait just a little bit longer um, but I'm not gonna. Just in case it does start raining I want to have my tarp up and it's getting chilly I kind of want to start having a fire. It's amazing it's probably it, uh, dropped 10 degrees since I've been here. I, have, I've, I don't even think I've been here maybe an hour maybe I've been here an hour. Um, it's going fast. It's supposed to drop 20-25 degrees overnight so I can feel that happening already. Uh, I'm gonna set up between these these two fine uh, pieces of timber right here behind me. Um, you can see my green shirt, my beacon of hey everybody I'm still camping uh, over there drying because it was so wet along with my jacket as well. So hopefully nobody walks up on me. I wish I was into shelter building and things like that. There's a, a huge mound of clay right over here. Uh, Corporal's Corner would be having a heyday. He'd be going nuts. Beautiful. A little bit, a uh, little bit of a break. Hmm. Not the greatest hang. I would have done well to uh, watch this old video. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I would have known this wasn't such a great hang. It's not a great hang. Let's do the test. Oh, well, this part's nice. This part's pretty good. Just gonna hang out here. I can basically go up one more rung on either side. I don't know if that's gonna do it, but that's what I'm gonna do. I guess this is gonna have to do, I would like these trees to just be a little bit farther apart, but I don't really have that option. And there's not really too many options around me. So I guess this is what I have. That's okay. I'm sure I'll sleep fine. Whoa. I know there's plenty of campers out there that do great knots. I know a square knot. That's about it. Uh, I'm mostly from the school of tie a bunch of knots and wrap it around the tree a bunch of times. That seems to do me pretty good. Oh, pretty good. It's a fine ridge line. I'm impressing even myself. I guess one kind of uh, relief about having my green shirt be a beacon over there is that there are actually a ton of trees around here that are marked with uh, the exact same shade of green, just a mark on the tree. I think I noticed it last time I was here. I have no idea why. Usually when you mark trees, it's like, hey, we're gonna cut these trees down, or hey, we're gonna save these trees out of ones that are getting cut down. No, no, there's no action back here. This is a, just a, a random woods. You couldn't even get a vehicle back here. So no clue what those are. But anyway, I'm, I'm blending right in. Okay, time to put up my uh, weather shelter here. One thing I noticed last time I was putting it away, uh, I want to get uh, somebody's. I want to get you guys' opinion on this. Let me let me get some opinions down in the comments. So on the inside, there's this thing that runs down. Let me go the middle. You can kind of see it. It's like a little bit different material. This this right here. It's a little bit lighter. Um, it's starting to come off just right here at the edge. See, it's like this and it's coming off very easily. Like I could, if I wanted to right now, I could go and just easily take it off. Um, I don't want that to happen, but I'm not really sure exactly what purpose this serves. Is that because this isn't waterproof without this strip or is this strip just there? Like, was I supposed to rip this off like when I got the tarp, because it's just whatever. Uh, let me know, let me know in the comments. This is the Kamek Cooley Weather Shelter, Kamek Cooley UL, it's the ultralight version. Um, I certainly don't want this tarp to drip on me if, that, if, if this is in fact the case, that it's not waterproof without this, but I think that would be a little, a little uh, not the greatest quality. This is, an ex <laughs> this is an expensive tarp. Yep. 
It's pretty good. It looks pretty good. Okay, someone or something is real close. I keep hearing sounds <clears throat> like walking or sticks breaking and I just heard a big crash, like a big branch breaking. Kind of sound like it was from this direction, but it's really tough to tell in the woods. Things echo around. Hmm. That's the problem with camping in places where you're surrounded by houses. You never know when the people that live there might just take a little stroll on a nice weather day after work or something. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. It was probably just a deer. There's, there's certainly enough uh, evidence of deer. There's certainly a lot of evidence that deer are here. So we're set up. If somebody decides to walk back here right now, it's going to be pretty obvious what I'm doing. So, may as well embrace it. I'm going to start gathering wood to get a fire going. It, the, the temperature is just dropping. I'm getting chilly. I'm getting a little hungry. I don't need the fire to cook, but I just want everything to be kind of in place when I do start eating pretty soon. My very luxurious meal. You know me, I always have the most luxurious, uh, complicated meals, and today is no different. I don't know what that was. It's hard to tell. It sounded like a human voice, but also there's so many birds. A lot of Canadian geese. And the Canadian goose honk sounds like uh, like like bicycle brakes, like squeaky bicycle brakes. Like, so every time I hear one, I'm like, who's there? Who's breaking their bicycle? That did sound like a human voice, though, pretty close. I am right next to a park, a big bunch of fields, walking trails, things like that. Um, thankfully, it's on the other side of a, a creek that runs through here, so I'm not worried about anybody from this direction coming back. Even if even if they saw me, they couldn't come back and mess with me. But they won't see me. There's a what sounds to be a beagle barking, getting closer. That could be. Uh, in someone's yard over there. Uh, but that was abrupt. I think I'm just extra on edge back here, other than the fact that I'm not supposed to be here camping, um, but that I, that I have been caught here before. I, I have been seen. Nothing really came of it. I just have been seen. So I'm just extra on alert, because maybe next time, you know, I won't, I won't be so lucky. Okay, time to get this fire lit. The temperature's dropping, not too bad, but I think it's time to get this going. I have this birch bark here that I found right over there. I love harvesting uh, fresh, fresh from the, from the vine birch bark. You don't get this anywhere else, folks. So, here we go. Already screwing it up. Oh, it's going up so good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Come on now. Mmm, smells so good. That is great. I'm already feeling these hot BTUs. Yeah, definitely some moisture in here. I, I, I think the camera can see the uh, immediate smoke and steam coming off of this. I'm pretty, I am very close to this flame, but it's like, it's like not that bad. 
there is a ton of great dry wood. I guess one small positive of all the ash trees dying in this region um, well, well, is, is well, ash trees are a hardwood. So there's just a lot of, a lot of nice hardwood. Even this, this, even this old nasty thing is as hard as the Dickens. So hard, this wood. Can't even break it on my knee. And there you have a fire. <laughs> Okay, well, I've got the fire started here. Let's take a little walk around. Just want to see how stealthy I am or am not. And considering how open this woods is, I'm, I'm going to wager that there's not going to be a spot anywhere, anywhere in here that I'm not going to be able to see my camp. But let's just walk over here just for the, for the sake of it, huh? Oh, look, a tree. Okay, so now that we're here, Hmm. I can barely see it. Okay, how about from this angle? Equally as stealthy. Okay, I am now on the trail. I grab, I grab this stick somewhere along the way. I think that's the most obvious thing in the world. I gotta say, in the campsite, when I'm here in it, it's pretty stealthy. I feel pretty stealthy. I don't think anyone's gonna see me. It was right about this time at night, about 7.10 p.m., when I heard just the, 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 the lowest volume of music, tinny music from a cell phone. Like, I just hear it coming. And all of a sudden, the vo the vocals come in. And, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, what is, there's music just coming. And then I see this guy had, a, I can't even remember the color. I want to say like fluorescent green or something. Maybe it was a white shirt. I don't know, it was some bright color uh, running. I was like, oh, geez. I was just kind of looking at him. And he, as he was jogging, he like looked over and I, I scared him. He was like, oh, like he, he made like an audible, like he did not expect to see me at all, let alone like a setup with, I had a campfire going and everything. <laughs> he, like, like, I'll never, he was like an audible, oh, <laughs> and, uh, and then he, I was like, Hey, sorry, man. Didn't mean to scare you. And he just kept running. Uh, and then, like, I, I pulled my, my camera out and got him right in the last second as he was running away. I finally got him, but... Uh, so, if he's coming, I guess now would be the time, but it doesn't seem like he is, considering these trails are pretty mushy. It's a little mushier than it was a year ago. Not too bad. All right, it's time to eat. Sorry, don't mind the uh, massive amounts of smoke coming up. Some, some of this wood's a little wet. That's all right, that's okay. The, uh, this this uh, adds interest to the shot, right? Anyway, uh, big surprise tonight, guys. Tuna Creations. It's actually been a few months. I know the, the joke is always, uh, oh, I only eat Tuna Creations. Um, it's been a few months, so I thought that it'd be time to dip into the Tuna Creations vault and uh, and just you know enjoy myself so here we go 
I usually eat, usually, always, eat my tuna creations on a tortilla. I need a table. Here we go. Just putting it right on, directly on the tortilla. There's no middleman. I'm not going to jazz it up with like a lemon squirt or a sprig of rosemary or, or any such thing. Oh, there's still some in there. Get out, get out, come out, come out, get out, get out. Just right in there, that's it. I wish I had a smaller, like a slightly smaller tortilla. This is a lot of bread, says the guy drinking IPAs. Because it is so much bread. I'm going to like literally take that much bread off, toss it in the fire, and just kind of tuck in the sides, roll it on up, and it's it's breaking in every way that it, that it can break, but I'm going to eat it. It's okay. It gets the job done. It's lightweight. It's small. But it's blowing the mind of no one. I got two more. I'm gonna sit here and eat them. I'm not, I'm not gonna film you sitting here and eating them. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. Well, it's been a fun night sitting around the campfire, having a couple of beers, eating some tunas, listening to the, there's a ton of wildlife around tonight. Uh, some coyotes. I couldn't catch it on camera in time, uh, but there's been some coyotes, just some shrieks, probably fox. Um, sounded like a rabbit got killed at some point. Um, so that that's been happening, but uh, I'm go I'm I'm going to bed. That's 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 the next step. I'm gonna put this fire out here. I, I stoked it to, to light myself here. Um, I'm putting it out, and once I do, I'm going to bed. Um, and unless anything crazy happens in the night, I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, well, that was a, a night's sleep anyway. I'm um, completely discombobulated in the hammock here. I don't know why. <laughs> Something have to do with the hang. Um, you know, you gotta put your, you gotta sleep diagonally. And I had the sleeping pad diagonally. And it just over the night kind of slid more diagonally. <laughs> so it's like hanging off the hammock, hitting the tarp. Um, it's comfy, but I didn't sleep very well last night. It got a lot colder than they said it was going to. Not that that really mattered. I'm in a temperature rated bag. Um, but yeah, it's just a rough, rough night. I thought it was going to be a good good night. Barely got any sleep last night. That was a bummer. So it's kind of early. I'm going to just get up and get out. And there's nothing more to say about it. Okay, well, my dreams are coming true because I am already all packed up, which is pretty stellar because I want to get out of here. It's so much colder this morning than it was forecast to be, and I'm cold, and I got to go home, and I got to do stuff. That was a relatively fun night. Had some, had some beers, had some tuna creations, had a fire. Didn't get caught this time. That's nice. It's nice to not get caught. Uh, this has been a really really fine little small plot. You can see the fire uh, swimming over there. Uh, but this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, new episode Small Plots every Tuesday. Hey, if you want to subscribe, you won't miss them. Have you, huh? Yeah, I mean, you're at the end of the video. If you're not subscribing, that's just...
rude, don't you think? Don't you think? Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you on that uh, goopy, goopy nexty. Mwah. It's ma it's metal. It's made. It's made. Oh, it's no use. Let's see if I'm gonna freak anybody out. Nope. No, nobody. Nobody cares. There's nobody. There's nobody here. As you can see behind me, that's the airport. Kind of creepy, kind of spooky, dare I say unnatural. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. I'm on the trail today, going to get another little stealth camp in. Now this place that I'm going tonight, I don't really know about. There's uh, I've been there a couple times just checking it out over the years, even before I started filming uh, Small Plots and stealth camping and all that stuff. I've checked this place out and I always get like the weirdest vibes. I don't know what's going on with this place. You'll see what I'm talking about when I get there, but just weird vibes. Kind of creepy, kind of spooky, dare I say unnatural. I don't know. But there's a ton of people out today, so I wanna get going pretty quick, get in those woods, and get to camping. So I'm coming up here on this kind of water gate between the Genesee River and the Erie Canal. Actually, this is all the Erie Canal, but on this side, you can see it's full. This is the part that connects to the river. I don't know why that guy's down there. He's always fishing. Uh, anyway. And on that side, it's relatively empty. Pretty soon, where that guy is standing, they're gonna open up those gates and all the water is gonna fill the rest of the canal. In the next, in the next couple weeks, it'll happen. It always happens sometime in spring. I never remember. Okay. This is the, uh, this is the spot of the woods that I wanna jump in because there's just a giant trail leading in. I don't know why, I don't know who uses it. But that's where I'm going in. Every time I'm on this part of the trail, I always see somebody on a, on a motorized unicycle. There are other things. So let's get in before that guy comes around. There's a puddle right out front here. I'm gonna go around. I do see one bike tire. Other than that, just just deer footprints in the mud. And the bike tire doesn't look new. Get very weird vibes around this place, especially because I just don't know who comes back here. It's not near any homes, like maybe dirt bikers or something, but I don't see any tire tread. And every time I come back here, the only footprints I see are deer. Let me stop my bike right here kind of get a good idea. Here's a little bit of a fielded area. There's another trail that goes that way. Could be just a game trail. See if I can get in here with my pack with these woods. Nope, definitely not there. But in here, just of note, there's just a super deep ravine. You can barely see the bottom of it. Sorry for the traffic noise. That's gonna be happening. I do know for a fact that across this ravine is a camp. I don't know if it's homeless or just a tent for hanging out. I don't, I don't know, but um, I, I saw the tent there last year and I came here a few days ago um, just while I was on a walk and it's still there. Might have even added a tarp to it. I can't remember. I took, I took some pictures of it. I'll put those up now for you guys to see what I'm talking about. 
But I'm really excited for where, for where within these woods I'm gonna be camping, even though I'm completely creeped out by this place. Basically, I'm gonna be camping with a fantastic view overlooking the airport. It is gonna be a little loud because of the traffic, but this is the spot. It's not too bad back here, huh? Yeah, very interesting kind of grove. I'm not sure what kind of trees these are. It's like cherry blossom, non-producing cherry trees. I'm not really sure. As you can see behind me, that's the airport. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see it. Sorry for the traffic noise. Sorry for any wind noise. I'm trying to mitigate the wind as much as possible. Not much I can do about the traffic. I'm trying to stop the wind noise as much as possible, but it's kind of like not windy until it is. It's one of those days. So you can be going fine and then a gust comes and ruins your audio. Before I get set up, I do kind of want to take a walk around, show you guys where I am. It's just this weird pocket of woods and field between the canal, as you saw, and the expressway and the airport, that way. It almost looks like an area that would uh, accommodate several people camping in tents. Uh, there's open fields with the grass kind of packed down. Not too much trash. Definitely somebody's coming back here. I just don't know who and for what reason. And that's kind of what, what spooks me out, I guess. As you can see, I still have my pack on. I didn't want to leave it back there. I always kind of feel like someone's watching me here. Yeah. Who we got? What's that over there? I don't think that's anything, sorry. So here's another field. Pretty open. I don't see any signs of old camps. No signs of homeless. Barely any signs of animal. There are deer prints. I saw a deer when I was here. Um, a fair amount of coyote scat. See some, uh, some hairy poops around, which is usually coyote scat. Which would not surprise me. suppose this is Ow. okay there are screws in it somebody screwed that in I don't think it punctured the skin it has some blue paint on this and I noticed some red paint on this tree that's what I'm saying man this place is just weird I just get odd vibes it's like people are coming here to to you know, summon a, the dead gods or something yeah uh, resurrect the dead god Snagik. He's coming, he's coming back. Just a weird pile of sticks here. Like cut, cut sticks. go down but you can kind of see this trail leads down there there's another field another trail and then it just it, it ends the forest ends there's not much over there so I'm gonna head back this way towards where I'm camping just wanted to get a little lay of the land ever since I found this place I've always said that there's no way that there's no way I'm gonna camp here uh, and here I am camping here I do want to start getting set up pretty soon there's gonna be some rain tonight 
I just don't know when it's gonna start. Soon, it's gonna start soon. Let's get out of here. I found this. Looked like somebody is all set here. They have this, uh, I don't wanna touch too much of it. Where's a stick? Got a stick around here? Here we go, it's kind of okay. Well, I'm not gonna say what any of this is, but if you know what it is, you know. There's something there, something there. And there's this guy, that glass tube there. Yeah, somebody was all set and then just dropped their stuff here, or it was stolen. And somebody dropped it here, I don't really know. Yeah. Oh, there's something furry in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> One bad thing about camping here is the sound. Someone could easily sneak up on me here. I don't really have too many options. As you can see, the rest of this area is kind of a field. This is the best wooded area here with any kind of semblance of trees to set up a hammock on. Uh, I'll be okay. I'm just gonna have to keep my wits about me. In a few hours, the traffic will die down. We're kind of right around rush hour traffic time right now. It is a weekday. Uh, tonight, the traffic should be a little bit lower, but I will have to contend with the sounds of uh, planes taking off. That's pretty loud too, but it's gonna be a fun night. Uh, I got a pretty simple dinner as I normally do. Um, gonna keep it real low key, no fire tonight. I don't wanna have the uh, the airport have some kind of like fire alert or, or something you know you just don't want to have a, a fire i'm pretty visible i can see the traffic i can see the airport they can't see me it's down about 30 feet like i'm on like a 30 foot 40 foot tall hill something like that it's hard to gauge it's really nice and peaceful up here other than these creepy vibes i don't know it's it's tough to shake the vibes you know I, I camp in a lot of weird places, and sometimes I get these vibes. The last time I got these vibes was the last time I camped near the airport, and I was almost positive that I wasn't alone in the woods there. Yeah, I mean, I may not be alone. But I've vetted this place. I've been here multiple times. I've never seen a human. I look for footprints. I don't see any footprints or tire tread. I see nothing but deer prints. I don't know if that's a good sign or I'm just trying to justify it to myself. Anyway, let's get things started. I might have to break some of these sticks, but I'm thinking this guy, over to this guy maybe, I don't know. There's a lot of almost perfect trees. Maybe this guy to this guy. Yeah, yeah, something. There's a ton of these, these ton of these little snail guys everywhere. There's one, there's another one. There's a little snail guy, there's a little snail guy. Another little snail guy, part of a snail guy. Hey, look, a snail guy. They're, I mean, they're everywhere. Everywhere you look, snail guy. All these little snail guys. They're gonna be my roommates for tonight, so hopefully they're not too loud. Hopefully they're not too rowdy. Hopefully they leave me alone. Again, more signs of people from a while ago, but yeah, see, somebody trimmed this. Not any time recently, but I don't know, maybe there was people camping here like five, 10 years ago, who knows. No campfires, nothing like that. I don't know, I, I'm getting too in my head with it. I'm getting too in my head. It's, it's, it's fine, it's totally fine. These, these look like rocks, kind of all on the ground and in, in the dirt around me. It's actually uh, old, old coal. Yeah. So there was a train around here at some point in the past. Not a surprise. It's weird though, because I'm up on a hill. So not sure how that worked. An old rusty pipe. It's pretty good. It's 
fine pipe. Let's see if there's any trees. I mean, like there are trees. Let's like see if there's any hammock appropriate trees. Are these, are these, are these trees even alive? Yeah, probably not gonna pitch to that one. Yeah, these trees don't look that good. <laughs> like, a lot of them just have big dead branches on them, like this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hitch my hammer to that. Man, there's so many like almost perfect trees. But uh, I gotta make a decision soon, because it's gonna be dark, it's gonna start raining, and I am thirsty. I think I got the right trees. The tree that this is on, and this tree right over here. Should be good, not too many scraggly cragglies. Yeah, I think it's gonna start raining soon. Man, this place is creepy. All right, let me go get my stuff. having this vision of looking over and just seeing somebody walking. It's just uneasy out here. This isn't as easy as it looks. I've got two sides of the tarp up. is wind yes but an almost bigger problem is the wind is getting the tarp and all of the little dongles and ropes all wrapped around each other and random branches and the ridge line and I'm just it's just it's just all tangled it's just all tangled it's terrible that that's as that's as up as it's gonna get for now there, there's like barely enough wind to just make this a complete pain in my butt. So I got the tarp up because it does look like it's about to start raining. I usually I put the hammock up first, kind of see what I'm working with space-wise, but I wanted to get the shelter going before I, I get caught, caught in the rain. So now I am going to put the hammock up. I can e I'm not going to put my sleeping pad in it. I can easily take it down if I need to move my chair under there. But I'm gonna get everything set up, set my chair out overlooking the uh, airport and expressway, break into the beverage center. Yeah, one thing of note too, is that part of the reason this is so difficult, yes, it's the wind. Yes, it's the tarp getting tangled up on itself. But also this ground is basically rocks. Like there's a little bit of dirt. There's no dirt to just blip. A, a stake in. So I'm just sort of like shoving it in what I can. It's not very good. It's not very secure. I'm looking at one about to pop out right now. Okay, got everything set up. Well, most things set up. I haven't blown up my sleeping pad or put my sleeping bag out yet. I usually wait till later to do those. Don't have a bug net. I don't want spiders crawling up in there. Um, but yeah, there it is. Fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Thankfully, the wind was only uh, present for the setup of that. Now it's pretty much gone. Also, 
Oh, look at that bone. Look at that bone right there. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to point at it. It's a, it's a bone, isn't it? Now it's time to do a little relaxation. Let's go watch the planes. Time to break into the beverage center. No surprises today, guys. I have my beloved space kitty to keep me company in this weird place. I, uh, I'm very glad I'm here right now, but I'm on edge more than I normally am during a stealth camp, especially recently. When you're stealth camping, oh boy, there's a, there's a mosquito. First mosquito I've seen today. Uh, didn't bring a bug net, that's nice. Anyway, the, uh, the thing about stealth camping in the winter is that you're, you can be fairly certain that there's nobody out and about when it's like 15, 20 degrees out in some random woods next to a Walgreens or whatever. Um, but here, it's like a beautiful day. This is a weird spot. Um, it's just, the, the, I, the, I'm on high alert, let's just say that, I'm on high alert. Jeez, <laughs> sit down for a second, the mosquitoes find you, don't they? Anyway, oh, 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 squirted a little. Oh yeah, it's foamy from the bike ride. Good. I need more. In all honesty, it's a pretty nice little spot here. Like I've said before, other than the weird vibes I get about this place, it's kind of perfect. It'd be more perfect if I felt good about cutting down some smaller trees so I could get a better hammock hang elsewhere. Not gonna do that. Uh, it's, it's so funny, I came here the other day and I'm like, ah, oh, there's tons of trees, it's not too dense, I'll have no problem finding a place to set up my hammock it ended up being kind of a pain to find two perfect trees. I think I did pretty good though. Nobody's coming from this side unless they get out of their car and then climb this like 20, 30, 40 foot, it's hard to tell, uh, almost straight up and down hill to get to where I am on this side. This side, easily someone could just whoop, come in. No, no barriers to entry. Uh, you, I mean, you saw the trail that I came in on. It was, it was not hidden. It's either going to be a, a really nice sleep tonight or a really terrible sleep. The, uh, the traffic usually is nice. It's nice to sleep to, but I'm just worried about every, you know, so often when a plane takes off, it's loud. It's, it's, it's almost deafening. Um, I think I've caught it once while the camera's on so far. I, I'll guess I'll see when I'm editing if that actually got picked up by the mic. That's the other thing back here is I, I have to yell to, to get my voice to the camera. Now, to me, that seems appropriate, but to somebody over there who, whose ears aren't encumbered by traffic, they're just gonna hear a yelling guy. 
Well, right now might just be a fabulous time if you haven't already. Subscribe, pop a little subscribe for me. I'm trying to grow the channel and subscribing is the best way to help me grow it. Who'd have thunk, right? You know, if you really like the video, show, show, me, show me a like. And if you, if, if, you, if, you, you know, if you're so inclined, maybe leave a comment as well. Tell me uh, what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I'd really like to be able to, to get out more, do more stealth camping, do more backwoods camping, things like that. And as the channel grows, that will help me. That will help me to be able to uh, take time off of work and away from my family in order to, to do stuff like this. Uh, you know, in a perfect world, I'd be putting out a, a camping or stealth camping video every single week. I still try to go for the weekly content, but usually every single week stealth camping is tough. So there's a better chance of that happening if you subscribe. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, symbiotic relationship we have here. Today was the, uh, the first time I've been out on my bike since last summer. Uh, it was good. My knees got a little tired. I, 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 I was wondering if it was going to make it. Remember at the end of last summer, I, I, had, I, I had spent the entire summer just beating it up. There's a, there's a little plane little tiny uh, personal aircraft. Uh, I was I just beat beat the ever-loving love out, out of my bike last summer, going to stealth camps, ramming it through fields, pushing it through brush, hitting it with sticks and stuff. So I was like, before I take it out at all this year, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it into a shop. And I was actually planning on walking here today. It's about an hour walk from where I live, a little bit less, about 50, 55 minutes. Um, and then when I was packing up, I was like, why don't I drive the bike? So I filled up my tires and rode around the neighborhood for 10, 15 minutes. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna ride my bike tonight. And I'm glad I did, because it's about a 15 minute bike ride here. And it's gonna be a 15 minute bike ride home in the morning instead of a, an hour or so long trek, um, in, in, probably in the rain, you know. The eeriness is definitely going away a little bit the longer I stay out here. I'm still on edge but I'm finally starting to be able to relax. I wonder why. Okay, well, I'm gonna sit here, sip of my beer, kind of watch the traffic, watch the airport for a little while, relax. And uh, in a little while, I'll eat some dinner. How about that? How's that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. You know, I had a thought. Maybe it just took a little bit of space kitty to, uh, to get my brain to switch to this. But I've been thinking that I've been on a hill this whole time. And I was very confused because I'm basically standing. I mean, there was clearly a railroad here at one time. There's old uh, coal deposits everywhere. Just like, gah, like old used coal just all over. Not, not, a, not an uncommon sight around here. Um, but it was kind of weird to me that I was up on this hill. Down below me is the expressway, and then right across from that is the airport. But what I've come to, to realize is I'm not on a hill at all. They just dug out the, the expressway, so, so I'm on level ground, and the expressway is just below me. That's all. And then straight across is the airport. So just a little revelation there. Not too much going on other than that. Yeah, so far no activity, not that I could hear it, if there was. There could be a whole uh, chanting chorus right over there and I'd never hear it. Temperature's dropping a little bit. Put my hoodie on. It's gonna be adding layers as the night goes. That's kind of how it, how, how it, how it goes. So according to the weather app, uh, we're about to get some moderate to heavy rain in about a half an hour. So as the master of stealth camping would say, um, uh, it's time to hunker down. So I got my sleeping pad all done. I'm going to cover up my bike. Uh, I have a poncho that turns into a tarp that's going to put over my bike. And uh, eventually I'm going I'm to have to take this party inside, inside to my little area there underneath the tarp. Uh, I uh, still haven't eaten. I haven't gotten hungry enough to eat yet, but that's probably gonna have to wait. 
Uh, cause rain, I mean, cause rain. Oh man, I saw in the distance what I thought was a campfire. Like it looked like a flickering orange light. And I put my beer down and it tipped over for just a second. And I, I got it, there was like a, the tiniest beer that fell out. But of course the entire thing foams up and I lost half the beer anyway. So that's a bummer. And then I go over uh, to, to what I thought the campfire was. It's just an orange light from it was just an orange light from a from a building. It was just an orange light from a building, um, and then when I went over there, I missed a, a cool a giant jet coming into land right here. I missed every. It was a test. This camping trip is a disaster. Definitely an interesting area. Like just this, all this. All these broken twigs and brush and everything everywhere. This place seems like there was like a, what do they call those super concentrated storms? Like a micro cluster? Or, I, I can't remember. I can't remember what they call them. But it almost seems that. Like, look. Rooted up tree. Rooted up tree. All this stuff, all the grass, everything's flat. It's so weird. It's so weird. Another, another rooted up tree over there. All right. I guess, I guess uprooted, not rooted up tree. I guess uprooted is the word. Microburst. Microburst. That was the storm. The, it was yeah, microburst, not micro cluster. Microburst. Okay, I am gonna sit down and eat before it starts pouring, and it's gonna be such a pain to do it in my in my tarp setup, uh, filming and, and trying to make room and all that. So I'm just, I'm just gonna do it now. It's not raining yet. I'm just gonna eat now. I'm getting kind of hungry, uh, and I don't want to have too much light on to film once it gets dark, which it almost did, which it's, it's almost dark. I mean, so I think the sun may have set and it's overcast. It's a little blue out. As you can see, I have lighting. Today's dinner is a sandwich that I made earlier. It's a turkey sandwich. It has cheddar cheese, it has mayo, it has lettuce, it has jalapeno, salt. What it do? Been a very chill night so far. Kind of having myself just a little time here. Um, not really doing anything in particular. Kind of just walking around the immediate area, looking at planes land, watching the traffic. It's uh, you guys. If, you, if I don't know if anyone out there you probably are is familiar with um, the concept of liminal space. It's essentially liminal space is just the space between spaces. Um, you know, places that you walk through or go through or drive through that you don't spend any time in. And that's, I think, part of this place's vibe, is it's very liminal space. You have the airport, people coming and going, just passing by. You have the expressway. I mean, thousands of people have driven by me since I've been here. Um, and just to spend time in a place where most people just go through it quickly, just on their, you know, commute from point A to point B. I don't know, it's kinda, it's kinda nice. Well, I'm gonna finish this sandwich uh, pretty quick, because I felt a little raindrop earlier. It's coming, the rain's coming. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is good, it's hitting the spot.
Well, as you can see, it's completely dark. It's completely dark out now. Traffic slowed down a little bit. Looks like a jet's about to take off there. Uh, traffic slowed down a little bit. And it's kind of nice out here. Darkness really crept up. This is about as dark as it's going to get. Rain hasn't happened yet. I've, I've felt a couple of drops. Can't see me that way. Here, let's at least get my silhouette. Uh, I felt a couple of drops, but I'm ready. I'm ready for uh, when it does start raining. It's going to. There's like a, almost 100% chance of it raining all night. Well, it finally started raining, at least a little bit. It's sprinkling, enough to where I need to get out of it, lest I just become soaked over a long period of time, as opposed to soaked instantly if it were pouring. You know, when, it, when it's sprinkling, it's still raining, and you're like, oh, it's not raining that bad, but then you stand out in it for five minutes and you're wet. That's what I'm trying to avoid, especially before getting into a sleeping bag. So I'm just kind of chilling here. You can see right, right under my tarp here. Um, you probably can't even hear the raindrops on the tarp. They're so slight, but it, it was enough. It was enough. They're 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 kind of coming coming and going too. This rain is not. This is not what it was forecast at all. It was supposed to start raining moderate to heavy about an hour ago, and it's slightly the most slightest the slightest amount of rain you could possibly imagine happening right now. Uh, the wind is. Annoying though, see this? This just being pushed, and then this behind me. Yeah, yeah. The wind, the wind is is happening. Uh, I got my. Is that gonna show up? Not at all. Put my bikes underneath uh, my poncho, staying nice and dry, so I don't get a wet butt in the morning. I've definitely had to deal with that in the past. But yeah, just kind of a nice, kind of a nice chill little evening here. I hope it starts raining harder soon, so I feel justified sitting under the tarp. Ha <laughs> ha! It's finally actually raining. I'm sure the camera's picking up, or the, the, the camera's mic's picking up on that. It's raining. I'm under my tarp for a reason now, not just for fun and, and fancy free. So yeah, this is where I'm going to be for the rest of the night as it continues to rain and not let up according to the weather app. We'll see. But it's getting on kind of late, so uh, yeah, this is probably me sitting here underneath my tarp, just looking at stuff. Oh no! Oh, that's a, <laughs> it's on the outside of the tarp. I thought I, I saw that. I saw that. Thought it was on the inside. It's not. It's not on the inside. It's on the outside. So everything is cool, guys. Everything's just fine. Everything's really good. We're, we're on the way. Everything's gonna be so Okay, we're having some problems. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I mentioned it briefly earlier in the video, but I'm basically camping at a pile of discarded coal from about 100, 150 years ago. So my stakes aren't staying in super great. I keep having to fix them and the rain's coming down. Uh, you, you can probably hear it. It's coming It's coming down pretty good. My chair that I was sitting in, I got up for a second and now it's kind of wet. I'm kind of wet. I gotta move things around. It's a wet time. Basically what I'm saying is it's a wet time. Uh, I'm working through it though. Things are we're being worked through, and I'm working through it, and it's going to be worked through. So I fixed all the stakes. These stakes keep coming out. I can't stop them from coming out. Each stake has come out three to five times, uh, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay in my hammock at this point, and and hope and hope for the best because this is getting ridiculous. Things are getting wet. Uh, my. Uh, the seam seal on my tarp isn't isn't doing great, but it's not leaking. That's cool. Um, everything else is wet, though. That's that's it's. Let's just hope the the seam seal holds up all night. Uh, Cause yeah, things are things are dripping, things are glooping, glopping. Time time to get into the hat.
Well, whew. Whew. okay, made it into the hammock. Okay, had some issues with the sleeping pad, no big deal. Um, but I'm not going to bed just yet, I'm just finding a bit of respite. I'm gonna eat some beef sticks. What do we have here? What do, what do we have here? I got, uh, I got ta Takis hot chili pepper and lime flavored meat stick. I got, I got two of those. I just grabbed them. I've never had them. I have faith. Uh, and just a swim gym. You know, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat some meat sticks. First up is Takis, lime flavored, whatever. Fabulous. I mean, it's good to, to find meat stick. I can't imagine what went into making this. I can't imagine what went into eating it. All right, next up is just a regular Slim Jim. How's the stack up? How's the stack up? I don't know. How's the stack up? Well, it loses points for having a, a, a worse way to open it, but let's find out. When I was a kid, I used to eat a Slim Jim. And I would like move all the meat out of the skin and just eat the meat. I would eat the skin too, but I would just like to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. Ah, I messed it up. I don't have the, I don't have the touch I had when I was a kid. All right, I'm starting it out. Okay, it's, get, it's getting more translucent. Next up is Takis again. You know, I docked points on the Slim Jim for opening worse than the Takis, but this Taki, this Taki opened up terribly. Synthetic and terrible in their own way. I can't choose which one's better. I mean, they're both fine. They, they do the job. Yeah, that was spicy. Uh, I'm gonna lay down here and just whew, it's a little spicy. It's fine. I'm gonna lay down here and listen to the rain and the tarp. When it comes back, it kind of stopped raining for a second. I'm waiting for it to come back. Come back, come back, rain. Uh, but unless anything crazy happens in the night, I'll see you guys in a sec. Well, that was a nice sleep anyway. I got some pretty good sleep. But man, this traffic is loud. Not even the soothing sound of the rain could keep me asleep all night. It looks like it's still night out. It's super early, it's about 5.30, but I gotta get up and go. Gotta get home early and do stuff. So I'm gonna lay here for a minute, see if the rain lets up a little bit. It's, it's doing pretty good right now. Um, yeah, I uh, like sleeping. The top of my sleeping bag is a little wet. It's been kind of windy all night, and every time there's a gust, it just blows a couple of drops in. So the top of my sleeping bag is a little damp, but not too bad. Oh yeah, yeah. The seam seal is failing. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I had to illuminate myself pretty brightly, but I'm all packed up except for my ridge line here, which my light is hanging from. Got my bike already. Should be pretty dry. I had the tarp on it all night. There's been a slight reprieve in the rain. Hopefully it'll not rain for the next 15, 20 minutes or so while I finish putting my chair in my pack and riding home. But thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, new episode Small Plots every Tuesday. Sometimes I'm doing some stealth camping. Sometimes I'm doing some regular camping. Sometimes I'm just walking around the city and talking about things I see. Thanks for watching till the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on that soggy, wet, kind of filled with mud nexty.
It's really testing the integrity of this tarp setup. I'll tell you what. I think it's about to blow away. Oh my god! Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. I'm also extremely red. I'm a little sunburned, uh, which makes today a little more difficult. The forecast for today was originally just rain, 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 rain all day. And as uh, you can see, it's completely sunny and beautiful, but I still have hope that we might get a little rain in. So I got a nice little stealth camp kind of idea of where I'm gonna camp. Uh, gonna have a nice little tarp shelter with my hammock, make a fire, just have a, have a, have a nice, have a nice chill little time. So let's, uh, let's get back on the trail before anyone uh, calls the police. <sighs> okay, I'm close to the forest I'm jumping into. As you can see, I'm right, I'm gonna camping right underneath that water tower over there. I'm headed into that woods. Uh, there's a transformer station over there. Uh, here's just the path I kind of came in on. Uh, finally, it's getting a little more overcast. The clouds are building up, which is great for my skin. I was dying. It's, it's tough to ride your bike in the sun when you're already sunburned. Uh, but I'm gonna stop uh, farting around here on the trail and, and jump into those woods. Oh, got a nice uh, old TV. We'll be entertained tonight. As you can see, this trail kind of looks maintained. I don't know how maintained it is, but I do know that uh, a lot of dirt bikes and ATVs and things like that use this trail. So that's, that's basically, as far as I know, the main, the main purpose. Oh boy, that looks pretty good. Some nice water. Okay. Good thing I'm wearing my muck boots. Well, at least I know nobody's gonna be walking out here. Jeez, this is so deep. I gotta get out. <laughs> it almost came over the top of my boot. Holy jeez. Okay. Pushing this through the mud. Pushing this through the mud. Okay, so here's another giant puddle right there. Uh, the puddle I just came in on is behind me. So there's this other path over here. Um, I'm gonna take this. Okay, so I'm looking around these woods. Uh, it's just a bunch of trails. There's like a couple of markers like this. This is a park. I am in a park right now. It just has uh, next to no amenities. As you can see behind me, the trail is completely washed out. Even with my boots, that's gonna be a pain to get through. So I'm gonna hop into one of these woods over here. Um, you can see my bike over there with the orange bag. Uh, it's kind of where I, I noticed a little I don't know if it's a game trail or what. I'm just gonna pop in, leave my bike here for a minute. I'm not too worried about people coming back, considering the forecast. Oh, some nice birds back here. Um, but this is kind of, this is kind of brambly. Oh God, oh, this hurts the sunburn. Ooh, ooh, that's not great. That's not great. I went the wrong way too. This isn't even the way. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ow. Oh. All right, that's actually kind of nice back here. It's not super far off the trail, but I don't really know how much farther I can go. Uh, yeah, definitely visible from the trail. Oh, wow, this is really nice back here. It's kind of a clearing. Huh, and then over there, See the water tower probably. I can't really see the screen, there's too much glare, but I think the water tower uh, was behind me there. Okay, well, I'm here in a little spot, kind of right below the water tower. This might do. I cannot see my bike with the 
orange bag. No matter how hard I look, I don't see it at all, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna take my bag off. Whew, ooh, that feels good. My shoulders are very sunburned as well. So it's nice to get that pack off. I think this is home for tonight. I'm actually pretty pumped, this is great. I'm gonna be able to have a fire, have a nice tarp. I got my big tarp tonight. Haven't used that in a while. Uh, okay, I'm gonna grab my bike. Got the bike in, no trouble. Except for the fact, I don't know what kind of tree it is around here, but every branch looks like this. With all those little nobules poking out. And with a sunburn, just rubbing against that is like knives scratching against me. It's super painful. On the top of my head, on my arms. All right, enough complaining about the, uh, the sunburn. I'm here, this is fantastic. Let me do a little walk around real quick. Whew, I can't wait to take a drink of water walk around. I am a little glad that it's not raining now because I can set up and uh, be okay. And it looks like I'm immediately on another trail. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not the best spot. It's, a, it's weird. I don't know. It's clearly a trail here. Very clearly a trail. But it ends right here. Uh, looks like a bunch of Bunch of trees just fell. So I'm gonna walk down this trail a little bit. If this is just a dead trail and nobody's coming through here, hmm, kind of fresh sawdust. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this is a dead trail and nobody's coming through here, then I wouldn't mind camping right there. Uh, as I said, this place is mostly used for like dirt bikers, ATVs, stuff like that. I'm sure people come here to walk around the trails, but Imagine the people that come here often kind of know the trails if they're going to be going in loops with their motorized vehicles and this would not be on the list in their mind. Looks like I'm coming up to a fork here. More trails. <sighs> yeah, interesting woods. There's another way out. Ooh, sand. The ground is completely sand right here. That's kind of strange. Uh, I am very close to the base of the water tower, just uh, I don't know, about 50 feet or so. It's always tough to tell scale on the GoPro. It pinches everything slightly in the middle. So something that's like right next to me looks like it's so much farther away. Okay. All right, there she blows. Yeah, I think I'm gonna camp where I, where I have it. Yes, it's directly next to a trail, but I don't think, like looking at the other trails around here that are used, they're dirt and sand and they have tracks in them. It's very clear that they're used. Uh, but the trail that's right next to where I'm camping or hope to camp, doesn't have any of that. It's just kind of a trail that ends where trees fell. So hopefully nobody's going exploring in the rain and decides to check out that little spur. That wouldn't be great. Uh, this does worry me a little bit. These look relatively recently cut, but it's almost like they gave up. Like they came back here cut a few logs and was like, oh, jeez. And they realized they have to go through all that. So, yeah. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> there's my camp right there. I'm on the trail. See if we can get a shot of my bike. It's right there. So, if someone does come up here, it's gonna be very obvious that I am here as well, but it's supposed to start raining real soon. I mean, it's supposed to have rained all day, so maybe it won't rain at all. But the, the sky's looking pretty dark over there. So I'm gonna get my tarp set up and get to camping. It's a hot one today, guys. Oh, even without the sun, it's very muggy, very warm.
don't know if the camera's picking up on that. Some kind of machinery or something in the woods. That's real close. Whatever that is, is real close. And there's nothing over there but more woods. So it leads me to believe that whatever that sound is, is in the woods. It sounds like a ladder, like a big ladder clanking or something. I wonder if somebody has a hunting stand or something that they're using a ladder for, I don't know. Definitely a little bit more on alert now. It sounds like there's just big machinery moving through the woods. I wish I had a drone or something, I guess. Kind of do a little reconnaissance. Uh, but anyway, today I'm going to be setting up my big boy here. I think it's uh, like 10 by 12 or something. Big tarp, relatively huge uh, tarp right across these two trees. Maybe have a, a fire this way towards the camera. Yeah, yeah, that's going to work nicely. That's going to work quite nicely. alone in these woods but like not so alone if you know what I mean must be because I'm just like right next to the trail and pretty close to the trail over there although I don't think they can see me although this tarp is big and bulky it's really great uh, because it has, I don't even know how many tie-outs on it, like 30 or something tie-outs. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. Oh, it smells like campfire too. Uh, yes, uh, I have more in the back than I have in the front here. Gonna make like a little awning type deal. I might have to adjust everything though, considering the, uh, I don't know, one mile an hour wind is just being just such a, such a good, a good friend of the channel. I'm actually out here way earlier than I normally am. Usually I come out a couple hours before dark. It's like, I don't know, two in the afternoon maybe, something like that, 1.30. everywhere man good lord I don't know where I'm gonna tie this to I was gonna tie tie this rope over there but it's just all thorns it's a big thick thorny branch I don't even I don't even think prickers got that big I don't, I don't know I guess I'm just gonna do it I guess I just have to do it <laughs> there's no other place ah. yeah Yeah, uh, it's not perfect, but considering I had to tie it around a bunch of uh, prickers, it's pretty good. I've got a lot of space under there. I'm excited. This is going to be great. I hope it starts just pouring soon. Oh my God! Uh, this, the sky looks like a mix of really dark clouds and just blue sky. So, I don't know. Right now, according to weather apps, there's like an 85% chance of thunderstorms. Like, right now, currently. It's not thunderstorming. <laughs> okay, here we are underneath the tarp. I started to hear sprinkles a second ago, but they stopped. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get my bike underneath here and some of the other things I have around, uh, just to keep them nice and dry under, under the tarp. There's a there's a, a ridiculous amount of space under here. Let me let me do a little tour. <laughs> a little, little star tours here. All right, uh, this is it. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, got this little lip out front. Most of the tarps in the back. 
Uh, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tie outs on it. There's not actually 30, like I said earlier. It's, it's like 18 or something, but um, still a lot. This should protect me tonight unless it gets, you know, like 40 mile an hour winds, which it's not supposed to. God! Oh, let's take a look from this side. I was a little upset. I had to use my uh, least stealthy line for two of the tie outs just because it's what I had. The rest is just black. Ah! <laughs> uh, so yeah, before it gets too, too rainy, look at this, it's just all these like little nobules. They just, they're like swords, little swords on your skin, uh, sunburned skin. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start collecting some wood. There's a ton of wood around. This is all, that's all usable wood. Uh, I'm not gonna start the fire just yet. It's a little early for that. I don't wanna give myself away um, any more than I already am. But yeah, this is great. I'm glad I got everything done and set up. The way I imagined this trip going was me getting, was me riding my bike here in the pouring rain and then setting up in the pouring rain and then just being wet and having to start a fire in the pouring rain. And uh, when I saw an opportunity to not live that reality, I decided to take it. So that's why I came out here earlier than I anticipated. But it's nice to, nice to spend some time camping. It's so close. I think it's just a bird, but it's it's making a kind of a pretty sound. Where are you? You know what that was? It, it just it just occurred to me. That was the sound of a tree frog that I'm hearing. I knew it sounded super familiar. Uh, yeah, definitely a tree frog going off over there. I'll try I'll try to catch it. It's very elusive. It goes and goes and goes. And as soon as I grab a camera to record it, it's like, uh-uh, buddy. So, yeah, a little tree frog over there doing his little chirpity chirping. Huh. Okay, let's do the the classic walk to the path and see if you can see the camp move the old classic maneuver I'm I have high hopes that I won't be able to see anything man this forest is so brushy even if someone could see me it's not like they could sneak up on me okay Whew. glory all right here I am back out on the trail just for some reference uh, there's the flooded out part of the trail that I didn't walk through, that's uh, up, up this way here. Um, looking in, looking for a camp, looking for a camp. I don't see it. Not a single thing. That's good news, let's keep going. I don't see a single thing. I don't see a, an orange bag or a green rope. <laughs> every every five seconds, this is what I keep, I keep saying. I just brush by something like this, and there's just so many little nobules. It's like it's like knives on my red sunburned skin. It hurts so bad. Oh, okay, so let's see. This looks like kind of the part of the trail that on the other side is all messed up. So I don't think it will be coming down here. Nothing. I don't see a single thing. Pretty good, pretty stealthy. 
just kind of walk around a bit. So that's where I came in from, over there. Uh, here's another way up. I think this leads to up where, when I first got here, I checked out the water tower. Pretty sure that's where this leads. And oh my gosh, these are huge tire tracks. Definitely an AT, a big ATV or something coming back here. Yeah, see, very heavily used by ATVs and dirt bikes. Here's uh, the big puddle that I walked through to get here. It's quite intense. A large portion of these woods, I'd say uh, maybe 80% is delineated wetlands. So it's nice to be able to find a spot that's not in a swamp. I have checked out these woods before. I've explored a little bit. It is quite swampy in places, um, but I don't have to worry about that today. So that's pretty good. See over, over here even, it's hard to tell on camera. That's all just like swampy muckiness over there. It's pretty nice. I wonder how, how far down this path I can get. Let's see. Let's see. Huh. Big old eagle. Uh, let's see how, there we go, how far I can get down there. I don't want to leave my stuff for too long, but I don't think anyone's going to bother it right now. Ah, a beast. Okay. Alright, definitely not as deep as the other one. The other one almost came up over my boot. This isn't as bad. Yeah, some kind of beast of the wood over there. God. Getting a little deep. Getting a little deep. Yeah, some more wetland type woods in there. It's just, it's all spotty. Yeah, some more right there. Just spotty around. There's a couple of ponds and stuff. Nothing nice enough to camp around. They're like little bogs, but kind of a cool woods. All right, and the, the path just keeps going. My feet are cooling off walking through this water, I'll tell you that. And I love muck boots. They just provide so much freedom. You don't have to worry about it. Just rubber boots. Okay, kind of like a manure smell over here. Yeah, it looks like the ATVs and things go right through this water. They don't care. It's probably fun. It's probably fun to do that. Uh, if you're somebody who goes dirt biking or ATVing, uh, let me know. Is this rain and mud something that would deter you? Or is it something that would uh, make you want to come out here more? Yeah, see, there's all these, all these tracks and stuff. I'm going to walk a little bit farther. Now, this water here is starting to get a little bit of algae. I wonder if that's because it hasn't been used in a while, or used, <laughs> it's gone through. Ooh, squishy, squishy. Now well, I'm certainly leaving my footprint mark here. Oh, this is really muddy. Good thing I have a big, uh, enormous puddle to walk through on, on the way back to camp. Yeah, this is just soaked and nasty back here. It hasn't even rained yet. This is definitely a little more chill, a little more out there than my normal stealth camps. I just wanted, wanted so bad just have a nice peaceful camp with no highway noise, no street lights and stuff. But I still like to do the stealth camping thing. Oh, another trail. It's gotta be a game trail. Uh, so this place kind of seemed perfect. I get to stealth camp underneath this water tower. Still rode my bike here. I'm still like a 20 minute bike ride away from home. It's not like I'm way out there. Uh, you know, I live in downtown Rochester, New York. It's about a 20, 25 minute bike ride away from there. Um, but it's just nice to be able to get out here, have the sounds of, of nature be more what I hear than the sounds of traffic or like music in the distance or something. Um, I anticipate, oh, there's another trail over here too. I missed all these little trails the first time. Um, there's, I don't anticipate any any dirt bikers and stuff, but 
I wouldn't I wouldn't really know, would I? See how long it takes before it's clear. Oh boy. Yeah, you can definitely start to see it now. Just a little bit. Oh, here. Somebody with squeaky bicycle brakes nearby. See, as you can see, I'm not crazy far away from that trail. This forest is so brushy. Not really much I can do. And here we are. Back to camp. Okay, I'm on the other side of the trail now. Let's, uh, let's see the camp from here. <laughs> Not too hidden from this path. But again, like I said, hopefully nobody actually comes down this path. It doesn't lead anywhere. It's kind of just a dead path. I don't see any of the same uh, tread that I see on other paths. And this is a park that I'm in, but it's really strange. Like, it's kind of impossible to get into, almost. There's no official, like, park here and then enter the park via this trail. The, the, the only trails are, like, down other trails, like bike trails, and like kind of just duck, you duck off in the woods. But it is a park, it is a nature park. Uh, it's just very rustic, not, not, it's hard, hard to get here. You even look on uh, Google for reviews and people are like, I don't, I don't know how to get there. Okay, I'm at the fork again, let's go, I'm gonna go up this way. Just explore a little bit. Looking into the woods over there, I don't think I can see my camp, but I'm gonna look anyway. There's the, there's the, there's our friend for the night. The water tower, that should be lit up cool tonight. This is the same water tower that was uh, in the background in a stealth camp I did about a year ago. Uh, obviously kind of close by, not this close to it. Uh, different, different woods. Yeah, it would be in there. Not a single view. Can't see, can't see it at all. I've been out in these woods before and just heard, you know, ATV motors. I just saw a guy, just this random guy. He was walking. <laughs> so they do, there are people that come here to walk that do know how to get in here. It's just not like a normal city park where people are gonna be everywhere all the time. Oh, man, it's so pretty out here. Almost done with my water. Good thing I have another liter. Finally started raining. This is what uh, basically what I'm out here to do. Whew. I had to rush back from that little walk. It started coming down. It's let up a little bit since then. I think it's going to be that kind of one of those days. I think the day of just torrential downpours uh, constantly throughout the day uh, is going to be more like scattered showers. I think that's what we're getting today because it was supposed to start like pouring several hours ago and now we're getting just some regular, some regular rain. No pouring just yet. 
Uh, but I'm ready to go with a fire whenever, uh, you know, it, it, I, I feel like it, basically. All right, it's a little bit after 3 o'clock p.m. Uh, maybe around like 4 or 5, I'll get the fire going. Break into the beverage center. Dinner is as exciting tonight as it normally is here on Small Plots. It's nice, I can keep my bike dry behind me there, underneath the tarp. And I just have all this space, I have so much space under here. Uh, until I set up my hammock, and then I'll have like no space. But until I do that, you know, before I go to bed, it's just space. Well, it rained for a little while, and now the sun's coming out again. <laughs> Weird weather day. Not a terrible day to camp, but uh, you know, I was, I was still prepped. I was so prepped and ready for rain. I'm still, I'm still hopeful. It's, uh, it's supposed to just, it was supposed to pour all day and night. So maybe we'll just get the night. The sun's just out. It's, it's gorgeous. How annoying. Pretty relaxing day, just been chilling under the tarp. The rain's come and gone, but it's been sunny for a good while now. Um, I, I've heard some nearby chatter over, over in this direction. Um, like it was just straight up a dude's voice. So I've been keeping it low key, not that I was being super loud before. Um, just keeping my eyes and ears peeled for people that might be out walking the trails or, or whatnot. Um, yeah, there's a nice, I hear a train going by over there that's probably gonna be keeping me company all night. Yeah, pretty soon, start this fire. I've kind of just been sitting here, relaxing, enjoying nature. It's gonna be five soon. It's still a little early for starting a fire if, you know, people might be walking around, so. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and then I'm gonna do that, but it is soon and I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna eat some of that food as well. It's gonna be wild. Okay, I think it's about time to have a fire. I've put the, these, uh, this triangular set of logs here to kind of make a, a, a pit, as it were. I've got some birch bark that I've harvested from another camp, because it's just, it's just so great. This should go up pretty quickly. All the wood around here is super dry. This is all I have for like little kindling, but I think it should be enough because there's just so much around me. Uh, I have a ton of just slightly bigger ones. It's, I think this is gonna go, this might be the best fire I've ever started. Ah. 
Okay. I feel like the sticks I put on are completely missing it. You have a fire. Okay, time to break into the beverage center here. Today I have something cool and relaxing, like a fresh spring rain that kind of missed out on today, I guess. Got some white claws. Yeah, this one's strawberry. I have, I have a couple other ones. Yeah, keeping it real low key. Just want something I can kind of sip. You know, some, sometimes the space kitties get a little get a little heavy. Yep, smells like uh smells like a white claw. Pretty good, pretty good, not too bad. Feed the fire here. You can really hear those tree frogs going nuts. It's been like that all afternoon. It's really cool. Sorry for the I'm kind of like a little silhouette here. Uh, this is, I just wanted a different angle than the same one I've been using. I want to get the fire behind me, but that's, you know, it's doing how it's doing. Whew, nice smoke. This wood around here is just a bunch of, you know, terrible, gross, soft wood. It's, it's burning pretty, pretty fast, but that's okay, because there's a ton of it. There's a ton of it everywhere. I know it's a little weird to say, but I'm kind of disappointed in the rain, you know? Uh, Sometimes it's fun, especially on a day like today where it's really warm, it wasn't going to be cold at all, uh, to just camp in the rain. And it's the forecast still says it's coming, but like every hour it says like, this is when the rain begins. This is it, guys. And then sunny and beautiful. So I have no clue. But you can't win them all. It'd kinda, it would be cool to come back here one time, There's or another time. There's this uh, kind of fallen tree here. It's, it's the perfect height and uh, the ground is kind of clear below it to make kind of like a little shelter thing to camp in. I think that'd be kind of cool. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me come back here and make a little cool uh, shelter thing with that. Yeah. Well, cheers, everybody. Fire's looking pretty good. I keep having an inch away from it because it's a little warm, and so am I. That, that did, that's probably not going to come up too red on camera, but ooh, I'm, I'm like beat red. Sunburn, man. It's a killer. It'll get you. There are these two or, two or three of these tree frogs. Need to just get together already. They're, they're both just staying in the same spot, making the same loud noise at each other. They just get, just just meet up already. So what's with this this uh, this this flirtatious uh, evening? You're just yelling at each other. Let's go. Let's move it along, guys. This is uh, you. You can't delay love. Okay, time to eat. I've got uh, McDonald's. I actually bought this today. It's not like, I mean, it's kind of leftover, I guess. But it's not like last time I had McDonald's where it was like actually leftover. Um, it's not warm at all. I was thinking about putting it near the fire, but there's no like rocks or anything around here to put it on. I don't want to put it on one of those rotten, moldy logs, so I'm not gonna. Now that's room temperature McDonald's. Where did my beer go? I found it behind a log. I don't just have uh, room temperature bacon McDoubles. I also have room temperature, forest temperature, uh, chicken McNuggets. Huh? Gonna eat those, huh? Yeah. Do a little dip. 
extremely mediocre. Mwah, mwah. Medium good. Well, I'm gonna sit here and eat my okay dinner and just cross my fingers for rain. Okay, seriously high winds going on here. My, my tarp is right up against the back of me. It's just getting blown right in from that, from that direction. My bike might fall over. It's kind of up against my bike a little bit. The wind is coming in hot. The rain is coming in hot. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, here we go. This is, this is what I've been waiting for. This is it. Oh, man. Oh. I might need to move closer to the center of the tarp. In fact, I would get a little wet on this side. Not too bad, though. Oh, man. You can you see in the background, like, it looks like mist. That's just uh, a pouring rain. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, this tarp setup. It's really testing the integrity of this tarp setup. I'll tell you what. Things about to blow away. Oh, my God. Sheets of rain coming in! Sheets of rain coming in from this direction! Oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming right in. I don't know what to do. It's just, I'm just here, I got nothing left. I'm gonna put a raincoat on. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drink this. This is why I didn't set up my sleeping situation yet. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna, I uh, just broke my chair. I'm gonna fix my chair and put a raincoat on. The raincoat is on. It's just getting worse. The wind is insane, the rain is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's just coming right in. Like there's nothing, there's no stopping it. The, the, it. the wind all day was blowing this way to the back of my tarp and I was thinking, hey, when it rains, that's the way the rain's gonna come. Nuh-uh, it's coming right, right in. Right in on my legs. I'm, I'm damp now. I got, I'm glad I put this coat on. My chair is damp. My legs are damp. Good thing I have quick drying pants. Okay, the wind has died down a little, but the and the, the rain is still coming in hot. It was it's not monsooning like it was. That was nuts. Uh, there was apparently a, a tornado warning when that was going on. I, they, if it touched down, it was probably nearby. Because that came in hot, came in fast. It was definitely giving me the rain that I've been seeking. It, uh, it fulfilled that need. So now I think this is it. This is the rest of the night. The rain just kind of falling as it falls. Um, I'm wet. <laughs> and the, the fire is not gonna, gonna be lit again tonight. Uh, this this raincoat is wet, but it's keeping me dry underneath it, which is fabulous. Yeah, it was just coming right in, just coming right in this way. When all day the wind's been coming from this direction. Still some thunder, a lot of thunder and lightning going on. I don't know if the worst is behind us, but at least that part of the storm seems to be uh, passing through. Oh, we have a friend. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the campsite. I think he's just blinded by my light. I don't want to step on you. Move along. Move along. There you go. Move along. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Well, so right now I'm in the middle of kind of hunkering down. It's kind of an eye of the storm. So I'm bringing this down kind of pulled that corner in because this is a big problem zone. I might try to tie those two together or something. Uh, and here in the darkness, I'm gonna bring that down as well. So yeah, I think I think uh, we're in a little bit of a 
a reprieve from the rain, but it's definitely coming back. Okay, I'm a little more, uh, as the great Steve Walls would say, hunkered down here. Uh, let's see, yeah, that's not gonna pick it up. But all this, this tarp is kind of down. It's still not as, you know, I didn't pull it forward. It's still more down on the backside there. So, the, and the fire. Uh, I somehow got the fire to, to get back up. Kind of just one last hurrah, just threw all the rest that I had that was dry on it. And it, and here, here we go. I didn't really do too much to it. Uh, the rain is so pleasant and so relaxing. I'm just worried about this side. Because this is kind of where it came in last time. Uh, I have some extra rope. I might just, I might just close those up or something. I don't know. I, I gotta figure something out. I also have to hang up my hammock. <laughs> That's one of the trees my hammock is gonna be hung to. Hmm. It's kind of like a puzzle. Yeah. Well, anyway, my hand's bleeding because I just had to uh, <laughs> untie that rope that I tied around the prickers earlier, and uh, it's much harder in the dark. And we got water coming in right here in this corner. The seam seal's failing and it's just dripping so slowly, but you can see it's just wet. It's just wet around there. Uh, yeah, I, don't really, I can't really do anything about that. I'm just gonna have to let it drip. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, <laughs> so it's a, it's a wet time. It's a wet time. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to repair it. Uh, I have this little bit of rolled up duct tape here that I keep uh, just right in my bag. I'm gonna unravel it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry that off just a little bit. See, it's hit dripping down there right now. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna attempt to fix this. this. This is the shot, this is my shot. Here we go. Well, it, it, it's not pretty but it's up there. I don't know how great of a job it's gonna do. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. I might get another piece of duct tape. I have another one in there, similar <laughs> similar uh, situation. It's rolled up. It's, it's tough to unroll these things. See, it's all like raggedy and not great looking. It does seem to have stopped it for now. That's good, but I might just get another one on there uh, just, just so it's extra safe. The fix is, uh, well, I, I hesitate to call it a fix. Let's just leave it at that. I uh, got my hammock up, got my sleeping pad up. It was a huge P and a B, but we got it good. We got it good. Definitely kicked one or, excuse me, one or two of the uh, lines out of the tarp. But it's almost time for bed. I'm gonna sit here for a little while, finish off my beer, and climb into that nice little sleeping bag there. Yeah, that's, 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 that's looking mighty fine. I'm in the hammock. I'm pretty comfy. Uh, there's bugs flying around, so I don't want to keep this light on. Um, I'm going to sleep out on top of the sleeping bag for now. Jeez, the bugs are really coming in. Because um, <laughs> uh, it's pretty it's pretty nice out. I have this if I need it, and of course, getting in the sleeping bag. Uh, but unless anything just totally radical happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you guys in a second. Not a terrible night, not a, not a great night. It was pretty loud last night. Uh, the rain was nice, but the birds just never stopped going like all night like this. It was like this all night basically with the birds and on top of that, uh, a lot of tree frogs going, a lot of peepers going, a lot of toads going. I heard some toads, they're adorable. Uh, just taking a little walk around. It's pretty early in the morning, about 6.30. I wanna get up and get out of here. <sighs> Pretty chilly morning, actually, considering how warm it was yesterday. I'm glad I brought some extra layers just in case, because I need them. <sighs> so yeah, I'm not going to waste too much time here. I'll uh, start packing up. It stopped raining a few hours ago, I think. I don't think it's going to rain much, if any more. There's my bike over there with the bicycle seat, with the seat, with, with the, yeah, it's a bicycle seat, it's a bicycle, with the seat covered in a plastic bag. 
Okay, trying to pack all my wet stuff up. That's always fun, packing up the wet, wet stuff. All packed up, ready to go. This is pretty good. Got my bike ready, got the GoPro uh, attached to it so I can catch anybody seeing me potentially come out of the woods, uh, which may happen, who knows? I don't even know what time it is, probably like 7, 7.15 a.m., something like that. There could be runners, there could be people walking their dogs. Out there is a very popular trial, so I'm just, you know, you always kind of expect to see somebody. Sound like a hog. I don't know, weird sounds all night. Like I heard engines starting. It's just odd. Got the campfire all juicy. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna hop on this bike. I'm gonna try to go out a different way than the way I came in. I wanna walk through that giant puddle again. And I'm pretty sure if I followed this other little trail out and then hang a Louie, I can like kinda go down. It's still not great. I think it's still pretty uh, juicy. Second time I've used that word just now. Uh, but I'm gonna try it. Let's go. Let's go see what's up. Well, of course, the GoPro did what GoPros do when it's 50 to 55 degrees and just shut off. Allegedly, they can stay on until uh, you know, about 32. Never had that happen. It's always about 50 55. The thing just conks out. Anyway, I'm uh, leaving out this trail now. Got the water tower right behind me. I don't see anybody. I'm gonna keep going. Oh boy, this is tough to do with one hand. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this with one hand. This is ridiculous. This is what I'm dealing with. Okay. Well, I guess I'll let you know if I see anybody. <laughs> nobody saw me. No, nobody, nobody's out here. I think a, a falcon, a falcon flew by. He, he saw me. Uh, yep, there's the old water tower. A little bit of blue sky I see over there. No, actually, I think that's just darker clouds. Yeah, it's pretty nice out here, pretty peaceful. I don't anticipate any issues getting home. Uh, but this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday. Sometimes I do this, sometimes, you know, the stealth camping thing. Sometimes I go regu regular camping. You know, although it's probably, it's probably been a while. <laughs> it's October was maybe the first time, or the last, uh, last time I did that. I'm just waking up still, guys. Um, but thanks for watching till the end here, guys. And I'll catch you on that ever loving nextie. Mwah. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, out here for another little bit of a stealth camp tonight. We got uh, people running all over the place here. I'm gonna have to find a time when there's no runners, which there are a lot of, and bikers. There's a lot of them. It's a nice day. There's a lot of people out walking and running and biking, so I'm going to shut up and try to sneak in the woods here. Do I look suspicious? Yes. Am I a little nervous that there's some new things here since the last time I was here? Yes. And I'm going to ask myself another question and answer affirmatively. Okay, there's a guy ahead of me, but nobody behind me. I'm gonna duck in. This place is uh, like an active construction site. Okay, okay. So this is nearby, well, almost, well, very close to a place where I stealth camped uh, a little under a year ago now. And this place looks a lot different. 
for sure a lot different. This little pond right here, it's gonna be three times the size it was. There's no water in it. I don't even know if that red is a pond. But uh, I'm gonna, I gotta go fast because this ground is crazy lumpy with the tracks of like backhoes and things. And I'm very able to be seen by pretty much anyone right now. Okay, I've ditched my bike for a second. I really want to get a sight up against this uh, retention pond here next to the highway. And I think it might be possible. I just have to find the right spot. Let's check out right down here. I need the two trees for my hammock. And it can't be too hilly. You know, it can't be like mm, the whole time. Oh gosh. Well, Ooh, that might be a great little spot right over there already. I'm already impressed with what I see. A oh, little muskrat. A little muskrat dude running. Yeah, I, this tree is dead. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm tying a hammock to this boy. Man, if only I had a tent. This is such a cool little spot right in here. Nowhere to hang a hammock though. But there might be other spots. Maybe I'll make a little ground shelter. Hmm. 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 I'm finding a lot of almost perfect spots. Almost perfect. I might. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. There's not a ton more to go down a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking maybe this tree and that tree. It's hard to tell on camera, but the, the ground is just, it's just weird. It's like a hill right there. Uh, if I fell out of the hammock, I would hurt myself. But I don't really have a history of falling out of the hammock. I don't know. I'm going to look around a little bit more. Cause this place would be cool. I'm kind of like, I get a nice view of the retention pond and there's a place like right over there that I can set my chair up and kind of look at the pond uh, and while well, I chill. So that this could be the spot, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep looking. Uh, there might be just a little bit better spot uh, just in, in, you know, a few yards away. I don't know, I think I've reached the end here. It goes on. A little bit more that way but it's kind of just brush and nothingness and I think I found this a spot I, I can deal with I can really only use the hammock from one side because the other side of it is like like a four foot drop but that should be fine not anticipating a problem with that it's not supposed to rain tonight that doesn't mean that it won't but that's that's I mean is that something isn't it it's not supposed to <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna take my pack off, leave it here, go grab my bike, and start getting set up. Now might be a good time to show you guys what's on all sides of us. So this way, behind me, is uh, the expressway, the highway there, which I'll be camping next to. You can see the retaining pond as well. Uh, on that side of me, more highway. On this side, you have the Erie Canal, which is just being filled right now, by the way, and the canal path. I like just saw somebody walk by as I walked up to grab my bike, so I don't want to linger here too long, but I wanted to kind of get a, a bird's eye view. All right, got my bike here at the site. Um, I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm gonna start setting it up. I have uh, maybe two and a half hours of daylight. So I'm not really like in a hurry, but I do wanna get set up and sitting by this beautiful uh, retention pond. I had to pack my food up for this trip uh, a little differently than normal. 
had to tie it to the top, had to tie it to the top of the pack. Cause I'm eating a submarine sandwich for dinner tonight and it's a big one and it didn't fit anywhere other than right here on the top of the pack. So that's gonna be lovely. Time to put up the hammock. Uh, the past couple of trips I've put up the tarp because it's been raining or threatening of rain. Today, the hammock is the first thing that's going up. This one right here is dead. But there's kind of like three prongs coming up out of it. Maybe it's not dead, I don't know. But I'm not connecting with the dead guy. The live guy right next to it is probably better. I don't know if anyone else does this when they're camping with a hammock. I always denote the, the side that the little pouch is on, like the front, I keep that to my right when I sleep. So if I wake up in the middle of the night and need to grab something, I know it's right there. I don't know if I'm the only one. If not, hey, it's a, uh, it's a hot tip. Good, it's pretty good. All right, give it the mate and sit. If I fall, like four or five feet drop into the ground. All right, let's not pull a jack from Outlaw Camper. Very nice. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Yeah, I know what I just said about the pouch on the right, but I think I'm gonna keep it on the left. I was originally gonna have my head there, my feet here, but I think it just makes more sense because of the, the sharp drop right here to sleep this way. I don't know why it makes more sense. It's just pure logic. Gonna have to be real careful getting in and out of that thing. Real careful. Oh man, I just had a bit of a scare. I was walking around and it looked like I was just walking on a dead squirrel. Uh, but it was this plant. It looks like a dead. It looks like a dead squirrel all mashed into the ground. That was that was that was about to be disgusting. Uh, I still haven't fixed this tarp from a couple trips ago. The last time I used it, it's not supposed to rain tonight, so I'm not too worried. But I do have to fix it. I, I mean, one of these days, right? Eventually, it's gonna rain again, probably. Whoa. <laughs> it's classic maneuver. Oh, nice, we got a flag for all the traffic over there, in case they wanted to know where I was. I did bring a bug net tonight. We're cutting it close, it's May. I should be needing a bug net, but I haven't seen bug one. I'm not gonna put it up tonight. Probably next time, who knows. Oh man, I had the, uh, the tarp all staked out. I didn't even realize I did it, but I hit one of the lines with my giant muck boots, which, I mean, you can't really feel anything in these. So uh, I wasn't aware and I've, com I've completely lost the stake. No clue, like immediately. I've been here for, for like 13 seconds and the stake is missing. Uh, what, what's worse is the ground, just because of all the reeds and fallen reeds and branches, the whole ground looks like it's full of stakes. 
I'm never finding the steak. Oh my God, it's right there. I found it. Oh, I found it instantly. Ah, oh, thank God. Uh, okay, uh, crisis averted. Okay, I want to get kind of a walk around of this stakeout situation because of the uneven ground. It's kind of ridiculous. It's more so ridiculous down here. So this is where I'm going to start. Don't want to trip over this guy. Okay. All right. Okay. So maybe now it's a little bit easier to see the, the, the little kind of hill that I'm down on. So have to have the lines just go like all the way down the hill. So hopefully that works. It looks fine. Should be okay. I'll, like normal, I'll wait to set up my sleeping stuff a little bit later. Uh, I don't like little spiders and stuff crawling in there. No need to unravel my sleeping bag just now. Uh, and I think there's really just one thing left to do. Time to break into the beverage center. Today, I got, got a new one, got a new one for you. Uh, semi-local, semi-local to Rochester. It's Omegang Nirvana IPA. This is a classic. Uh, Omegang, back in the day, was one of the first smaller breweries to uh, emerge during like, I don't know, like a decade or so ago when craft breweries started becoming a thing. Uh, where are they out of exactly? Cooperstown, Cooperstown, New York. Can't say I've been there. Everyone loves it. Oh, a little foamy. All right. That's just delicious. It's just so tender and so right. Mmm. Mmm. It's a tiny tender taste, but strong. That's my official review of this beer. A tiny, tender taste, but strong. Just wanted to say hello to all the new subscribers. If you haven't yet, please uh, pop me a bit of a subscribe. It's the best way to make sure you don't miss an episode of Small Plots. If you're just relying on the home tab, just feeding it to you, it's not, it's not gonna be as frequent. The, the, the surefire way is to subscribe. It's, it's just the best way. It's the, fi it's the most fine of ways. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. It's been a couple of years since I've had this. It's really good. It's re Sometimes I like reading the hokey stuff on the side of the can. Let's, let's see what we get there. Uh, occasionally, on this old hop farm near the source of the Susquehanna River, one can find real tranquility. T tranquility that I just said. Tranquility. When the cares of the world seem to fall away, Nirvana IPA is made for those moments. Couldn't agree more. Super nice out here next to this uh, big retention pond to my left here. People can see me from their cars for sure if they're looking. Uh, looking real hard. Hopefully no one who cares drives by. <laughs> I'm also hoping that this all this construction equipment that was there when, when I walked in isn't going to be like up and running at 7 a.m. And I'm going to have to like squeak out of here. That wouldn't be ideal. No fire tonight. Uh, I probably could have one. There's enough uh, secrecy to, to a lot of parts of this area, like dips and dupes, uh, to to, ha to have a fire. Um, it almost looks like behind me here, someone had a fire long ago. Now it's full of old Genesee beer cans, all completely bleached from the sun. But <clears throat> yeah, no fire tonight. The the, the pond. I keep wanting to call it a lake. Uh, the pond is, is my fire for tonight. The, th the thing that's going to keep me company that I'm going to sit and look at and sip my beer. That'll, that'll do just fine. I can, right now I can see all the birds um, kind of swooping in, getting the bugs. I'm not going to bother putting out a camera because they're small birds and the, it would just look like nothing to the camera. But it looks like something to me and it's nice. Time to break into this uh, uh, enormous sub. Here we go. This is why I couldn't fit it in my pack. It's, it's utterly huge. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat this whole thing tonight. Uh, it's possible, maybe, but I'm at least gonna eat half of it now. Along with my Umma Gang. Oh 
boy. This is from DeBella's. It's a local chain. I think it's local chain. It might, it might be other places. Uh, but there's good. It's pretty good. We, we got uh, turkey and pepper jack cheese, some uh, lettuce, mayo. Um, what else? I feel like I'm missing something. I like sub oil. You know, while I'm on the topic, there's been something that's been really bugging me lately. And that's any single time I order jalapenos or banana peppers on a pizza or a sub, it's, it's not one or two pepper tops, inedible hard pepper tops. It's like 78% of it is inedible hard, just the stems of the pepper. It sucks. I, I don't understand how people can put that in food. Like it's a sandwich, you, you can chip a tooth or like hurt yourself eating it. It's, it's every time, it doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter if it's a pizza or a sub, it just happens. Well, I'm gonna sit here a little while, finish up my sub, drink my beverage, kind of just take in the sights of the retention pond with a highway behind it. Just, it's just beautiful. You know, oftentimes when you're out here in the woods, uh, you know, it's not uncommon to see skulls of like gophers or ro rodents of, of, you know, whatever variety you can imagine. Uh, this is maybe the first time I ever saw a bird skull. I don't know why it's not that weird, but. Who's this guy? It almost looks like a seagull or something. I don't know, bird skulls. Could be a seagull, it could be any other kind of bird. I don't know, like a cormorant? I think I'm gonna take a little walk around, see how stealthy I'm being, just kind of check out the area. It's uh, just before dark, um, which is what I was waiting for, just in case there's people out and about. There's still maybe some people out and about, but uh, not as many. Can't, I, can't, I can't find my beer, it's gone. Nope, it was uh, right out here in the open. Okay, now I'm ready for the walk. So I'm not, I'm not gonna walk that way, it's kind of where this area ends there's nobody there's no way anyone's coming over from that way it's just brush and bramble nothing nothing really uh traversable this way however is the way i came in uh, i don't imagine anyone would ever come down here this uh this is the retaining pond to my right and just a large berm to my left that runs the entire length of this area so you would have to purposefully come down here in order to see me. And if that, was, if that were the case, I mean, I'm busted anyway. Well, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Let's keep going. Okay, let's try from here. I can see my tarp. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. If anyone comes down here, they're, they're gonna see me unless they stay way over that way. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll walk up this way. Kind of looks like a bit of a game trail. I see. Definitely some deer prints. I don't think anything else. Over there where those machines are, that's that's where the trail is. Looks much farther away on camera than in real life. It's probably like 120 feet maybe. I gotta I gotta learn foot estimations. I'm always popping out uh, foot estimations. I don't know. I don't have any idea. Haven't seen anybody there so far. Oh look! Got, got some Canadian geese with their goslings. Walking through the muck. 
Yeah, it's actually incredible to see how different this place is as opposed to a year ago when I camped here. This whole pond area here is several, I don't know, it's, it's three, three, four times the size. It's actually bigger than I even initially thought it was when I came in. Yeah, definitely more. It's like, like five times the size. It's kind of cool. Ooh, that lightning? Probably. Let's keep going. This grass right here, this grass I'm walking on, you can tell had a, has had a vehicles with muddy tires go down it somewhat recently. Probably since the last time it rained, which was yesterday, the day before, something like that. Check out this cool area. Oh my gosh, I thought it was somebody yelling. It was freaking geese. Oh wow, yeah. Okay, I guess it does keep going this way. Just with some bramble in the middle. This would be a terrible place to camp here. I don't see any hammock trees. But definitely, if I came back with a tent, like specifically over there, maybe over here, the tent would go awesomely. Let me know in the comments if you want me to come back to this place in a few months with a tent and see what else has changed. Maybe there's maybe it'll be a, a whole new pond. I don't know. They're just adding ponds to this place. Hey, who's that little guy standing in there? Is that like a Virginia rail? That's not what that is. But. All right. Well, walking up here, kind of towards my camp. I can definitely see my tarp down there if I'm looking, for sure. Pretty visible, pretty much, you know, from all sides. Right here, I can't see it. Right next to it, I can't see it. Kinda, I mean, I can tell it's there. I think we're gonna go back down. Okay, super stealthy operation here. There's my chair down there. There's my tarp. Here's my barp. I got some visitors. I got some visitors coming up on me. Uh, they do not seem to uh, not want to come down here. Hey guys. Hey, you're just you're just walking towards me still. How are you? Well, I bet these are the two geese from the pond. I'm gonna make sure I'm not a threat. Oh, they have their little ones with them. Yeah, I can see them behind them. I wonder if this is where they need to go in the water. And I should just move. I'm gonna move here. Yeah, he's hissing at me. Oh, he's coming forward. Oh yeah, okay, I'm out of here. Oh boy. All right, keep going that way. That's the way you wanna go. Have my submarine sandwich. I got half of it left over. Feel free. There might be some beer. Come on. Yeah, get in there. That was so magical. Nature is so magical. Got all your chicks. Y'all good? Look at them, they're all so cute. Bye guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your night. There they go. That was magical. <laughs> they're fighting them off. Like, Get out of here. We got some invading geese. Man, these geese are the kings of the kings of the town oh geez sorry I can't get any more focus than that what is going on 
on right there in the middle. It's, they're just, it's, oh, I think it's just two of them with their heads down. Okay. <laughs> this is disturbing. Well, you're all just going in the, in the same direction now. So I think this, well, this pair here are the pair with the goslings, and then those three just came in, and the couple with the goslings are trying to trying to scare them off. That's kind of what it seems like to me. But now they're like, ah, eh, whatever. They're just geese. Who cares? We're just kind of hanging out here, had some goose action. Chatted on the phone with Sam Bananas for a while. Always great to chat with Sam Bananas. I actually kept having to interrupt our conversation to film goose action. I don't want to keep the light on too long, but it's dark now, and the geese are, they haven't been fighting after that, after that fighting scene that I caught. Hopefully that came out. Um, yeah, goose action. I wonder if we'll get more goose action tonight. That's kind of the name of the game. It's gonna be the name of this video is just goose action, period. time. It's been a fun night chilling by the retention pond, watching traffic and the, go the geese, gooses. Uh, but it's time to hit the old racky sacky. Uh, there's weird little like aphid dudes flying around. It. Yeah. I, I don't know what that is. He's all right. I'm gonna lie here and listen to the traffic and just fall asleep. That's really it. That's the plan, just to fall asleep, right? Uh, but unless anything you know crazy and unnatural, and spooky happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you guys in a second. There's something right here. <clears throat> It's gonna be like a raccoon or something. How oh, someone here waddling all night. There have been animals all night. Some little mice scurrying around. I think I've heard them like fighting. Whatever that was. Birds. Birds have been going. It's, it's not early enough for birds. The geese have not stopped. Pretty poor night's sleep last night. Another poor night's sleep. I haven't slept good the last couple times. It's just been so loud. Just the animals and stuff. Like again, the birds all night. The geese never stopped. They just never stopped going insane. I heard another battle. I couldn't. I don't think I caught it on camera. But they were definitely getting into it. Like right, right. I don't know. Right, right out there next to my tarp. <sighs> Let's come down here to the water. <sighs> Beautiful morning. But I'm not gonna lollygag here too much. 
uh, pack up. It's pretty early. It's about 6.30 a.m. Uh, I haven't heard the machinery start up or anything like that. Uh, so I want to pack up and get out of here. Hopefully there's nobody on the trail who's like freaked out by a, a, a dude who's clearly been sleeping in the woods just bursting forth through the trees. That would, that would, that would scare people. I don't want to scare people. It would scare people. Huh. Yeah. Tons of little critters last night. Tons, tons and tons of little critters just constantly hopping around. Yeah. And just like that, the hammock is packed up, the tarp is packed up, the sleeping bag is packed up, the sleeping pa pad bag, both of those are, are packed up. Sorry, I woke up like eight seconds ago. Uh, except for this chair. That's the only thing not packed up. Even I'm packed up. My bike is packed up. It's not really. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here, pack up this chair, and get out of here. Uh, I'll uh, hope, hopefully nobody, nobody's out there on the trail. It's really be nothing but awkwardness. Uh, but that would still be funny, to, right? <laughs> Already seen one cyclist go by. Where there's one, there's more. This guy's like the congregate. Not a soul. Not a soul at all. Well, one of these days I'm gonna scare somebody. And they're gonna they're gonna be like, oh and I'm just gonna be like, hey, would you look at that? Last night when I came in here they were filling the canal. And now it's filled. Filled to the brim. It's officially summer. It's not, it's not what they do in the summer. It's the spring thing, it's spring still. Check out this pile of garbage right here. I don't know what's going on here. Let's get it, just a pile of trash. Some old garbage bins, a bike. I wonder if this is stuff they pulled up out of the canal. And now it's just here. This looks like stuff people would throw in the canal. I'm gonna step onto this barge right here. It's kind of like landlocked, it's kind of fused. Well, I thought that was a pretty amazing little small plot. The camp next to the pond was, wow, it was stellar. I uh, really enjoy camps on the water. And I'm looking across there, there's some more woods across the canal there. I'm gonna have to check those out. Although I'm fairly certain those woods are connected to a college, so probably not. Uh, but thanks for watching everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget everybody, new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. EST. It's really just the time where Small Plots explodes uh, into your face. Well, thanks for watching until the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on that uh, buoyant landlock nextie. Mwah. They're back. Oh, God. a lot of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, almost 20 babies here. I'm gonna go around. I know, I know, I know. Oh my god, they're hissing. I know, I know. 
I know. Oh, God, he's, coming, oh, he's coming at me. He's coming at me. All right. All right, let's just go. Let's go by. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey everybody, you're watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and I'm on my way to the riskiest stealth camp I've ever attempted. I'm a little nervous right now. It's just before sundown. I don't really have much time to, to dally about, to waffle about. This is normally a pretty busy trail here in downtown Rochester, New York during the day. So far I've only seen one other person, but I wonder, I wonder who I'll see later tonight. Now what makes tonight's location so risky is I'm just if, I'm, if you're if you look at me you can see me it's it's uh, it's not like super in plain sight but it's it's in, it's good it's in plain sight got some uh, got some new beverages I want to try that's always fine got uh, not, not actually eating really any dinner tonight I'm actually full on pizza right now that's kind of the trade-off when you walk to your camp just before sunset. I'm full. I'm already like, oh, it's, kind of, it's kind of getting hot, a little toasty. I feel got the, got the pizza sweats. These muck boots are extremely painful to walk on uh, pavement with. This kind of this kind of sucks. Can't wait to get off the trail. Uh, I'm wearing muck boots because it is the spring and things are wet, but also because where I'm stealth camping tonight is just riddled with poison ivy. Just just the poisonest of ivies. So I want, I'm going to try to avoid that the best I can by trudging through it with big rubber boots. Hope it works. I've actually passed now where I wanted to pop into the woods, but I want to walk up a little bit here onto this pedestrian bridge and uh, look down, show you guys exactly where I'm camping. Because if anybody's going to see me, it's somebody walking or riding their bike on this pedestrian bridge. The traffic does seem to be calming down the more, the longer I'm out here. Uh, big fish, some ducks, hopefully no geese tonight, guys. I can't take another night of geese right about the middle of the bridge. Actually, I'm not at all, but uh, walked far enough down it to show you I'm just camping right down there. Right down there in these woods. I won't be there for long. Oh, here comes somebody. Yeah, I'm not going to come back up here later after I'm set up. Too risky. And it's going to be dark soon. Uh, so I wanted to, wanted to get that in there now. And I hope this person coming up Oh, okay, they went on a different trail. I want to hurry up a little bit. It is, uh, it is starting to get a little dark out here, and I still have to set up. Oh boy, this, this is fresh as of today or yesterday. I was just down here, but, uh, two days ago, and this is not here. Wow. Okay, well there you have it. I hear children playing. There are houses right over here. I'm not going to bother showing them. You can't see them, uh, but they're right up against the forest. And this road, this this bike trail is twisty and turny right here, so it's going to make it hard to kind of know when a good time to pop in is. I'm just going to have to do it. Coming up here. Okay, I'm going in. Okay. 
I'm super exposed right here. If anybody just looks over, you're gonna see me doing this. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, um, I think this is where I want to go down in here. I think. There's a big rainstorm since I've been here. Hopefully it's not flooded. <sighs> Looks okay. <clears throat> oh crap, I'm stuck. I'm a root. behind me after the initial dart in. There's that bridge right there. If anybody looked out, they'd see me. I don't want to make too much noise. You guys see, you guys saw how close I am to that trail. Like a like hundred feet or something. Oh my gosh, I'm so loud. The going to crash. I had to do it. There's no difference from that bramble. The trail's way trail is right over there. Okay, keep going. Okay. I think, if I'm being honest, I think right there is where I meant to come in. It looks very similar. There's a big log next to it. Um, but that's okay. For the rest of the video, I'm going to have to keep it at this volume. So I'm sorry if that's like morose or like spooky, but the trail is right there and I'm right next to the river here and uh, sound carry is pretty good over water. <clears throat> oh, I'm, out of, I'm out of breath and warm. It's, it's like in the upper 50s right now, end of May here. I was like 90 the other day. Uh, Lots of sounds, lots of probably deer or other animals that are like freaked out that I'm here. But I am here and that's awesome. I'm pumped that I'm here. I have to find two perfect trees. I have a couple of options. I'm not sure which is perfect, which is going to be the most hidden. Uh, no tarp tonight. There's no chance of rain. And even if it does sprinkle a little bit, whatever, I don't care. Uh, just bug nut and hammock. Real, real minimalist tonight. Directly across the, the river from me is a university, so I also have to watch out for university police. I am not on university property, uh, but, you know, there's dorms over there, too. I, I just don't want trouble, so I'm gonna try to avoid being seen in this place where you could just look over and see me. I hope this goes well. There's a few really almost great choices, but there's... Oh, he's like a little tree or something in the way. I'm not gonna chop down any trees over here or cut down any trees. So that definitely limits my options. Part of me, after just saying I wasn't gonna cut down any trees, almost wants to take down this stupid weed bush thing. It's just, it's just like a, one, of, it's one of those stupid, it's just, I don't even know if it's alive, half of it. I'm not going to but that would be perfect right here and right here. Oh man. Oh, there's like a heron out there. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, and if I go too far that way, I'm just getting closer and closer to that bridge, uh, which isn't gonna have a ton of activity overnight, uh, but it will have some and in the morning too. Although I am getting up very early tomorrow. Try and get out of here as early as, as well, not as early as possible. Just, or just early, just, just early. So I think, uh, obviously, oh, it doesn't look like I was the first person to have this idea. Just put that over there. I mean, it is the side of the river. It could have just washed up, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's gonna be nice. 
camping right next to this river, there's this uh, kind of just grassy area that stretches out here that covers me pretty well from the other side. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to keep my lights down to a dull roar tonight. Uh, so it looks like maybe this tree here and this tree here are kind of my best bet. Hmm, unless I want to do something like this, that would work too. Okay, okay, decision making time. Something just went by really close. And I think I can like literally hear bicycle tires on the trail. That's, that's how close I am to the trail. That's how quiet I have to be right now. Somebody's coming back, or something's coming back. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, some, something, something. Hopefully, not a person. It doesn't. It doesn't look like there's like no trails leading back here. Uh, it, like I said, it's, it's filled with poison ivy and just tall grass and, and rubble and things like that. And there's no clear, like, even like a deer trail back here. So I don't think this is like somebody's secret chill zone, but I don't know what could be, I guess. I don't know. So there's some barrels over there that are kind of disheveled, but uh, at one time, the other like half barrels, it was like kind of forming a bridge over to that little grassy island over there. Uh, so, you know, I'm not the first to come down here. I am in the middle of the city. see me, but I can't be sure. That's not even the closest part of the bridge to me. It's actually the farthest part of the bridge to me. This is going to be, it's going to be a long night. I can hear them talking. It's like basically all sides. Even if a boat goes by here, they'll, if they look over, they'll see me for sure. Kind of the reason I'm not using the tarp either. Just this and a dark bug net. I don't even have time to do a test lay. I want to get this bug net up here and conceal this the best I can. They're just standing there. feel a little bit better with this up. It's just darkness, you know, like hopefully when they look in the woods they just see darkness and this will just blend in with the darkness, especially the darker it gets. I think we got about 20 minutes before the sun's down. I'm gonna wait to blow up my sleeping pad and everything uh, because my sleeping pad is like neon green and my sleeping bag is like bright yellow. So I'm gonna wait until a little bit later and I'm gonna do that in the dark, I think. I think that's the, that's the key. Uh, so that really means there's like one thing left to do. A little breaking into the beverage center. 
Uh, today we got a new one. I, I've had this before, actually. I had it last night. It was, it was delicious, so I'm gonna have it again tonight. It's from Ellicottville Brewing Company. It's a, uh, it's, it's a barrel-aged fruited sour ale, and it's, it says Raspberry Beret. I think I love her. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. I probably am gonna regret uh, doing this with the bridge to my back. All right, cheers. I'm not gonna lie, the first sip, you can really taste the barrel. But a couple sips in, it, yeah, you ease in, the barrel just becomes part of the flavor and it's, 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 it's fine, just fine. Well, that was a whirlwind. Hopefully the camera can pick up my voice right now. I'm trying to keep it real quiet. Got a frog buddy right there. Surprised I'm not hearing any spring peepers. Hmm. So I can actually see right here on the ground below me uh, some hair. I know that there are uh, tons of animals in this little urban woodland. This is actually, um, this te technically uh, like a brownfield cleanup site. It was, I, I have a video about it I did, oh, probably close to a year ago now uh, on, on this area. Um, but to give you the, the rundown, there's a, a vacuum oil plant right over there, that abandoned building. I saw it coming in. It's been abandoned for a long time. It was like apartments at one time, whatever. But this that was kind of the main anchor for this area of uh, like it was there was like some canals running through like shipping uh, factories uh, all, all sorts of things that just and they just casually dumped oil and other chemicals into the ground and into the river and stuff like that back in the in the late 1800s um, so that's cool so there was a big uh, there was a big rainstorm this past weekend and I go down into my basement yesterday and there's like like a, an inch of water in some spots like just flooded uh came in through one of the basement windows that i guess just wasn't sealed and it filled up and gushed water all over everything um when i say everything i mean all of my camping equipment was just sitting in water now the positive side to that is it's camping equipment it's supposed it's you know supposed to be able to get wet and dry if you're out in the weather and things like that if it can't then good riddance it was kind of funny I, I i laid everything out to dry most of it's dried but some of the things were a little damp packing up today uh just a little bit damp it's kind of funny to pack damp things up on the way to a trip as opposed to after it rains on a trip I think there's a boat or something coming up. I heard like a man's voice like right there. He was like, Buh. This is extremely sketchy. It's sketchy. So I'm just gonna take a little walk around. This is the closest thing we're gonna get to a tour tonight. I don't wanna go out on the trail and see if, I, I know I can, you can't see me, but the hearing, that's what I'm worried about. Um, I'm basically up against the edge of where I can walk. I can walk a little bit farther this way. Um, there's some more flat ground next to the river. Um, I'm, it's, it's not very exciting. It's just, just right there. There's my hammock. If you can hear the kids playing still, just like kids screaming and yelling and stuff. Walking along the bank of the river now. See how my my little setup is doing. I think I can hear a boat. Like a motorboat. It's hard to tell over the sound of like traffic and police sirens. Yeah, I don't know. I saw a bus go by. Maybe that's what I was hearing. Whew, paranoid. The sun will be officially down in just a few minutes here. And then, you know, some lingering light, but then it'll be dark. I can finish setting up with my uh, sleeping pad and sleeping bag and kind of just relax for the night. Keep it real low key, 
real quiet. Yeah. basically just have to remain still, as still as possible. Um, there's like enough trash and stuff around, even like a, an odd color that they may see over here of one of the my camp, pieces of camping equipment, uh, wouldn't necessarily be a red flag if, if to a passing eye. But to see movement in the dark woods, I think it would be. Two guys just stopped on the bridge. You can hear them talking. They're looking right over here. Okay, they're walking back now. Was that a naked guy that ran by earlier? I think it was a naked guy. He was probably coming here into the woods. Yeah, those guys are just talking at like regular volume and the voice just carries right across the water so I gotta do this a very loud voice <clears throat> I, gotta, I gotta keep it small just keep it a small voice tiny Well, it's totally dark now. Uh, I hear some laughing, some girls laughing somewhere nearby, really close. Uh, but otherwise, a pretty peaceful night. A couple of people walking by on the bridge. Uh, a couple of possible gunshots slash fireworks. It's uh, skin chilly. It's down in the lower, it might be 49 at this point, but it's down super in the lower 50s. It's supposed to get to the lower 40s tonight. That's kind of lame. Uh, yeah, just enjoying my beer, chilling in the dark. It's pretty peaceful out here for being like right in the middle of the city. I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised. Surprise. I got some beef sticks. So I'm going to try out a couple different uh, Slim Jim beef sticks here. This one is Tabasco. I wonder if it tastes like Tabasco. There's sirens and people all around me right now, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make this fast. Yeah. It tastes um, kind of like a Tabasco Slim Jim. They did a good job. Coming up next is teriyaki seasoned. It's a big one. This one's much larger and thicker. Hmm. Hmm. They're both Slim Jims. And they both taste as advertised. 
who can really complain? Not me. All right, I gotta turn this light off. I'm giving myself away. Ah. Well, I'm all red now. Gotta keep a low profile. Using the red light. It's weird sounds going on. And not weird, I guess, just sounds. Laughter. Here's some teens laughing pretty close. A siren, tons of sirens. You gotta play the game. Is it a gunshot? Is it a firework? That's a game I've been playing. Some duck action. Uh, you, you know, just right stuff. I'm right in the middle of the city, so tons of stuff's going on. It's gonna be an interesting sleep. It's, uh, I ate some Tums that I had in my bag. They were disgusting. I think I put them in there like a year and a half ago. Stale Tums. <sighs> Not good. But unless anything crazy happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you in a second. Really peaceful morning out here, other than those just awful geese. They were, they came and went throughout the night. Some nice fog rolling off the river. Very nice. It's a little bit before 6 a.m. here. Uh, I'm gonna get packing up and get out of here before the runner, early morning runners and bikers get out. The good thing is it's a chilly morning. It's in the lower 40s right now. It's not really that, it's not good, but it's going to deter people from, you know, being out and about, I guess, more than if it were like 80. Uh, nothing really to report from last night. kind of is. I had a pretty peaceful sleep considering where I am and how exposed I am. I thought I'd be tossing and turning all night. Uh, it was pretty restful. Uh, some weird sounds. Uh, like metal clanging like really loud must must have been like a barge or something on, on the river like down that way like I don't know just like boom, 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 you know you, you know you know what metal sounds like uh, so yeah I'm gonna pack up here and just uh, leave Well, if you've made it this far in the video, I mean, I think subscribing is probably, probably the next step for you. I can see it in your eyes now. You're watching the video and you're like, who is this magnificent beast gallivanting through the forest? Well, it's me. It's Kevin from Small Plots. And you can just subscribe right there. It's a little word that says subscribe and you click it. And then my videos show up in your feed. Isn't that, isn't that just lovely? Uh, so, got everything packed up here hammock and all my lines and all my straps are all taken care of. This is a little, this is a beautiful little small plot here. I'm glad I came, came here. It was uh, much more peaceful than I was thinking, uh, especially once the sun went down. Things just quiet, quieted right down with the sun and waking up to the fog on the river it was just, that was a nice treat. That was a nice treat. But we're not out of the woods yet because I got to get out of the woods. So let's go, I'm gonna go do that now. Goodbye, small plot. You've been absolutely lovely. Might have to come back here sometime in the summer. <sighs> it wasn't as buggy as I thought it would be either. Okay, where is the place that I need to leave? <laughs> okay, I think it's uh, right over here. It's very possible people are going to be out on the trail. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Let's not fall on the rocks. trail you can already see pavement right, let's get around this piece here Jeez, please make, make all the sound possible it's emerging from the woods and there's the trail you guys can see how close I am real close there's an old river wall or canal wall or some, some kind of old wall there it is. Don't see anybody? Oh, there's somebody walking their dog down there. I see the dog. I see the dog. I gotta go. I gotta move. Whew. Okay, I'm on the trail. Is there somebody coming that way? I saw him in the, like, the last second of me leaving. Oh man, another successful stealth camp. Oh, that was beautiful out here. Deer just staring at me. How you doing? Just having a good morning look? Oh, me too. That was, a, that was a really nice little spot. I've had that spot in the back of my mind for a long time, and I'm glad I went there. I've checked it out a few times. It's always been like, <clears throat> it's sketchy, but I think I can do it, and I did it. And uh, it, it, it was great. It's a beautiful morning. I'm, I'm up and I'm rearing to go. Nobody bothered me, nobody messed with me. Uh, and that's that's what you want, that's what you want. Uh, but this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget everybody, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. EST. You know, sometimes I'll do stealth camps, sometimes they won't be stealth camps, sometimes it'll be other camps, or other things that aren't camping. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you on that, oh my god, it's a spooky ghost next to Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, out for another little stealth camp today. You can kind of see I'm in a bit of a pavilion, not stealth camping here. Maybe someday I will stealth camp in a pavilion. God, no. But that is not today. Today, I'm gonna camp in a ditch. That's right, a ditch. And you know what? I saw a homeless camp uh, about a week or so ago right next to this ditch. So I'm gonna check that out. Uh, and then I'm gonna camp in the ditch. Gonna be so stealthy. Before we start, I'd like to ask, maybe give this video just a little thumbs up, just a little like there. That would that would do. That would just do uh, my elder heart a whimsy. Uh, and you know, subscribe. I do tons of videos like these. I put out a video every week, most weeks. I try for every week. It ends, it's most weeks, not every week. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Let get back to my bike here. Let's go camping in this ditch. There is a ton of people out today. I think there's some kind of some kind of walk, heart walk, something or other. I was zigzagging between people the, the entire way here. Coming up on your right. Coming up on your right. You're good. scare me, he's gonna get spit on. Coming up on your left. Thank you. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting when I get down the trail a little bit, if it'll be as busy, more busy, less busy. 
any other combination of busy that I'm missing. Uh, I'm just curious, we'll see. Looks like he wasn't there. Uh, well, that's good. Okay, I've ridden my bike around. I've done a bit of a loop. Saw a deer. No homeless. Ever since I saw that, that little camp, it's just in my mind that now this place is, is on the radar. And I don't want to walk up on some place thinking I'm going to camp. And somebody's already camping there. So, so far I'm good. Let's get in the woods. There's definitely some activity, probably deer, but a bunch of the, the plant life is flat <laughs> around here. I don't see any other prints other than deer. I'm gonna take a look around before I start setting up. I wanna see if anyone's moved in. So I have been to this spot before, a couple times actually. Uh, I wanted to stealth camp with a tent. Put a poll up on the community page a few days ago, and with over 400 votes, uh, about 200 of those votes were for the next stealth camp to have a tent. So that's what I'm doing here. So I needed to find a place that I knew I could set up a tent at, and uh, this was the first one that came to mind. It's always a precarious situation coming out to a stealth camp, not knowing exactly uh, what you're gonna find. I just want to take a quick look into the woods here. Make sure there's no new neighbors. I don't see any signs of anybody. No, I think we're good. I don't think I need to go any farther. It's pretty thick back there. Whew. Trail was full of people. Absolutely full of people. When I came in here, I didn't even look. It was pointless because there was gonna there was gonna be people. Yeah, it's a nice little spot here. I'm going to have a fire tonight. It's another reason I came back to this spot, as I know that I can have a fire. Once it gets a little darker, obviously, I don't want smoke bellowing out of the woods and onto the the trail and into the there's a shopping plaza over there. Yeah, no boot prints or anything like that. Nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I guess there's only really one thing left to do, and that's uh, set up my tent. Okay, I'm gonna go through my bag because it's kind of packed up weirdly. Uh, I didn't want to have my chair and my tent on the outside of my bag. Uh, I brought both, and those are both things that have to be on the outside. Unless I did what I did today. Got my uh, tent pole sticking up out the side, and the tent rolled up in the bag with my chair on the bottom there. Oh, okay, well that's... All right. It's important that I get as much poison ivy on my bike's handlebars as humanly possible. Oh my god. Dirt, dirt on my new seat. What? Oh gosh! Oh gosh! 
I think right here where I'm standing is probably the best spot for a tent. Uh, it's probably the flattest here. The sides of the ditch can get pretty uh, narrow the farther you walk down into the ditch. And there's like tons of trash and garbage and that's all asphalt and there's like big poles, metal poles, more, more metal poles. Uh, that's metal cable that kind of looks like a plant that would just, just kill you instantly if you fell on it. So I'm going to stay, stay away from there. Although I am probably going to have my fire over there because the trail, you guys can see a little, where the light comes in over there is right over there. It's not far, 50 to 100 feet, somewhere in there. It's not far at all. Uh, so the tent being right here, I think is going to be okay. Uh, and then the fire over there. Using one of these kind of tarps today is a ground sheet. It's been, it rained all last night and most of today, so the ground is kind of wet. I didn't want to mess around, so here we go. We used one of these. I haven't used one of these in well over a year, almost two years probably. I don't know. downsides of using a tent while stealth camping other than, than that you need specific ground and circumstances in which to use it is the sounds of setting up a tent are familiar to a lot of people These, particularly the poles tarps things like that people start hearing tent poles they they know what they're hearing generally so I gotta keep it on the <laughs> hush hush Pretty simple. Uh, I know a lot of people when they set up tents and it's not windy, they just won't put the stakes in and that's fine. Uh, but for this particular tent, I don't know if it's all tents or just this style or this particular one, but staking in the corners really helps it take shape. You know, it's fine with just the two poles, um, but I feel like inside you get like a foot to a foot and a half more room if you just stake out the sides. So did that, <sighs> drink some water out of my Weird Al water bottle that I got when I saw Weird Al the other week. This is not all the water I brought. This just fits on my bike, so it's kind of extra.
one thing I really like about tents is you get some space. You get a little space to put your, your stuff in. Not too bad, not too shabby. So I'm going to start setting up right now. Usually I just set up my hammock and then uh, put the sleeping pad and stuff in there later. I'm going to do all that right now because why not? I got a sleep diagonal in this tent because I'm like 6'4", and if I slept from one end to the other straight, I could do it, but my face would be like right under the side, so there's no reason to do that. I can just go diagonal and be comfy, be cozy, be righteous, be good. Be Johnny. And that's bed. Time to break into the beverage center. Today, an old classic. We got a kitty from space. Nice little space kitty here. Ooh, still cold too. That's the beauty of uh, having a, where you're camping like a 20 to 25 minute bike ride away from where you live. You put the cans in and then leave and then they're still cold. Honestly, I probably put this in there like an hour and a half ago too. Like between getting here and setting up and filming and everything, still cold after an hour and a half sitting in my pack, so that's nice. Oh, a little bit of a foam. That's pretty good. It's pretty G-dang good. This is how you know you're camping. The, the space kitty, or whatever it ends up being. Whether it's uh, you know a beer that you enjoy or a, a beverage that's not a beer that you enjoy, it doesn't even have to be alcoholic. Just any any beverage. When you sit down, you got everything set up. I basically have nothing else to do tonight except for start a fire, and that's gonna be pretty easy. There's wood everywhere. I've already started collecting some of it. Uh, I'm gonna wait maybe hour, hour and a half before I start the fire. It's uh, getting dark pretty late now and it's very bright out still and the fire is going to create a lot of smoke and there's still tons of people out on that trail and shoppers over here in this plaza and I, I just I just want to keep, keep it as low-key as possible but I am cooking something new tonight uh, it's gonna blow your mind it's gonna completely blow your mind something that I've never cooked on an episode of small plots before you're gonna freak out you're gonna freak out when you see this it's, it's, it's fantastic it's pretty windy. I can see the, the tops of the trees going, but not here in the ditch. Not here in the ditch. You might see the camera moving a little bit. Uh, that's because it's just attached to a uh, dangling stick that's, a, that's uh, held up by vines, by wild grape vines. So if you see the camera moving back and forth, uh, it's that. I'm, I'm not Sam Bananas here. I don't have a whole crew going. Not, not that you know of anyway. <sighs> so peaceful out here. That's another good thing about coming to a, a place that you've stealth camped before is you can be pretty sure you can get away with it. Uh, you never, you know, you never be too sure, but I'm, I'm pretty, pretty certain, you know, I've been here a couple times. I've never had any issues. Uh, I did do a, a lap around the area, around the perimeter of the forest. It's not a big forest. Um, and even down the trail that I rode my bike in on, uh, just to check out that homeless camp that I saw it was a week. It's actually probably closer to a couple weeks ago now, now that I think about it, uh, I saw the guy. He was definitely a homeless man, and he was, it's, it's weird to, to it, it caught my eye, it was a little weird to see him, because I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not far from the, the border of the city, um, but I'm far from like, dense city, I'm probably like, a mile and a half, two miles from dense city, maybe less, maybe, maybe mile, mile and a half, something like that, either way, um, 
yeah, he had a whole thing going. He, it was like a classic uh, hobo camp. He had like a big, uh, like a big pot, like a big stock pot, and it was just surrounded by bags containing his items. And I saw the, when I first saw him, he was just walking down the path, and I was like, huh, that's interesting. Um, actually, when I camped at the retention pond, when I left that morning, I noticed in the woods because this is kind of that's kind of close to here. Um, when I left in the morning, I noticed some bags in the woods that I didn't see the day before. I don't know if they were there or not the day before, but I didn't see them. Uh, and I, I noticed them. And someone's breaking into the woods. Um, so I was like, that's interesting. So then when I was just going on a, a bike ride a, little, a few days later, um, I, I saw him walking down the path and I looked in and that there was his camp and when I was coming back the other way he was just chilling he, he was he was maxing and relaxing right next to his big old stock pot probably had uh, canal water and uh, freshwater zebra mussels for dinner definitely didn't want to disturb him that's the that's the main thing you know it, it can't be easy living out in the woods like that in, in an urban area I wasn't trying to get up in his space um, and I, you know, there's there's a safety issue too, but mainly I just didn't want to get up in the guy's space. He's, I'm sure his life is not going great as it is. You don't need some like bumbling idiot with a camera, you know, coming in. So I just want to be respectful. Um, and I'm glad I didn't see him. Hope he's doing good. Okay, just kind of getting things ready to start a fire in a little bit here. Got my kindling, currently sawing up some sticks. I don't know if that's getting on camera. I can't see if it is, but it's it's happening right there. Just little guys, you know, having a stealth camp. Nothing bigger than, say, like an inch and a half, two inches in diameter. It, the, the wind's picking up and it's getting kind of cloudy. It wasn't supposed to rain, uh, but I just checked my weather app and it looks like we're just gonna have like a 15 minute shower, uh, maybe a half hour, hour from now. So that'll be interesting. I'll wait to start the fire um, until after that. It's kind of when I was gonna start the fire anyway, around eight, between eight and 8.30. Or maybe I should start it before. Maybe I should start it before so things aren't just wet. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Either way, the wind's definitely picking up. So pretty out here. I really love this spot. If that wasn't already very apparent because I've been here before a couple times. It's just nice. Very picturesque little ditch. And when else do you get to camp in a ditch? That's not a thing you do. I love it. I love it.
and there you have a fire. Went up pretty easy. There is some perfect kindling around here. Super dry, super thin. Mwah. I mean, you saw it went up immediately, no problems. Obviously I had the uh, secret ingredient, little birch bark. Uh, but yeah, it's about a half hour before I was planning on starting the fire, but I wanted to get it going before it started to just rain a little bit. And then I had to start a fire with just a bunch of wet stuff, like recently wet stuff. So that's going. And now we wait for this alleged 15 minutes of rain. Can't even put that in the thumbnail. Oh yeah, it's starting to rain. Felt one drop, felt two drops, and now it's, now it's coming right down. If it gets any heavier than this, I'm gonna have to run right into my tent, which is currently getting, uh, getting worse right now as, as, as I speak. I'm gonna have to bring my chair. I got my chair right here. I'm gonna have to bring that in the tent with me too. Probably put it upside down or something so the muddy, muddy feet don't get all over the floor of my tent. But yeah, I might have to have a, a, little, a little tent moment here for, for a bit while this rain passes. Got the fire going at least. Put a bunch of wood on that. If, if it stays this way, I'm cool. You can see the sun coming in. It's not like terribly, you know, like thunderous and lightning out just yet. Right above me is overcast skies. Uh, over there, not so much. Okay, now it's stopped. Maybe that was it. Either way, I'm ready. I got uh, most of my stuff in my tent ready to go, other than my chair here. And uh, now, now I, oh. Oh yeah, here it comes. Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll go in the tent then. It's definitely raining. You can see the, I don't know if you can see, it's like kind of sunny out there. So hopefully this doesn't last for too long. There we go. Huh. Well, okay, here we are in the tent. Hopefully the shower passes soon. It's supposed to, it's supposed to. Got my, got my space kitty here. I have my boots on still. They're kind of over right next to the entrance. Um, I don't know if I should take them off. I guess I'll take them off. So I can kind of like do anything else other than sit in this exact position. Oh geez, yeah, that's coming in a little bit. That's the problem with some of these vents that like face the sky. Yeah, well, if I walk through any poison ivy, um, the my fingers and hands will have it now. Okay. Oh, this is cozy. This is pretty cozy in here, huh? This is kind of the beauty of the tent. If I was in a tarp right now, I'd still be okay. We've had a little flash showers before. Oh, there's a mosquito in here. I don't know what to do with my beer. Every time I'm at a tent, I spill a beer. But there's a mosquito in here. I'm gonna go get him. Fire's doing okay. Got everything in here with me. Got my chair right there, upside down, so I don't get any of the uh, the, the muddy bottoms on m m the bottom of my tent. Yeah. yeah. I think I might have gotten them. I might have gotten a mosquito. The one sing the one singular mosquito that was in here. It's pretty out there. <laughs> There's like sun coming through. You can see it. But you can also probably hear the rain. It's not raining hard, but hard enough for me to not want to be out in it. It's one of those rains where you're like, ah, it's not raining that hard, and you wait a couple minutes and you're just drenched because you're in this just ambient wetness. It's even coming through this window, but not too bad. I think I need I need the venting more than anything. It's warm in here. It's the other thing about tents, especially this tent, it just traps heat and air pretty well. Honestly, right on time. 
Uh, my weather app originally said 8.15 to 8.30, and then when I checked it again, it said 8 to 8.30, and it's it's 8.04 now. So that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for that weather app. Usually weather apps are, are hit and miss. Yeah, it's definitely coming in through this window. Not too bad. I'm not gonna close it. Yeah, I'm gonna close it. It's 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 coming in. Oh, that's the best. This is the best lighting I've ever had in the history of small plots. Look at this. All right. Well, I'm gonna hang out in the tent for a minute here. Kind of just. I mean, what a perfect trip to take a tent on, right? I've uh, I've had I've had moments uh, where I've been hammock camping. I have my tarp. And I gotta sit under the tarp while the rain passes, and that's fine. But this is kind of cozy. I'm kind of just cozy in here. I'm gonna sit and sip my beer, watch the rain, wait for it to pass. And then, and only then, I can cook my dinner that's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind this dinner. You're gonna freak out. So get ready for that. I can't tell if the rain is over or it's just dripping off the trees, but I think it might be time to venture out. It's about 10 minutes before it said it was going to end, and it started right when it said it was gonna start. So I'm, I'm gonna listen to that for now. But the, uh, the dro I mean, you can hear it. The drops have become much more sporadic and uh, not, I mean, right now there's nothing. Might have just been off the trees for the last couple of minutes. I'll wait another five minutes or so and go out and uh, cook some food because I'm, I'm getting hungry. And the fire, still going. Imagine that. Let's get Back to camping. Rain wasn't the only thing that got on my tent in the last 20, 25 minutes. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. The, the rain and dripping have almost completely stopped. Uh, look at this mud in front of my tent, just for me getting in and out and just generally the ground already being saturated before this rain. Yeah, a little muddy. I pushed the tarp up underneath so rain didn't pool and uh, you know get underneath my tent. That would be bad. That's that's a rookie mistake right there. So I don't want to make that. I tucked it in on all sides. It was only out maybe uh, two inches or so on the front and back. Uh, but yeah, that's I gotta I gotta be careful of that. That's just gonna get uh, in my tent if I'm not careful. I got a, I got a bunch of new stuff on the fire. Going pretty good. It never really left. Well, I mean, it didn't really go out the entire time it was raining, uh, but I just threw a bunch of stuff on it, and I will be cooking very soon. We're eating beans. You know, it smells kind of like toads out here since it's rained. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. There's it's just it was, it's a distinct smell toads and it smells like toads out here now just some toads uh i don't i haven't found a single toad yet but there are i mean it smells like them uh, well it turns out i just filmed me opening the can of beans and talking about how great these hestra fall line gloves are in fast motion that's not the first time i've done that with this camera where it's very easy, it's very easy to accidentally set, set it to fast motion. I don't like that at all. I don't want fast motion at all. Can I just delete that feature off the camera? Anyway, here we go. We got a can of beans. I've got these amazing Hestra Fall Line gloves. These are Hestra Fall Lines. Uh, they'll, they'll do you right. I wear them in the winter. I wear them all year round when I'm cutting wood or putting beans in the fire. So, uh, so here we go. Beans in the fire, got some beans in the fire, Be beans in the fire. Uh, anyway, I've got these beans going. Try not to blind the camera. Uh, 
and there they are. I'm gonna eat them real soon. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry for these beans. The rain has subsided completely. I have almost a full beer somewhere. Oh, it's way over there. I gotta get up. I have, I have to get up and get that beer. But yeah, let's, uh, let's cook these beans and maybe I'll film it in, in real speed and be able to, to show you guys. Good Lord. beans uh disaster i got beans on my glove just when i grabbed the can just beans on my gloves my expensive nice hesters i was just talking about how nice the hesters were and now there's beans on them well i hope you're happy beans i hope i hope you're real happy these beans better be delicious because they're starting to just be a pain in my butt i'm hungry and i'm covered in beans okay Taking the beans off. Beans are off. Ooh, I can feel them bubbling. I can feel the beans bubbling in my hand. I'm gonna let those cool off for a minute. The beans are ready to eat for sure. I'm excited. <sighs> Time to eat some beans. I got really hot. I had to let them cool down for a little while. Ooh, the can is still really hot. It's still really hot. Uh, but I got a whole can of beans here. I'm gonna eat every last drop because I'm hungry. Ooh, it's steaming. Oh, the dripping hot bean juice. Them's beans. Oh, I'm just dripping it everywhere. It's terrible. I'm getting all over this glove. I'm blocking my hand with the spork. Or blocking my hand. My hand is blocking the camera with the spork. Sorry for the lighting situation. This is the best I could do. I'm like leaning far over, close to the light. Them some beans. Them, them some beans. I got nothing else. I have some candy bars. I might eat those if I remember I have them later. I got one beer left. I'm gonna eat that after I eat these beans. Man, it's dripping. It's dripping bean juice. These are, these are some juicy beans. That's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat these not bent over in my chair, just like a normal man. I'm gonna sit up like a normal man and eat these beans. I've, I've, I've gone through enough turmoil trying to get these beans between camera malfunctions and getting bean juice all over my glove and all sorts of stuff. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn the camera off now and just, just, eat, just eat my beans. Just, 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 just gonna turn this right off eat my oh well uh it appears to be raining now i'm just trying to eat some beans in peace i'm not gonna go in my tent until it starts raining harder but it's raining again i'm just sitting out here uh eating my beans in the rain now i guess that's really all i have to say about that okay got the can of beans in the fire i'm not gonna burn it obviously the can's not gonna burn in the fire i'm just kind of trying to get all the moisture out of it so I can bring it home tomorrow. Not so beany. Uh, it was delicious. It was, uh, I'm, my fingers are a little sticky. My gloves are a little sticky. That's okay. I needed to clean those gloves anyway. Still sour about all that footage I lost uh, to the time-lapse setting on this camera. But that's okay. I, uh, I ate the beans. I'm going to feed the fire a little bit and crack my last space kitty and just kind of relax it's uh it's dark now so probably it's about i don't i haven't looked at the clock but i imagine it's around 9 30 10. bed is imminent I'm gonna go to bed soon and wake up early and you know get up on out of here so some beans well i'm in the tent now it's uh, time to go to bed, I think. I have a little bit of my beer left. Found a cool like way to hold it in my tent without spilling it. I haven't spilled it yet, anyway. Uh, it's it's at a kind of an angle, so it doesn't tip. You know, if it's already tipped to one side, it's not going to tip anymore to that side or the other side. If I put it in like straight up and down, it may, you know, do what it wants. So that's why it's kind of like leaning up against the uh, the side there. 
So I'm gonna finish that up and uh, fall asleep pretty quick. I'm very tired. Been getting up a lot earlier lately and it is late and it's like just sleep, sleep, sleep is coming. Sleep is coming soon. Uh, so unless anything like totally bodacious and radical happens in the night, I'll see you guys in a second. That was a fine sleep. I slept really well last night. Probably the best I ever slept in a tent. Noticing there's some condensation on the inside, that's par for the course. For tent life, I guess. Only a little bit of mud in here. Ah, I didn't want to get, it's like 7.30 now, it's like kind of late <laughs> to get up for a stealth camp. So I'm gonna pack up my effects and get out of here. That's the other good thing about a tent is I can do that in, inside here. Like I can sit on the ground and roll up my sleeping pad properly so it'll fit in my bag better rather than a bug on the outside uh, rather than just like when I'm standing up uh, like I do when I'm a hat when I uh, camp with a hammock nothing really to report from last night I just slept that's it <laughs> I heard a fox or something getting annoyed at me like a couple hours ago around sunrise it was like, <laughs> I'm like, alright buddy, he was like right right over there, super close. I didn't see him, but I heard him. Yeah. Lovely little small plot. This this blanket was just barely enough last night. It got down in the mid to low 50s. I was fine. I have a hoodie on, but it was chilly for a minute. Uh, yeah, all this good stuff. Gotta wash those, that that glove. I brought one glove. I gotta wash it. I want beans get staying on that, getting sticky. Yeah. Pack all this up. Really beautiful morning. The birds are chirping. The sun is out. I got some beans. Really pretty. <sighs> Nobody disturbed me. Hope I didn't disturb anybody. Oh, I got beans all over my fingers now. <clears throat> yeah. Just kind of packing up here. Pretty much everything pa is packed up other than the tent and the tarp below it. I, uh, see if I can find it. I don't even know what I do. Oh, here it is. I brought my big orange bag. It like folds up into this pouch, really easy to bring. Uh, just in case everything didn't fit back nicely in the bag, especially the trash. So I might just have this dangling from my bike as I ride away. We'll see, I got plenty of, I got plenty of space left in the pack. I'm not, not worried about running out of space just yet, but I got a whole big tent. I got all the, all the, all the tent that I gotta fit in there and the tarp. Huh? Come on, huh? Oh man, look at that cool big old tree over there. Whoa! Yeah. I was gonna try and climb this. My boots have way, way too much mud on them for me to climb this big old tree. Look how cool and big and old it is. It's alive. I just noticed it. Make It would make a, an incredible seat. Uh, but not for me right now, because of the aforementioned boots. I, I couldn't take one step on this thing without sliding right off. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to hurt myself first thing in the morning. Okay, enough farting around. I'm gonna finish cleaning up. Well, here we are. I'm all packed up, ready to skedaddle. Yeah, this is, is a really nice spot. I don't know, maybe I'll never come back here again, but I like coming here sometimes. I can have a fire, I can have a tent, I can have a hammock. Uh, but yeah, I got my bike just kind of leaning up against that vine over there. And uh, yeah, nothing to do, but I gotta pack up my, my chair and put my trash in my bag. Other than that, I'm good to go. 
Uh, but this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. EST. It's often a stealth camp. Every once in a while, it's a, it's a regular camp, just out, out, out in the woods. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I walk around, I explore the city. There's all, there, there's things, there are things that happen on this channel. Uh, yeah, you, you get, you get the picture. Uh, but thanks for watching till the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on that. Is he really camping there again next to Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, out for another little stealth camp today. As you can see, I'm hanging out in suburbia. It's not, not as urban as it normally is, but it's sub-urban, below the urban. So here we are. Going to a, a place I've wanted to go to for a while. It's pretty windy. Uh, before we get this video started, I would love it if you guys popped me a little like. Just yeah, that little like button. And if you really want to go the extra mile, help me out on the channel. Hit subscribe and ring the little bell. Just pop subscribe and the bell. Those are those are the keys. Those are the keys to channel growth. It's all about the algorithm, baby. So I'm walking along the street here. And in just a little bit, it's going to meet up with a trail. I'm going to walk down that trail up into the woods. Camping with two buddies, James and Sean. You guys know James and Sean from some previous videos. And uh, we're trying something that's never been tried before in the history, in the history of any stealth camping video ever on the internet. And that's stealth camping with three dudes. What, what could go right? All right, here's where we're going in. Just go right in here. I don't know, guys. It's almost too stealthy. Walking down the path now. I'm uh, gonna walk Here. down maybe, I don't know, Cane. less than a mile, Cane. and then jump into the woods. We're just gonna launch our bodies into the woods, and hopefully we'll be able to camp there. I'm thinking. Yeah. Man, we got people standing right up there, right? Right where we're trying to go. They're just standing there. Just standing on the path. We're gonna have to take them out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get, you got your shillelaghs ready? Oh, I always have my good oh, luck shillelagh. We're, we're gonna bludgeon these people. Hi there. Coming up here, the wind is blowing, it's howling. Sorry if that's hitting the mic. I'm trying my best. Okay. Looking good. Let's just go in. Hopefully nobody comes around that turn. It's kind of a like a field we're walking into here. Yeah, I am, I am wearing jeans. <laughs> I don't know, I felt like it. Oh, uh, see, there's a, oh, there's a the trail right there. <laughs> Gotta be careful of that. There's the trail to saw a cyclist go by. It kind of twists and turns. Uh, so yeah, we're in like complete view of anyone. Oh, I see a blue thing over there. Hopefully it's not somebody's tent. Yeah, so there's kind of like a raised berm over there blocking us from that section of the trail. It does smell really good over here. It's very floral. I have a tent tonight again. Another tent night. They got hammock. Yeah, see there's that blue thing I was talking about. I don't think it's a tent. Looks like a, like a spool. This is really cool. These rocks here. I don't think they're naturally here. I could be wrong. Um, well, <laughs> looks, looks, like, uh, looks like we were not the first people to have this idea. Well, we got a fire ring. Doesn't look like it's been used recently. There's, plants growing in it. Well, that's good. Yeah, I don't even know if this is the best spot. We're gonna take a look around, uh, find the best place to set up, and then we're gonna set up in, in that order, in that exact order. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, there might be some good hammock trees in here, but it's tough to tell. I don't see too many great spots in here. I'm, I'm caught, I'm caught. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna keep moving on here. We can't find any really great hammock trees. I'll have to come back to this spot one of these days. It's a cool spot for like a tent, just not really hammocks. So we're gonna keep going. We have a couple other options and uh, hopefully the next one is the one. It's the one. I was here in this area over the winter. Looks vastly different now with all the growth. Yeah, I remember trying to navigate through all this in the snow. That was a lot of fun. All right, definitely promising. Huh. It's like copper wire in the ground or something. Weird. Oh. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Well, if anything, I can put my tent right here. It's not really in the way of hammock trees. It's probably the most promising spot yet. Yeah. Oh. oh. That thing sticking out is your I know. It's my tent poles. There's a blanket on the, on the ground. It's disgusting. Okay, yeah, so careful guys. This is poison ivy we're walking through right now. <laughs> a lot of this is poison ivy, I think. So just be careful. Just be careful, like... Well, just don't have it touch your skin, <laughs> I guess. So don't touch my pants the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure. It's hard to know. Well, there's a ton of plants with three leaves. All right, all right, all right. Dude, this, is it, man. this has to be it, right? Yeah, it's yeah. definitely somebody's old camp. There's uh, looks like an old remains of a shelter over here. Yeah, there's like somebody had this all sheltered up. Blankets, tea jug. It's like fishing net or something. I don't know. I don't think anyone's coming back. Uh, I don't see any footprints on the ground. So that's a positive. Yeah, this is a lots of old activity back here. Here's another. It's a big tarp. a nice big tarp. Can't say I blame them. This is kind of a perfect place to camp. <sighs> well, I think we found it. I think we're cool here. So I will take off my pack and start setting up. <laughs> this place is riddled with poison ivy everywhere. All in here, all poison ivy. We're gonna camp here in the mud zone. All oh, poison ivy here, vining up the tree. Some nice poison ivy. So we're gonna steer clear of it as much as we can. We've already walked through it coming in, so it's gonna be a challenge to take our boots on and off. Gonna have to take our pants off to get in a sleeping bag. Be very cautious to just not get any potential oil anywhere that, that's the goal so i'm gonna set up right here on the ground clear out the space before i put my tent down i don't know if the camera's picking up on it but a train's going by i think that's a train it might be an airplane now that i'm hearing it some kind of big thing going by. Yeah, that was a point, I think.
Beautiful, beautiful. The weather could be nice. That's how you set up a tent. Got the boys with the hammocks. Sean's blowing up his sleeping pad there. It's the same uh, variety as my sleeping pad, but like one level up, I think. Oh, yeah. No tarps tonight, just bug nuts. 0% uh, chance of rain, so not too worried. Uh, I think I'm even going to take the orange thing off so I have. There's a vent that, that goes up. Uh, that I'm going to use. Pretty good. Can't complain. I guess we'll find out if we all get poison ivy. Uh, but for yeah. now, we're good. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. I'll comment on Tuesday. Yeah, right. We'll know by the time this video posts. Okay, tent is set up. I'm trying really hard to keep my feet and the bottoms of my legs outside so I don't get any poison ivy oils in the tent. Uh, it's gonna kinda get chilly tonight. Upper 40s, lower 50s, so I did bring my sleeping bag. Uh, it's kind of annoying. It is the end of June. Not really sure why we're still having nights like this, but alas, here we are. So I'm gonna set up my sleeping bag and then basically there's like one thing left to do after that. Time to break into the beverage center. All right, well, why don't we start off with James here today. What is his beverage center beverage? Well, a brand new beer, um, Space Kitty. Oh, I've never oh. seen that one before, yeah. huh? Oh, sounds I have good. good. I have good, I have high hopes. Yeah, piss -like. Space I'll, I'll Kitty. there's gonna be a little piss melt. It might be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll cross that bridge. All right, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. John, what do you got today? I have a, a nice Southern Tier New Haze Hazy Smooth IPA. Okay, he's got a little guy. Yeah, there. I like that little guy a little too. Hop guy, feel the haze. Feel the haze. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm rocking. Today. I'm gonna enjoy. It. Nice. And I also have this new, never before seen, whoa, whoa, whoa. totally unheard of beer, whoa. Space Kitty, but uh, from Roebuck Brewing. I just found it on the road. It was just <laughs> lying, lying on the side of the road, and I was like, I, I will drink this. That makes sense. <laughs> Let's all try right. Try them. You know? All right. Ew. Ooh, foamy. There we Cheers, Cheers, fellas. Boys. I just gave you both poison ivy in a can. Mm -hmm. This place is riddled. Absolutely riddled with poison ivy. It's a little bit over here, a little bit over there. Yeah, it's, it's uh, we definitely walked through it on the way in. <laughs> just some. Oh, yeah. Okay, mosquito one. We've yeah, been here. Say something yeah. Well, that's okay. They, they got the bug nets, I got the tent, not worried about it. But yeah, end of June, hardly any mosquitoes. It's very nice, the temperature the is, is gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous it's, weather right it now. It's 66 right now. Yeah, so not too hot, not too cold. It is gonna dip down tonight, overnight, which is weird for the end of June. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we're gonna keep drinking these beers. Oh yeah. Gonna, gonna go on a little a explore. Yeah, we're gonna make a fire. Insulated, okay, so shut up. Well, James has his <laughs> insulated blanket, I'm sure that'll be a blanket, no, it's, but uh, we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep drinking our beers. We're gonna start a fire. We're gonna go on a little explore, walk yeah. around, show everybody around. There's a couple of old dilapidated homeless camps or so, some somebody's camps right over there. Uh, not in that order. I'm not really sure what order we'll do all that in, but it's all gonna happen, and it's all gonna happen now. If everyone told you to jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> you should jump off a cliff, crusty old hag. <laughs> going on a little explorative adventure here this is a cool little spot tucked away in the woods it was a little disappointing we couldn't go to that first spot but i think this is a, overall just a way better spot so that's a plus that's a positive it's a, a plus and a positive you gotta be really careful uh not only on the ground for poison ivy but also seen a lot of poison ivy vines uh, so i don't want to brush up against it get it on my head or arms or even worse my hands and touch stuff yeah is this like a little camp or something here's somebody yelling over there yeah like look at this over here there's lots of places like this around yeah, see, 
somebody somebody's been here hacking hacking these up not recently but these trees didn't fall naturally and that's probably something yeah well I'm lost oh. all right it's kind of the end of the trail here it opens up into this kind of circular clearing with some big old trees huh that looks like a path right there kind of I know yeah this is a, a path it might be the path I don't know what path that is it's a path anyway it might have been the path we came in on yeah yeah I like it back here it's a cool little patch of woods it was cool in the winter and it's cool here in late spring. Or is it summer yet? It's 21st, summer. right? Okay, couple day couple days it'll be you summer. Yeah, the 21st. Couple days till summer. So yeah, very late spring. We are in maybe the third longest day of the year. Mm-hmm. Right now. Yep. It's gonna get dark on 10:30-ish. Well, it'll get darker <laughs> before then, but like sun will like yeah, be completely gone, though. yeah. Very cool. Okay, we're back at the camp. We've sawed up some logs. We have the fire being built. We're all very hungry. Um, we'd like to eat. So that's going to happen soon. Right after James lights this fire right here real quick. It's real fast and quick. I don't know how great it's going to be. It's going to go wonderfully. Let's try and get like... Yeah, that breeze just picked up at the perfect moment. It certainly did. Well, I think it's... I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah. <sighs> Need to get closer, maybe. Start her up there, Jim. Looking good. Looking good, looking fine. Sweet berry wine. I wish I had some gloves. <laughs> if only you had some gloves. Yeah. Are you happy? <laughs> Are you happy? I'm not. There were some comments last time James was in a video that he wore gloves to start in the fire like it was some Crime. Completely, yeah, uh, un unbelievable what, though, crime that he what, committed. Though, I had all of my finger hair, and now I don't have any of my yeah. finger hair. Yeah, <clears throat> you had to prove to the people. <laughs> wow, that, that's really going up. Oh, yeah. Everything's so dry. Yeah. Well, we're going to enjoy this fire, kind of nurse it for a little while, and then we're going to make some food. There's some cool things coming up in the food category, and I promise it's not beans this time. Or is it? It's not. All right, well, we were just about to start eating when Sean just illuminated this amazing opportunity for us. I was going to eat some tuna creations. I, I, I may later, who knows. But Sean's girlfriend, Monaco, made us a bunch of chicken shish kebabs. Look at these. Look, Look at these. these amazing things. I'm so yeah. pumped. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat the bejesus out of that. I have some tortillas. I might <laughs> eat it in the tortilla. There so you thank you, Monaco. What a sweetheart. We're all, we're all super pumped. All right, Sean's going to stick them in the ground and cook, oh cook them up. Yeah. Nope. It's really hot. The honestly, really hot. if mine has to just sit on some coals, you know I'm cool with that. Like, and my honestly, gloves burden. I'm honestly literally fine with just holding it and kind of holding it with the fire. Oh, uh, that was really hot. The like fire was really hot and it didn't want to grow on the ground. Yeah, I'll probably just cook mine directly on the coals. This is going to be good. Touched, it didn't hit the floor. It touched the log. Sun's in my it eyes. Got my kebabs chilling directly on the coals there. It's going to be so good. James is going to cook his like a hot dog. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't do. know what Sean's going to do. Give me this later. Right on that <laughs> log. <long. laughs> oh, man. I'm so pumped. Got these tortillas. Oh, man. It's going to be so good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah. That's what happened to me. It's a little bit after 8, and it's still very bright out here. Uh, we have a couple hours before sunset, I believe. So we're just chilling. We're going to cook these kebabs, eat some dinner and commence with the chillin chill zone time chill zone. baby
I think it's time. I think it's time to take them off the fire here. Ooh, Ooh that's number one. Ah, so hot. I'm gonna make sure I don't have uh, pieces of wood in there. That's what she said. I think it's just char I think it's just chicken. I'm looking to see if I can help this. Whoop. Whoop. Just for a whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Did that just burn All right, yeah. yeah. There you go. Just, rip. just chopsticks. Come on, baby. Well, that's harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> chopstick or it's more, more of a skewer. Yeah, skewer. Uh, and I guess I'll just put both of them in here. Ah. Oh, no. Well. Uh -oh. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, danger. Uh, that's... Ah. <laughs> okay, it's in there, but the stick's in there too. I guess I gotta let it cool down. Or you know what? Maybe I can. I can take them off at the fork. So the the part of the the stick burnt off. So now I have this one right here at the skewer sticking out. But I, th I think I can just push them off. I think I'll be okay. Man, this fire is warm. Yeah. You know, honestly, the part of the stick that burnt off has already cooled the touch. So I think I can just... Gosh, man, they do not want to come off. Yeah, this this, this spot is very backwoodsy. This is just a nice camping spot. Yeah, it's just a nice place to camp, really, off the beaten but trail. But technically, we're not supposed to be. Right. Perfect. Bop. Uh, you want a, anybody wants sriracha, I have an extra sriracha. Oh, sure, yeah. Unless you want it, Sean. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, what I'm so I pumped. Got? What do I got? James has a little sriracha pack. Ready? Boop. Thank you. The Henrietta. And it's just a sub place in there. Literally sriracha the packet. <laughs> Whoa! Who was that? A bat! <laughs> a bat just came oh, by, no. apparently. Oh, anyways, okay. um, Amazing. Wow. Thank you, Monaco. Really good. This is this is so good. This is just what I needed. Oh really? This is pretty good. Really good. Yeah. Really good. Okay. Just goes to show you, you can cook anything on the coals. Put it right on the coals. Who cares? Was it Eat good? it. Was oh, it it's fa really fabulous. Really Fantastic. Oh, yeah. You got the gloves. gloves. I've got these gloves that are make funnable. Only losers wear gloves, loser. I love these gloves. These are they nine, look like fabulous these gloves. These are nine dollar gloves at Sherwin Williams. They're cut resistant, and I'm fine with burning. You know. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have some tuna creations now with my tortillas here. It's gonna be a while. It's been a while since I've had tuna creations. Everyone always leaves comments about how often I eat tuna creations. It's been probably since last summer, maybe. I, don't, I can't remember exactly. It's been a while. It's been a while. All right, so this would probably be okay for one, but I'm a masochist. Let's blow it out. Let's put two on there. Dude, you're gonna poop in the woods tonight. I know, so I'm saying I'm a masochist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I oh, know, man. your bowels up. Oh man, oh man, that's a load. Oh, that's just a load of tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. The farts will come yeah. soon. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is buffalo tuna. I find a lot of tuna <laughs> creations, they have all these different flavors and they all kind of taste the same. The only one that tastes different is buffalo. Yeah, like there's like ranch, there's like garlic and herb, and they all just taste like tuna. This is the only one that has like a, a flavor beyond, beyond yeah, it tastes like tuna, but it has a flavor beyond tuna. That's what I, they should call it. I know buffalo is kind of like a basic flavor, but it's uh, it works, it works. It works. Good thing I have fresh Tums in my pack. Doug. It's terrible. Oh, wow. Right. Wow, okay. All right, we walked out in the field here. Pretty nice, not too bad. Got to watch for ticks. I mean, I haven't found a tick yet. We've no, but it, it is the shit. season, you sure. know. Yeah, the whole reason for this field to exist are the power lines. I've always wanted to be in one of these weird little clearance power lines. Yeah. Let's see them. Let's see them when you drive. Oh man, we are just trudging through poison ivy. <laughs> There's no poison ivy. I think there was. This one of you just falls through a hole. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Very interesting. Here. Looks like a movie. Pizza shrapnel. Pizza shrapnel. Uh, dude, this is definitely like some vehicle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. Drove through here. Yeah, probably maintenance truck. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have to go all the way over there. Yeah. Is that a fire over there? You see what I'm talking about? No. Yeah, it's like maybe I can only see it because I'm like super tall, maybe. But like it looks like 
There's just a, a somebody have like I can see the flickering of an orange light on the ground. I kind of do see that too. Like way over there. I saw something. Yeah. I don't see it. Well, you're short. Not that short. And it could just be an orange light. But I can barely see it myself. Alright, let's yeah. go back to that. Let's, let's go back. To okay. I'm well. scared we're not going to find our way back once it gets dark. Well, that was a fun adventure. Uh, well, it was a fun night. We explored. We had some food, some surprise food. We had ourselves a little time. And now it's time to go to bed. So unless anything like off the chain happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you guys in a second. Well, a pretty restful sleep. Can't complain about that. Didn't wake up too many times. Just slept. Had some weird dreams. I always have weird dreams while camping. I don't know. Oh, but it's actually later than I thought it was. It's close to nine, so we gotta pack up and get out of here. Sean actually woke up earlier. He's already packed up. So now it's time for me to get packed up. And hopefully James will wake up soon and pack up also. And we'll all be packed up, and we will be packed up. So that'll be good. Okay, well, we're all packed up. We're gonna get out of here, go in the opposite direction, because the way we came in was just riddled with the poison ivy. So we're gonna go out this way. It actually meets up to the trail that we came in on, we discovered when we went on the little journey yesterday. Uh, so we're gonna do that, and hopefully not get poison ivy even though we probably already do. Yeah, already stuck. Yeah. <laughs> the thing sticking out the top of my bag is definitely prohibitive. My tent poles. They're, they're setting their Apple watches, so this counts as a workout. Can't miss that. Get caught in everything. <clears throat> Stay on the trail for that over here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta... No, I, I just get you. Know. This is funny. Okay. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> leaves the trail. Yeah, really nice woods back here. Oh, God. Yeah, not no poison ivy this way, just significantly less. And there's kind of a trail. Where we came in, there was no trail. Just an opening. Oh god! <laughs> Got ducked down so low. Can you imagine like a whole like two mile hike and stuff like this? Oh, oh my god. Jeez, <laughs> <wheeze. laughs> That would be terrible. Yeah. And it's over. Alright. This is the Here, don't don't stand too close to me. This is gonna be yeah. a rough one. Uh yeah, I think if you just go straight. Yeah, I gotta get down real low. Oh, your side pack is caught. Yeah. Jeez, man, I'm just like catching on every little possible thing. All right, halfway. Hold through it. Hold through it. I can't, I'm gonna break something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, all right. This is a big P in my B. Whew. Oh, man. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, we made it. On to this secondary trail anyway, but that's, that's really it. Beautiful morning. Well, we're out. We made it. Walking back through suburbia. It was, it was a delightful camp, I do say. It was, it was a nice little small plot. It was a pretty uh, accurately described small plot. It was good, it was nice. We'll see if we develop poison ivy. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We probably might, we'll see. We may develop poison, <laughs> we may develop poison <laughs> ivy. We'll know by the time this video drops. If I do, I'll make a community post we'll about it or something. It <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could have been a terrible place. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking before we even know. Uh, but this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, everybody, new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. 
It's, it's, you're just gonna have to tune in. That's the only time you can ever watch the videos. It's 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. This isn't like YouTube or anything to watch it anytime. It's at KevinMarcus.com. Yeah, this is, a, this is a, an original and it goes away at seven or whatever, however long this video is, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching till the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on the itchy, itchy, scratchy, scratchy nexty. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Bye, say goodbye, guys. Bye, Bye. guys. <laughs>
I am dripping sweat right now. It's pretty warm. I'm just as wet now just from sweat as I would have been from rain if it had rained. It's still, it's still looming. The rain is still looming. Uh, so I'm gonna actually leave my bike here, maybe a little bit in, and uh, look around for where I'm going so I don't have to lug this thing everywhere. I was here, right, kind of right here, uh, about a year ago for a stealth camp. You can check that video out from last summer. I think it's just called Airport Stealth Camping, right near the airport. Uh, I'm not camping here tonight. In that video, I saw a weird little abandoned shack. And I've commented in the video, hey, if you wanna see me camp here, let me know. And people let me know. People let me know they wanted to see me camp there. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm camping there. Speaking of which, here's the two trees I camped at before. Really close together, geez. I remember complaining about that that night, how close they were. Oh, okay, okay. Which way do I go? I think I have to move through this big field right here. This is gonna be fun to take my bike through. The rain is coming down just as I'm hitting this weird back road. You know, I was looking at uh, maps from like 1950s onward, like aerial photos, not even maps. And this was actually a road at one point and they just kept building things around it and then just abandoned this one little slice of road. So that's why this road is here. It's kind of in the middle of the woods. Thought that was a little interesting anyway. I don't exactly know where I'm going once I'm back here now. <sighs> yeah, the rain's coming down. Not too bad, it's just sprinkling. I at least want to get to a place where I can set up a tarp or maybe duck into that shed if I have to. Oh yeah, it's coming down, I gotta move. I don't know where to. Uh, <laughs> was it this way? I think it was this way. Oh yeah, okay, here it comes. Oh boy. See, it's right over here. I don't think, I don't know how it go inside-able it is. It was kind of nasty last year. I don't manage, uh, I don't imagine it's any cleaner this year. Uh, I don't know what that sound is. That was from the airport. That wasn't a passing vehicle, unless it's a passing vehicle pulled over on the side of the road. That was stationary. Must have been some kind of rain alarm, because here it is. Oh, geez. Okay. I think my best bet is to hide under the canopy for right now. Uh, I don't know if that place is suitable. Should I go get my bike right now? Should I put my pack? in there and go grab my bike. That might be the move. I keep seeing these uh, these flags everywhere. I don't know what that means. They're not new. Okay, I'm gonna find two trees to set up a tarp on. That's what, that's what I need right now. So far, there's not really uh, too many great options back here. Oh boy, I got rain in my eye. It stings a little. That shouldn't sting, right? Ah. Yeah, even in these shaded areas, the rain's starting to come through, although this is kind of okay. It's still getting wet. It's just, it's just a wet time, you know? 
just I'm just getting wetter and wetter. Oh, here we go. I think this guy, he's alive. Uh, mostly alive. That's going to have to do. These two guys are going to have to do. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Uh, of course, everything I need is uh, packed to the bottom of my bag. That's just how we're doing it, baby. Cha -cha. Yeah, it's pouring pretty good. Uh, yeah. Got my tarp though, so that's good. Well, I'm soaking wet. That just came right down. I mean, I was expecting it the entire bike ride. It waited till I got here. Uh, I didn't take a huge, great look at the, uh, the shed over there. I will in a little while. Hopefully this rain lets up in a bit. <sighs> My bike's definitely soaked. It's way over there where I came in. Uh, I had to do this kind of makeshift tarp setup. I only have two of the six points tied out, not counting the ridge line. Ooh, kind of regretting not bringing my chair on this trip. Kind of just uh, squatting on the ground here. Oof. Well, I guess what do people do when they're stuck under a tarp in the rain while they're stealth camping? I mean, what, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do next? Uh, breaking into the beverage center, my uh, my favorite part of stealth camping. So today's uh, is we got uh, Patriot Pop. It's a sour from K2 Brewing. I've had K2 Brewing on the channel before. This is uh, probably my favorite new beer of the summer. Uh, Patriot Pop kind of being like a legal workaround so they don't name it Bomb Pop, but it kind of tastes like a Bomb Pop, but really not too much. Like when I taste it, I'm not like, whoa, Bomb Pop. It's, it's, more, it's more subtle. Uh, it's quite delicious. And I assume it's going away at the end of the summer, so I've been just drinking it when I can. Oh yeah. It mixes well with the sweaty, salty lips I got going on. I keep doing that alarm. I don't know what that is. Definitely something with the airport. Maybe it's a stealth camper alert. I'm not very comfortable right now. I can't sit down. I have to squat. I can't stand up. I have to bend over. Uh, I'm just waiting until the seam seal starts leaking because it's not doing good. It's been broken the last few trips. I still haven't fixed it. Seam seal. There you go. Ah, camping in the rain, baby. That was a whirlwind. Actually, that was an action-packed entrance into this place. Woo! Yeah.
sitting on the ground now. Brought my seating pad. Didn't want to bring my chair this time. I figured that uh, I'd find something to sit on. And I don't really have that uh, opportunity to look right now. And everything is wet. So uh, I'm probably just going to sit on my sitting pad on the ground for now. Kind of propped up by branches that are also a little wet. Hopefully the rain stops soon and I can kind of take a look around this area. It's super cool. It's kind of just this open wooded area. Uh, I don't see any poison ivy, which is great. Uh, that cool shed shack thing over there is, is, is uh, just, uh, you know, I said it's cool. Uh, I'll check that out once it dries up. Sucks that my bike is currently getting soaked way over there in the other portion of the woods too far away for me to run and get it, especially running through brush and stuff like like I did, I, I'd, I'd get soaked. Uh, hopefully nobody tries to pop in these woods and sees it and gets any ideas. Uh, whether that idea is to take the bike or that I'm deeper in the, the, the woods, you know, it's clearly not an abandoned bike. This is a ridiculous tarp setup. I only have the middle two pulled out. All the edges are just dangling there. You can kind of see behind me here keeping me dry well I mean I'm, I'm wet already but I'm not getting any more wet although it is raining pretty good man I love camping in the rain the mosquitoes have found me mosquitoes have not been too bad this year but they found me got the thermosel so I haven't used it since last summer Let's see if it still works I put new juice and a new pad in there so it should be good let's start you got to kind of like like look look through the thing oh I got it I got it yeah yeah it's going I see it nice okay so that that takes a little bit of time to get going but uh yeah I don't want to mess around not having a fire here too close to the airport I could probably get away with it with the traffic and stuff uh, I could go on another side of, of the berm or something. I, I'd probably get away with it if I wasn't so close to the airport. I do not want to start a fire directly next to the airport. That's just asking for trouble. The rain hasn't really let up yet. Just kind of waiting it out. Drinking my Patriot Pop. Huh. Really nice. Temperature's really nice. The rain is kind of refreshing, to be honest. I was really warm running in here. My face is probably beet red. Like I was pedaling so fast to get through the rain uh, and then like up hills and stuff and then running in here and going, breaking every twig in existence. My bike got caught on some vines and get it all untangled in the, in the moment. Uh, so like by the time I came back here and it started pouring, the rain actually kind of, it kind of felt okay. It wasn't too bad. I honestly didn't really mind it, but I am wet. Hopefully I dry off. Whew, okay. I braved the rain, tied out the rest of the points. I just needed the space. I was like sitting in the middle. Uh, things were dripping on my legs. Just tighten these up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. The, the rain's coming down as good as ever. Oh gosh, I'm ancient. Yeah, so now, now it won't be dripping on my legs. Yeah, I wish I had uh, another camera angle for you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> just kind of what, what I'm working with right now, right underneath this tarp. It's the only place it's safe, the only safe zone. Uh, well, I guess may as well eat something, right? I'm kind of hungry and uh, better than doing nothing. So I'm, I think I'm going to eat something. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got to eat today. All right. Well, today I went to my local bodega and I got some sandwiches. There's actually two sandwiches. It's four pieces. Uh, it's like turkey. Tomato, provolone, lettuce, mayonnaise, I'm yelling. All right. Hit the spot immediately. Making sure I don't have any ticks on me. Nope, just dirty and disgusting. Sometimes you just want to eat a turkey sandwich in the woods. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I'll be able to do a little walk around before it gets dark here. I have a few hours, like three or so hours before it gets dark. I'm not worried about it getting dark. 
I'm worried about it not stopping raining. That's <laughs> so why I uh, have to get wet to show you guys. There's like weird pieces of metal sticking out of trees. Obviously that shack over there, that's kind of like the highlight of this place. I barely looked at it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's a sandwich. Okay, I think it may have let up enough for me to check it out. It's weird, one last burst of pouring rain came down for a couple minutes and now it's, I don't, I don't hear anything on the tarp. Okay, okay, looking good, feeling good, feeling fine. Still some coming off the trees, but uh, that's okay. I'm gonna take a little look around to you guys what's up at this place, it's really cool. Really open and spacious. Not a lot of trash, no signs of other campers. Sorry, I have to talk kind of loud. I got the uh, lo super loud traffic right next to me there. I'm probably breathing in all sorts of just lovely road spray. Yeah, I don't know what was built here before or if it's just some kind of dump site. Uh, there's some game trails around. I assume they're game trails. They could be people trails. Yeah. Yeah, look at this big old honker right here. That must have been loud when it collapsed. Yeah, it's cool old growth back here. This has been a forest for a while. Look at this freaking thing right next to me. Oy, oh, good Lord. I think Eleanor Roosevelt planted that tree. Okay, let's go check out this weird shed. I don't know why this shed is here. Uh, if it was just built by a random person at some point, or if it at one time served a purpose, I don't know. Hey, look, doorknobs! I think the last time I was at a camp where it rained, right as I was setting up, I found doorknobs on the ground. There's some old steel over there, and oh yeah, let me show you my, my buddies here. A couple of doorknobs. Kind of a coincidence, eh? Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to hop in there. The floor is collapsing and there's like lots of boards and stuff with nails. Kind of stinks in there, if I'm being honest. It's a little stinky. Yeah, I never had any plan to sleep in here. Uh, I knew it was going to be gross. The roof is collapsing. The floor is collapsing. The uh, roof shingles look kind of new. I wonder if they were used to shingle the roof here. Yeah, this thing's about to tip over too. The wood that's being held on that by that cinder block is kind of rotted. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next year or two this thing's like totally collapsed. Oh man, geez, it's way more mosquito-y over here. Oof, I really gotta watch where I step. There's lots of nails and boards and stuff. I don't wanna have to get a tetanus shot. Cut my camping trip short. Wow, this is just a really pretty area. Yeah, there you go. Got a built-in beer holder, how about that? The sky is still pretty dark. I tried to film it, it just looks like white on the camera, but it's pretty dark. Yeah, I'm going to wait a little while to go get my bike, even though I am paranoid about leaving it over there. I don't want anybody to pop in and take it or pop in and I know they're just clued in that I'm somewhere in the forest. I don't think that they would because it is raining, but like that field that I had to walk through, I'm just going to be soaked trying to get through that. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time, wait to dry. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I should even set up my hammock. We'll wait to see if it rains again. The, the weather app says that it's supposed to taper off and it is tapering off. So maybe I'll just start setting up my hammock and stuff like I normally do when I first get to a place, doing things kind of out of order today. Wow, the sun's starting to come out. That's unexpected. I set up my hammock, I set up the bug net. Uh, sorry I didn't film it like I normally do, it was just no good way to do it with the tarp over me. 
it, it would have just been clips of me under a tarp doing stuff and I couldn't, you know, I need my hand to do stuff so I couldn't hold the camera. Somebody's coming. What is that? Some giant stick breaking? All right, well, let me pull out this bright green sleeping pad and blow it up. I think I'm gonna grab my bike, just risk it, get wet, I'll dry later, rather than just be paranoid about it. Sun's coming out. That's cool. Still getting rained down by the trees dripping, but still just wet. Just a wet dude. I'm probably gonna be wet the rest of the night. That's okay. Oh, time to camp. Camping now. It's camping, camp, good camping stuff. Camping. Okay, I'm back at my bike. I'm completely soaked now <laughs> more than I was There's actually uh, the camera's not gonna be able to pick it up, but there's Steam coming up off my arm Just evaporating in the Sun pretty much instantly. So let me get back to camp and I guess dry the rest of the way off <laughs> Look at the steam just coming off of my body. Well, that was a little bit regrettable trying to go get my bike. Uh, I got it, I moved it away from kind of the entrance to the forest, hid it in some brush. I didn't bring it all the way back here. That was way too much, but I'm drenched. My pants are soaked. My shirt is soaked. My shoes are soaked. My face is soaked. Uh, I can literally see steam coming off of my body in the sun. So I'm gonna stand in the sun and try and dry, dry off uh, the best I can. Whew. This is camping, baby. Sun has mostly set. You can kind of see it's a little blue here. A um, lot, of, lot of animals bopping around me. I hear sticks cracking and tons of lightning bugs around. That's really nice. But I'm gonna eat. I have like one little piece of sandwich left. I'm gonna eat that. Um, I'm gonna finish my beer and just kind of relax for the rest of the night. I don't have a chair. <laughs> I'm gonna just stand up. <laughs> I'm standing. I've been standing all day, which is great. Yeah, really nice out here. I kind of feel like I'm being watched, but probably not, right? It's probably not. <clears throat> this thermocell has been working really well. I just had to replace it. That's why you see mosquitoes around. They just started coming back around. You don't realize how well it's working until the little blue pad has run out. Uh, but it's working really well. And uh, I hope it continues to work really well for the rest of the time that I'm awake. I have a bug net, so it's not a big deal after that. Uh, but yeah. Really, really big fan of the thermocell. Get yourself a thermocell if you can't have a campfire to keep the mosquitoes away. I 
have some visitors. Okay, buddy. You think you're just gonna stay here for free? Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's totally fine. And you? Hey, don't try to get out of this. Hey, where are you going? No, we're gonna be best friends. No, oh, you listened. Shouldn't have listened. Well, you're an awful little guy, aren't you? Would be a shame if somebody... <laughs> Excuse me. Are you drops of water on my tarp? No, it's totally fine. Yeah, just hang out. It's totally, you know, not a big deal. I respect you. Whew. Finally in the hammock here. It's it's a good 10 degrees warmer here in the hammock in the bug now, I'm not going to lie. It kind of, it's, it's unpleasant. It's a little unpleasant. And I'm going to strip down as much as I can. Saw a couple mosquitoes get in. It was actually a whole whole thing getting in here. I almost fell over because uh, I have the hammock up a little too high. And, uh, and then as soon as I got in here, realized I had to go to the bathroom. So I had to leave and then do the whole thing again. The second time was even more of a pee in the bee. But you know what? That kind of just made me all the more ready for sleep so unless anything like totally you know extreme and dangerous happens in the middle of the night i'll just see you guys in a second Uh, not too great of a sleep, not terrible, not the worst sleep I've had, but uh, dude, like, I've probably woken up like 30 times. Uh, whether it be just loud vehicles uh, or I'm apparently next to something here at the airport where they just occasionally want to have big slam bang booms constantly. Oh man, it would be like quiet for a little bit. And somebody would hit the rumble strips. You know, it was just... I, I was, like, startled out of sleep several times. <laughs> uh, but I'm awake now. I feel feel pretty good. Uh, it's a little later than I would have liked, probably because I didn't get such good sleep. It's probably close to 8 o'clock, which is a little late for a stealth camp, I must admit. <sighs> it rained last night. Hopefully I caught that on camera. Uh, it's tough with other sounds going on. It was a light rain. Um, the skies are still overcast. I don't know if it's supposed to rain anymore, but either way, uh, I gotta pack up, get out of here. It's a nice little spot. Really enjoyed this place. Cool, uh, creepy, cabiny shed hovel. Uh, cool space. Big old trees. There's like pieces of metal stuck into big roots of big old trees. So who knows how old that metal is? Like 1800s or something. <laughs> yeah, really nice spot back here. Nobody bothered me. I felt pretty safe just because I'm kind of surrounded by a berm and a bunch of brush. So anyone sneaking up on me probably wasn't gonna happen. 
I don't know if you can see, you got the traffic right behind me there. Yeah, gonna wander about for a couple minutes and uh, start packing up. That's how you tear down a camp. All right, got everything packed up. The mosquitoes uh, have taken it upon themselves to just find my ears, get inside my ears. So as much as I would like to hang out here all day, uh, letting them do that, I think it's about time I get out of here. This place is a particularly funny place to get out of because I come like running down like a hill out of the woods and if anyone's there, it's gonna be startling for them. So. I'll take you along with me running out. Hopefully I don't give anybody a heart attack. Uh, even a lovely small plot. Let's get moving. See my bike where I stashed it? I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera. It's in that kind of field over there. So that's good. Nobody came back and stole my bike. I just kind of want to take a little walk around down this abandoned road here. It's kind of cool. One end is an abandoned hotel. I think it closed during the pandy. Yeah, I remember last summer when I was here, I saw that same mattress over that same window. Not too much activity. Uh, and then on the other side, some tanks. We're all fans of tanks here, right? Like a good tank. Not sure what they're full of, but I bet it's something good like uh, milk. Yeah, <laughs> they're right there. It kind of blends in with the sky. They're both white. Some tanks. That's tank number 35. There's another one over here. I don't want to get too close though. Not sure what they have, uh, you know, surveillance wise. Okay. I'm gonna jump into this other section of the woods, grab my bike, and run out onto the trail where I may just freak somebody out. Let's see. Usually I'm pretty lucky, but it's gonna happen one of these days where I just like freak somebody out and they fall down on the path and have a heart attack. I don't want that, but it's just gonna happen. I had to walk through all this yesterday, all that, to get my bike and it was soaked. That's why I was so soaked coming back. Not only the other parts of the woods, but this part as well. All right, no, no tickets. That's good. All right, let's go. Okay, we're coming up on it. It's gonna have to be one fell swoop. There's no like looking first, really. Not with this bike. Maybe if I was not with a bike, but I am. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't see anybody. Ooh, my bike's stuck, so that's a good sign. Okay, here we go. Now 
I'm stuck. This is difficult. I can't push a bike up here. Okay. Okay, there's the trail. I'm just gonna go. Oh my gosh, with a weird bug on my arm. This is so steep. They don't make it easy. Okay. All right. Nobody on the trail. I'm sweating buckets now. Whew. Gosh. It's humid. It's not too warm, just very humid. Oh, there's this weird thing. Some art. That was a nice little small plot. Glad nobody was out here. Just get freaked out by me. Uh, as I was walking out, I mentioned there was a bug on me. I don't know what it was. It looked like a moth with no moth wings. It was like a hairy white and black fly, kind of. I've never seen anything like it. It was so weird looking. Uh, I probably... I probably have monkeypox now. Ooh, oh, there's somebody on a bike. Okay, here comes somebody on a bike. See, I just missed him by, by just a moment. Morning. Unfriendly. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, everybody, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. We can do some stealth camping. We can do some regular camping. We can uh, jump around uh, shirtless sometimes. That's a thing. That's a thing I did. I did one time. Uh, but thanks for watching till the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on that what are these orange flags in my pants nexty. Mwah. You know, there are a few things I like better than the city on a rainy day. But one of the things I like better than a city on a rainy day is camping in the city on a rainy day. And that's just what we're doing today. You're watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. And this is a rainy urban stealth camp. You know, I, I, tried, to, uh, I tried to time it leaving uh, when the rain was just letting up a little bit and I got it. It was good. I timed it perfectly uh, For about two seconds and then it started pouring uh, Which it's doing right now. I don't know if the camera is picking up on the rain, but it is raining I'll Probably see it on my clothes as I walk under a tree and it gets dark Sometimes it's tough to time. You can't you can't always time these things uh, But I'm glad I'm out Raining or not Either way, I gotta I gotta hurry up. I have a little bit of a walk here ahead of me before getting to my spot uh, and the, the tarp can't be set up soon enough. Now oh, what do we have here? Discarded trash bin? Oh, it's trash. Not really sure what I was expecting there. It's been raining on and off all day. And it's supposed to rain on and off all night, mostly on. So I'm prepared. I got everything I need to enjoy a nice urban stealth camp. There's people around. Ooh, something smells good around here. Somebody's cooking. I can smell it. I'm smelling you. I'm wherever you are, I'm smelling. I'm smelling. I'm smelling you. Well, it's definitely raining pretty good. It's starting to drip off my face. My shirt's already totally wet. There's nothing I can do about it. I tried to. 
I tried to hit it right in the middle between two different rain plops on the Doppler and it, you know, varying degrees of uh, positive results on that one. Oh yeah, gotta, gotta move. Here it comes. Here we are. Yeah, just uh, walking down this path in a torrential downpour on my way to camp. This is gonna turn out well, I think. I think this is gonna be, be a success. Hey, I wanted rain, I got rain, right? Well, here, here it is. I wonder if I try to stand under these trees, that's the same, it's the same, it's the same amount of rain. I can't even like stop and wait for it to uh, blow over somewhere, it's not supposed to blow over. Me leaving my apartment, oh my god. Alright, well I don't know, let's get, let's get out of here. Hi there. Staying out of the rain. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Looks like those people back there had the right idea. Staying out of it. Underneath the canopy I tried, it didn't work for me. Maybe it worked for them, I don't know. I'm getting kind of close to where I need to be, so. Tar the tarp, that's what I'm about. <laughs> the tarp. <laughs> it doesn't look like it right now, but I am still in the middle of the city. Uh, I'm on a bike trail that's going behind the neighborhoods um 100 150 feet away from backyards right over there over here is the river and that's where i'm going towards the river now once i leave the trail it's gonna be a straight shot right in right in and uh, i'm very exposed while i'm doing it luckily it's raining so hopefully nobody else is out on the trail although i did see those two women over there that we're out on the trail. So, you know, some people are out, I'm out. Maybe, who else, who else is out? I don't know, we'll find out maybe, hopefully not. This is one of my favorite little stretches of bike trail in the city, it's so nice. Oh, I think here's where I go in. Okay. I'm just gonna go, going right here. Hopefully I can avoid the poison ivy, which there is a lot of. Oh boy, already making huge amounts of noise. Huge amounts of poison ivy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't see anybody, but I gotta go. Oh, which way, which way, which way? Oh, it's kind of overgrown. There's like basically not too many options here. Okay, here we go. Hopefully the river's not flooded and I can actually get down next to it. I'm already wet, so I'm not worried about getting more wet. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. River is kind of up a little bit more. Let's see, let's see. Okay. All right. All right, yeah. Oh, hey, huh. That's not great. I think it'll be okay though. I think it'll be okay. I think that's just right here. Okay. Let's head up this way. I think we're good. But I gotta hurry up. Thunder's coming in, rain's picking up again. Uh, I'm quite wet, so I can't get any more wet, but I do want to get the tarp set up ASAP. Uh, thankfully, I can actually camp here. I was a little worried coming down. The water is a little bit higher, but
but I can do it. I, I, there's enough space to camp. I, I'm, I'm good to go. I just gotta find a spot. I have to be as quiet as possible. I am very close to homes, uh, bike trail. I just saw people on the bike trail, even though it's raining and there's thunder. People are out. See how in the corner I can get. I doubt the camera can pick up on it, but I can kind of see the steam coming off of me. Uh, almost done, gonna stake out some of the sides there. And then I'm good for now. I'm not gonna set up my hammock until later uh, because I need a place to hang out and stay dry. I'll set up the hammock before I go to bed. For now, just the tarp. Looks like this tree, which I'm using as a tripod, gets to uh, also be a little tree that I tie one of my tarp tie-outs to. Oh, and then that happens. <laughs> Okay, uh, one side out. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna tie out the other side considering it's facing the water, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. thunder. Okay, the ra it's still raining, but it's definitely died down a little bit. Now that I have my tarp up, uh, let me give you a little uh, kind of view of what we got going on. Uh, basically, the side I'm on is the only tied out side. I have one of the corners tied out on the other side, but the other parts are kind of right over the water. Like, I am on, on the water in the literal sense of the word. So, got this one tied out, and then this kind of stuff just dangling, because I mean there's water right there, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Get like a stick and stick it in the water and tie it out? This is all silt. Let me try stepping in it real quick. That's actually firmer than I thought. I'm still sinking. Ooh, immediately start. I kicked up something That's that smells like a, like a swamp. Okay, let's, let's take a look at it from a distance, shall we? At least the farthest distance we can go here. What is that? It's like a syringe if you wanted to inject uh, frosting into your veins, which I personally do. That's pretty good, pretty hidden, a little bit. I mean, I'm 20 feet away. 
good to have a little reprieve in the rain. It's still coming down because of the trees and uh, you can probably still hear the thunder rolling. That's gonna be going all night. Uh, my, my shirt's completely soaked. My pants are soaked, but they're quick drying and they're quickly drying, so that's good. <sighs> yeah, here we go, camping time. My face is drying off a little bit. I'm very damp. My shirt's very damp. Also because I'm, I'm filming outside this uh, sanctuary of the tarp. Uh, very nice out here though, very peaceful. Man, I love camping in the rain. Especially in the city, I'm like a 10, 15 minute walk from my house. This is basically in my backyard. I love it. It's so great. Such a privilege to be out here. until I get stabbed in the head. Perfect timing as the rain's starting to pick up. Sorry for the weird camera angle. I don't really have any close by trees that are small enough to wrap my tripod around. So you get just this shot of knees and that one. Well, today in the beverage center, we have Oktoberfest from Genesee brew house. Uh, it's a little early for Oktoberfest, I know, I know, but it's what I got. It's what I was in the mood for. Ooh. Still crisp and cold because I'm a 15 minute walk from home. Although I did leave my home like an hour or so ago. That's good. It's like a very, it's very crisp beer. Uh, when you think of like an Oktoberfest beer, you might think of something a little heavier, at least I do. This is not a heavy beer. It's very light and crisp and delicious. Cheers. I, uh, there's nowhere I'd rather be than here right now. Got the tarp set up just in time. Downpour is uh, happening right now. Already, <laughs> already collecting in the tarp. Yeah, really nice out here. This is a stealth camp, but I'm not worried about anybody. It's raining far too hard. Uh, I did want to thank everybody for 5,000 subscribers. I made it. I made it to 5,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm thrilled. Thanks everybody so much for uh, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, you know, maybe you know, help me get to the next milestone. Whatever that is, I guess the next one would be 10, right? On the road to 10, please, uh, if you like this video, if you want to see more, pop a subscribe, pop a like, pop a John's Pizza. Not pop a John's Pizza. Oh no! Oh god! Oh! Oh man! Okay, I gotta fix that. Maybe put a stick there. The, uh, the water, the way it came in, was just running and pouring onto my pack. Uh-oh. Okay, got to put the beer down and fix that. Okay, find a stick or something. Is this a good one? Oh, I should have left it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 
It's too wet to go back out there. Maybe. Oh, okay. All right, we're having issues. I'm gonna just move over for now because it's too wet to go out and fix it right now. And I have plenty of tarp over here that I'm just not using. So no purpose in setting up everything on the edge when the water is pouring in. <sighs> okay, yeah, I'll fix that in a bit when it lets up. Good <laughs> gravy. Here, it's coming in now. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I moved my pack. It's hitting my beverage center there. Yeah, it's just kind of overflowing and then running along the bottom slightly and just coming, coming right down. Oh, coming down this side too. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. Well, I think this wouldn't be a terrible time to take a nip off the old Sam Bananas banana flask. Shout out to Sam Bananas. This is actually the first time I've been out uh, truly camping since uh, we went out camping together. Go check out those videos. Um, they're not that far back on the timeline of videos. Um, we went to a, a haunted forest and looked for some, uh, one of the local legends of lore, some of the beasts of lore in that forest known as the Hairy Women of Klipnaki. You're gonna wanna check that video out, it's wild. Um, and uh, the one before that, we hike back and find this amazing little secret waterfall in this scar in the earth. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, so here's to you, Sam. Cheers, buddy. Oh, oh, that's the same vodka. That's the same vodka I packed for Sam and I, the trip that Sam and I went on. And I, I barely drank any of it that trip. And it's like this full, basically. It's just straight vodka. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> For the eagle-eyed among you, I have been to this spot before. Not this exact spot, it was down a little ways, but very close to, to here. Um, this is the same river that I camp, I've camped next to before. Um, I wanted a place that was pretty close to home that I could get to in the rain. Hopefully find a time between uh, bursts of rain, which I tried to, um, and then get out here and then camp in the rain. And so far that's been a success. I've been very pleased with how much it's rained and how wet I am. That's, the, that's a positive. I know it doesn't sound like a positive, but it's a positive. It's fun. It's fun to go camp in the rain, especially when you're this close to home, you know? It's not like I'm uh, way out there hours from the city just like soaked and like, what am I gonna do, you know? Worst case scenario, I get wet uh, and then I go home and dry off. It's a very, very short walk from here. Very nice. I kind of I kind of feel like this is my own little secret spot in the city. Now, of course, I'm making videos of it and local people will no doubt come here, but I've been coming to this spot for a couple of years. I have only camped here uh, you know, this time and then one other time, it was about three or four months ago. Um, but it's it's really like not a place you'd think to go. And it's not like obvious that it's here. I don't know. Like I, I lived in the city for years before I ever considered coming over here and seeing what was over here. And I was very pleasantly surprised. I was very pleasantly surprised when I did. Excuse me. I could, I could honestly, probably come here with a, a tent. I might be able to set up a tent over here. Not a big one, but I, I easily, it, the ground is flat enough to where I could. And maybe I will. If you want to see me come back here with a tent, let me know. I have it. I have tents that I want to use. This might be a good spot to, to use my Backwoods Bungalow 2.0, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to, I'll take a look at the spacing of some of these trees, but the ground is flat enough. For sure. So peaceful. I think there was a, a heron or a, an egret that was startled over there. Egrets aren't very common in these parts, 
but one lives right here, like in this little brush. Uh, there's a pedestrian bridge over there that I ride my bike on or walk on pretty regularly. And I, I saw the egret here a couple times. I'm pretty sure he lives in this. It's, kind of, it's, it's weird, it's a river, but the river's at a bend. And on that bend, like trees and stuff over the years have kind of got caught on some of the shallow ground. And over, I don't know how many years, a couple decades anyway, it's kind of made this area on the other side of the the beached trees, I don't know what else to call them, uh, kind of swampy. Like there's, there's a, uh, if you were to look past all this greenery behind me, um, you'd just see the full river. I know it kind of looks like I'm camping on a pond right now, but this is a full river and this is just the, uh, the kind of, the soupy banks, the soupy banks of the Genesee. Oh, somebody was coming back. Mr. Genesee, who yelling at me, calling his banks soupy. He's like, my banks ain't soupy. They're, they're strong and manly banks. Local bird. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of pretty in the rain. Hmm. I see something strange over there. I'm not sure why it's catching my eye. It's probably just trash. I'm gonna go over in a little while, make sure it's not like a camp. I don't think it would be. That would be ridiculous. Nobody, nobody's camping. Nobody would camp down here. This isn't a place anyone camps. Come on now. Sun's starting to come out a little bit, and I hear rapping. Somebody rapping? Are they rapping? I think it's a rap that I'm hearing. Probably walking down the trail, which is 53 feet away from me. Yeah, look at the sun. It's still coming off the trees, I think. I don't know if it's fully raining, but it's coming off the trees still. And sun coming up. A little bit. Definitely lightening up. Yeah, sun is definitely coming out. It's kind of nice. Maybe I'll dry off a little bit. I'm still getting wet standing here. <laughs> so I, should, I guess I should just go back under the tarp where I belong. Uh, well, now the rain's cleared out and the sun's coming out, let's do a little, little more walk around. Oh yeah, oh boy, look at that sun right there. Oh geez, in my face. Ooh, ah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna walk a little bit this way because that's basically the only way to walk. This is a very long, thin stretch of land right next to this river here to my left. Even though this is kind of a boggy area of the river, it is a river. See if I can get some. I doubt it. It's just going to be pure white. But yeah, right here. I think I could do it. Or not right here. Right over here. I think I could do it with the tent right here. Like, I think it's big enough. For sure. Might be a little soggy. But if, if the river isn't overflowing after uh, there were storms yesterday, there have been storms all day today. If it's not overflowing yet, I can't imagine a time when it would be. Uh, and I got muck boots on and I so, I so want to trudge. Where shall I trudge? I don't know. There's not really any good spots. If I trudge this way, I'm, I'm like stopped by just reeds and mud. Also, it's a very silty river, like even earlier. When I walked out into it for a bit, I probably sunk in a couple inches. 
Oh, so I made a joke about it earlier, but I actually did <laughs> st stick a stick in the mud uh, to put my tarp on here in the in the water now. You know, better than nothing, I suppose. I guess I can fix that over there now that it's not raining as bad. You can still see how much is actually coming off the trees or from the clouds. Just because it's sunny out doesn't mean it's not coming from the clouds. Jungly. It's still, like now is the prime walking, bike riding hour and with the rain letting up oh my gosh i'm gonna sink in this mud with the rain letting up uh people are probably itching to get out yeah i'm like yeah i'm like just oh my gosh like look how far or not far i am from the shore and i'm just sinking i'm sinking right in my, my boots are like a few inches into the mud oh boy okay <laughs> Uh, man, I love this little spot. So pretty. <sighs> oh yeah, walking through that definitely stirs up the uh, the bogginess. Some of the, what is that, like methane? I'm not really sure what that is. Just stinky bog smell. Now I did bring a thermocell for mosquitoes. Believe it or not, zero bugs. I don't know if that's just because of the rain. Uh, I haven't seen a single mosquito, which is weird considering how swampy this little patch of water is and how wet everything is in the ground. It's just this, this seems like it'd be perfect for mosquitoes. This is where mosquitoes would go to prom, but nothing, not a single one. I haven't seen a single one. Uh, I have the thermocell if I do need it, but for now, I'm contemplating even using a bug net tonight, here at the end of August. Uh, last summer, every time I went camping, I probably came back with like 30 to 40 mosquito bites. This year, I've probably had like 20 all summer. It's fantastic. Well, I think it's about time to eat. Today, I have something that is it's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind what I have to eat today. It's something completely different than I've ever had before. Uh, got some Wendy's. Got some Wendy's here, guys. Got this earlier today to camp and eat with some Wendy's. It's an urban stealth camp, so we're eating urban stealth food. There you go. We've got a junior bacon chi. Now, Usually, I keep the tomatoes on, but for these I got no tomatoes because they suck, you know, after the initial first 10 minutes of the sandwich's existence. I don't want to have a tomato soaking in my bread, soaking in my bread, any of that. So, no tomato. Uh, still pretty good. That's what we're doing. <clears throat> That's how we're doing it. Sitting here in the middle of the city next to this river here, eating fast food. I can dig it. I remember when Junior Bacon's were a dollar. This was like five. Alright, we have, oh, a McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich out of this Wendy's bag. How'd that get in there? What's going on here? Don't worry about that little guy. Got another Junior Bacon Chee. All right, well, I'm gonna sit here and eat these. You guys know the food portion of my camping videos are not very in-depth or exciting. Maybe someday they will be, but for now, leftover fast food.
well as you may be able to hear, the rain has started up again. It's pretty nice. This is what I'm here for. I saw a single mosquito, so I'm busting out the thermocell. That's how we're rolling tonight. I got, I'm, I'm taking no chances. I'm taking no chances. It's getting a little dark out. This is the mosquito hour. I saw one, and where there's one, there's 70,000. So I got this little fuel cell here. I'm going to screw it up in the bottom here. It's kind of... I might blur that out. And you got this... Uh, the, uh, the, the, the blue part, the blue part, the part that actually repels the mosquito. It's this part right here. And that slides right in the top. Burr. Quite nicely. I'm pretty sure there's no correct side. So now basically what you do is there's this little uh, viewport in there and I gotta click it. Which like, I guess, oh, I think that's it. Okay, we're good. There's like a little, I guess you call it flame inside. I'm not sure if it's a flame or just some like orange metal. Here, let's see. Let's see if you can see that. I'll turn this off. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. See, it's like kind of. You can you can just tell. You can tell when it's on. And that one mosquito that I saw. Well, he's he's going to be paying the price now, isn't he? Uh, it's been a pretty peaceful evening. My shirt is still soaked. Uh, my pants are nice and dry. I wore these pants on purpose because I know they're they're quick drying and they dried pretty quick. This shirt, however, just damp and nasty. I should have brought another shirt. Should have brought another shirt. Just been relaxing here next to the river. No fire tonight. Obviously, I think that goes without saying. I'm too close to people and things and entities that may be upset that I'm starting a fire right across the river is a university after all. I don't think they, uh, I don't think the UPO, the university police, would take kindly to uh, seeing a fire over here. They'd probably call the, the, the repo, the real police. I'm, I'm just winging it here guys. I'm looking up here, there's like a tiny bit of moisture on the inside of my tarp. I hope that not leaking. I hope that's just like something like a tiny bit left over from when I was setting up the tarp and everything was wet. It's like very little. I'm not even going to show it on camera. You probably couldn't see it, but I just noticed it. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I hope that doesn't become a problem. It's not coming out of the seam seal. Hmm. That might be. Good lord. I'm having the worst seam seal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit coming out of the seam seal. Just a little bit. Oh boy. Yeah, this you might be able to see. Kind of running. Yeah, okay. Yep. I'm always having this problem. I brought this tarp because it was like the only tarp that uh, I have where the seam seal isn't broken. I guess it, the seam seal's broken. Pretty uneventful night. Haven't seen too many people biking over on the pedestrian bridge over there. Uh, I've heard a couple people walk by or ride their bike by, but it's raining again now, so that's probably done for the night. Because this, I don't think this is supposed to stop. I think this is it. I'm gonna hang out for a little while longer. We you know, wait till it gets dark, <laughs> and uh, I have like one beer left, and set up my hammock and go to bed. I gotta get up super early tomorrow before six. Gotta rush on out of here. So hopefully I won't see anybody jumping out of the woods like I have in the past. But for now, this is it. This is it. Oh, 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 mosquito on the hand. Thermocell's not working yet but I'm glad I have it.
Okay, I think I'm gonna put up my hammock and my bug net and my sleeping pad and my blanket now. Uh, so I don't have to do it later. You know, it's not quite 100% dark yet. It's like 80% dark. Uh, but I think I think now is the time. I know it's supposed to rain more later. It's currently raining, but I have a little bit space under the tarp over here to sit while my sleeping bag and not bag. I, I don't have a sleeping sleeping bag tonight. While my hammock and sleeping pad and bug net and blanket are. Uh, uh, affixed to the tree. So I'm going to do that now. Just set up, you know, I'm just going to set up the majority of my camp. Just, uh, there it is. Got my sleeping situation all set up. My sleeping pad is on its side. That's just to kind of give me more room. It doesn't need to be flat while I'm not laying in it. And it's uh, actually taking up a lot less room than I thought it would have. I probably could have set this up a long time ago and been A-OK. -okay. It's stretching 100% from tree to tree. I'm using the last rung on either of the hammock straps, and it's still a little saggy baggy elephant action going on here. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll be a fine sleep. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna crack my last beer here. Sorry, I gotta hold the camera, or hold the uh, light out of the frame of the camera, because it was up here earlier, and that's like just, a little too spooky sexy. Crack this off camera, because that's just my, what I can do with the light in my hand. Lovely. All right, I'm gonna sip this last beer here. It's barely cold, but still kind of cold. Got some ducks, been some night birds, a couple of frogs here and there. Nothing outrageous, but yeah. Uh, wait, waiting for the rain to pick back up again. It's still, it's just kind of uh, just been sprinkling for the past uh, 20 minutes or so. But it's supposed to go pretty hard all night, so we'll see. We shall see. Well, I'm here, here in my hammy ham. As you can, whoop. The rain has stopped, as you, you can hear, there's no rain happening. Um, we'll see if it starts up again during the night. I'm expecting to wake up to rain as well, so that's going to be really great to pack up in. Uh, but unless anything like totally radical and bodacious happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you guys in just a second. That was, a, that was a decent sleep. The hammock was really saggy, really kind of like banana -y, so it wasn't an amazing sleep. Could have been better. Now it's super early and it's still dark out and I gotta pack up, which is lame. It's about 5.30 a.m. Uh, not looking forward to it, considering it's raining pretty good. Uh, I do have this poncho. I was saving it, saving it for now. I was already wet coming in here, so it's pointless putting it on. Uh, so we still have the poncho, which is nice. But yeah, <laughs> packing up in the rain, baby. Here we go. Oh, jeez. All right, I got most. I got most of camp torn down. Uh, I had to step out twice from underneath the tarp just to stretch my back. I was punched over taking care of everything and I'm drenched from the combined 10 seconds that I was out in there. So this is gonna be fun. I like almost want to just leave this tarp here and get it later. I'm not going to, that, that's lame. Uh, but I want to, it crossed my mind. Now I'm looking up, look at this weird bubble that's formed. Uh, when I was sleeping, I had my lantern and the bug net on the ridge line and pulling it down so this didn't happen last night. But, uh, <laughs> baby so yeah I'll take care of that uh, I'm sitting in my chair right now I'm gonna pack my chair up I'm gonna get my garbage and stuff in order and then I'm gonna quick 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 just tear this tarp down and shove it in a bag and just bring it in a bag I don't even know if I'll have room in my pack maybe we'll see but if not I have an extra bag to carry it because I don't want to I'm not gonna like fold it up nicely it's drenched 
I'm not even gonna take the lines off. I'm gonna just whoop, 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 with the lines on. I'm already wet. Like, what am I gonna get? More wet? Uh, it's starting to get a little bit brighter, uh, which is nice because this is the camera that I'm gonna use to film me getting out of here, and it sucks in the dark. So hopefully you'll be able to see me run out on the trail. Hopefully I don't scare anybody. Although at this point they'd probably have a flashlight, and if they didn't, yeah, that's a little weird. But yeah, I'm gonna finish finish it up here and get out of here. The water definitely raised a little bit overnight. I shoved a stick in the ground to mark like where the water was, and it's uh, it's like. 10 inches to a foot past that. Not like deep past that, but the water is coming up a little bit. I was technically hanging over the water all night, just the way it was. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take care of this bubble and finish packing up. Uh, okay, sorry, I know it's really hard to see me. Uh, this is the best I got. Um, all packed up. I'm walking along the banks of the river now. You gotta get around this water, which is a little bit higher than it was. Good thing I have the muck boots. Once I get out on the trail, I have a light I can use, but I don't wanna use that just yet. Okay, where did I come in? I think right here, maybe. Oh gosh, I can never remember. I think this is it, I mean, whatever. Six to one half does the other, right? Okay, I see when I'm gonna freak out, man. I do not think this is the way I came in, but this is the way I'm going. Oh, jeez. Duh wrenched right now. Okay, gotta be quiet. I mean, they, people can see me, who cares? It's not like, <laughs> it's not like it's a secret. I'm coming out of the woods if anyone were walking by. Not like me not talking would solve that. Okay. Okay, I'm out, of the, I'm out of the bramble for the most part. Uh, caught on nothing. I got a whole line for my tarp leaving the bag. Hang on. Yeah, this is definitely not the place that I came in. That's okay. I'm out. I don't see anybody. And this sucks to walk on. I'm behind this, like, you can't see it, it's too dark like ancient wall. I'm just gonna hop over it here. You can't see it. All right, hopping over the wall. It's ancient wall. It probably used to be the river wall or something. Oh, great. And my crotch is all grimy. Good to go. Good to go. Okay. So far, I don't see anybody. Not freaking anybody out. Okay. Okay, success. Oh. I have successfully exited the woods. Uh, I am so incredibly drenched right now. Okay, well I've made it to the part of the trail that's getting a little bit more light. So the camera can actually see me. Whew, what a whirlwind. It's, uh, it's coming down pretty good. Unlike coming in though, I have this poncho. Although I must say it's it's just another wet thing that I have on. It's not really doing too much. Well, if I'm being honest, this trip was exactly what I wanted. I wanted a nice, super rainy, urban stealth camp. The site was pretty. It was uh, quite, quite a nice night. Had some fast food, had some Genesee brewery brews. I really can't complain, can't complain. But this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget everybody, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday. Don't forget, Tuesday is the day. That's the day to watch Small Plots. Well, any day really, but Tuesday is when they drop. Uh, well, thanks for watching till the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on that, oh my God, what was that noise nasty?
I'm not going to get any closer. I'm going to just get a little bit closer here. Just had a deer hanging out with deer here. Urban stealth camping. Through the trees that way. I think I saw somebody walking. They didn't see me. But yeah, there's a person. Hi there. Hey, Kevin, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Want the trunk open? No, that's fine. Just plop her in here. You can get into a lot of trouble. Yeah. You, you get so buried, buried, you might be stuck there for a month. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, because so, plows can't get up there. Yeah. And yeah, absolutely. People so, are camping out in those areas. Huh. Wow, yeah. And there was somebody, somebody was killed not too long ago. Oh, um, geez. Jeez. There was a woman that shot him, too. Wow. You don't mind driving around for a little while there. No, that's, that's <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> I don't mean to be. No, no, no. rode my bike down here a few weeks ago got a flat tire oh no really <laughs> yeah. yeah i had to walk up you know where you picked me up from all the way back That's no fun. yeah it was all right yeah. it was just like an inconvenience really but because yeah, you can't ride at all you can do is push yep your just, had to, just had to walk my bike all the way home yep Cool. Yeah, whatever works. I'm gonna travel elsewhere anyway. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. So whatever. Uh, thanks for your patience. Yeah, of course. Thanks so much for the trip. <laughs> Take care. Kevin. Take care. We're here. Okay, the Uber just dropped me off. I'm walking through the apartment complex now on the way to my destination. Wonder what these people are thinking if they look out and see me wearing this garb. Already, already getting some looks. These people are just gonna watch me walk into the woods. Hi there. No response whatsoever. Big bus load of people coming down. All right, going down there. Okay, good. I know a lot of college students get apartments here. You're watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Let's jump into these woods right here before more people see us. These people, I'm not even gonna look behind me. I know they're watching me. They're, they've been watching me this whole time. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna stand around with a backpack on in the middle of a parking lot, in the middle of a, an apartment complex. Not really exactly sure where I'm going. Um, hoping to find a spot real soon though. Uh, that Uber driver was, was, was a nice guy. It's good to get some nice Uber drivers. Uh, anyway, here's a pile of poop. Anyone want to identify that? I have no clue. <laughs> Almost looks like a, like a human came. It's those people, those people just straight up saw me walk in. They looked uh, college aged maybe. They weren't speaking English. I said hello and waved and I got no response whatsoever. So I don't know how uh, tolerant they would be to seeing somebody walk in the woods behind where they live. So let's hope they leave me alone, don't call any, any authorities or anything like that. Oh, where am I going? I'm already lost. There's just houses right over there. Like right there.
think this might be the move. I think this might be the move right here. Can't see the trail. Can't see the apartments, can't see the houses. I'm sure when night comes, I'll be able to see some lights, but for now, I think I'm clear. Yeah. It's actually pretty nice back here. Pretty rustic for a stealth camp. Beautiful, there's like ferns, some old growth trees around, some nice old maples, some ash, a, uh, a hunting stand. <laughs> Wonderful, beautiful. One of these days I'm gonna climb one of these hunting stands over here. Yeah, I see a couple of trees that are probably good for hammock. A huge tree over here, that might be too big, we'll see. We'll find out. But this is it, I think this is it. This is kind of perfect, right? Uh, zero to very low percent chance of rain tonight, but I will be setting up a tarp because, you know, of course. Um, but I'm not going to be sitting under it like my last few videos. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to work. I can't, my, I can't get my arms around this. Okay. Can't get my arms around the tree to tie it around. I have to figure something out here. <laughs> yeah. So that tree over there is really thick. And it's taken up a huge portion of my rope, so much so that I can't actually tie it around this side. I'm gonna to have to tie another rope to my ridge line to extend it a little bit, just so I can tie it around the opposite tree. We're camping. I'm gonna use my super stealthy bright neon orange rope. It's sure to alert no one. Oh my gosh, there are prickers everywhere. They're getting caught on the ropes, they're getting caught on my shoes, they're getting caught on my pants. They're just getting caught. It's funny I had to extend this rope probably about seven inches too short to, to tie it uh, without this additional rope. But it's kind of, it's funny, it's like a, a 12 foot rope just for the seven inches extension that I need. I hear people playing basketball right over there. I don't know if the camera's picking up on the boo doo boo 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 doo boo But they're right, they're right over there. Can't see me. I'm safe. Hopefully they can't hear me. Let's see how these straps fare uh, with the girthiness of this tree over here. Not too bad. Through the trees that way. I think I saw somebody walking. It's like maybe down a trail or something. I gotta be quiet. I don't hear anybody walking, but I distinctly saw like a head. My other camera just overheated and shut off right in the middle of me talking, so that's pretty cool. But I think I saw somebody walking that way. It could have been a deer. I don't know why my camera overheated. It's maybe the humidity. I, I don't know. It's like 70 degrees out. Oh, God. Not really sure what happened there. Had my camera overheat. First time this ever happened. It's about 70 degrees out. So uh, I took, I had a, a windshield over it. I took the windshield off. Maybe that has something to do with that. I'm not sure. Maybe it had something to do with the fact that I had the GoPro on like the entire Uber ride here. I don't know, but I switched out batteries. It seems to be doing okay now. Uh, I'm not sure if it cut me off or when it cut me off, but I saw some one or something walking over there. I haven't heard or seen anything since. A terrible time for the camera to turn off. You ever have one of those days where 
everything you do is just kind of met with catastrophe and disaster. I'm having one of those days. There hasn't been too many things that I've tried to do today, whether it be for work or trying to get ready for camping tonight or just general whatever. There's even, I had problems with the Uber app here, cameras shutting off. Uh, it's just a myriad of, of issues all day long, all day. Let's get, them, let's get them all consolidated today. If I'm gonna have problems, let's have the problems all be consolidated today. So tomorrow we can, we can you know, minimize the problems. Yeah. <sighs> Always tough to get out of the hammock during the test leg. Europe. Okay, got it all set up. Got the tarp up, got the bug net, got the hammock, got the sleeping pad in the hammock, ready to go. Whew, it is really strange temperature out here. I got my camera overheating and shutting off. I'm drenched with sweat. I feel like it's about 95 degrees. All uh, instrumentation that I have tells me it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so I can only assume that it's just thick with humidity. That's just what we're dealing with. It's just thick, bog-like humidity. It's been raining non-stop for days, and I, I can kind of see why it's so humid out. But whew, oh man, it is, it is, I, I'm like dripping sweat right now. It's not what I expected to happen here in, in this uh, beautiful 70 degrees early fall day. So I guess uh, let's, uh, I'll take you, take you around a little bit. Sorry if there's any wind noise. Uh, when my camera overheated, I took the, the windshield off of it because it kind of like encompassed the whole camera. So hopefully that keeps it from overheating again. Uh, so sorry if there's any, any wind sound. All right, so, so the first thing you'll notice is that I, I kind of set up this little awning on this side. I wasn't really thinking about it when I did it because my entrance to the hammock is on the other side of the tarp. So I have this nice little spot under here, just in case it rains. But in order to get in, I gotta go all the way around to this side. You know, got my sleeping pad, got the bug net. It's late in the season, but there are still bugs around, especially spiders. It's been a crazy spider year. All right, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how big this tree is right here, because I know it's tough to see from a distance. Jeez. <laughs> I can't like quite put my eyes you see it's a huge tree it's enormous it's like the biggest tree around here that i can see should be a nice relaxing evening uh, i've got some classics tonight to drink and to eat some classics with a twist especially in the eating not so much a twist with the drinking but twist with the eating you'll see you'll see many of you will be very pleased at some of the preparation i have prepared <laughs> to 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 show you today it's highly culinary Got a couple of new toys this trip. I wanna, I wanna show you guys these pants. The fine people over at Hardland sent them to me. That's Hardland. I'll have the link in the description for you guys if you wanna check them out for yourself. Uh, they're just frankly, just some, some fabulous pants. They're, I, I, they look a little baggy on me. I got, I think a size too big. If I went down a size, they'd be a little more perfectly fit, but that's, that's my fault. Uh, they're really great. They dry quickly, which is fabulous because I'm very sweaty right now. Uh, they got these big ol' chunky zippers. You love to see those in the pants, the big ol' chunky zips. The only problem I have with these pants is the way that they, they fasten at the bottom. And that is to say they don't fasten around the ankle at all. They tie, like there's strings to tie it in a bow. I haven't been out here that long. Each leg has already come undone by getting caught on a 
stick and almost tripping me. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's frankly a terrible design choice, especially for such high quality pants. These pants are extremely high quality. They're great in every other way, but ooh boy, that uh, that having a tie around the ankle with a pull string, just, just, well, just, just frankly, it's just terrible. Other than that little, uh, weird quirky design flaw fabulous pants highly recommend it this is my second trip wearing them i will be wearing them for many more trips i'm sure uh buy some pants get some pants people are always asking me about my pants here got got some uh got some official links for you guys to check out some pants Finally time to sit down. Haven't done much of that yet. I think it's time to break into the beverage center here. Got my friend Space Kitty from Rohrbach Brewing, a local Rochester beer. Get a lot of comments asking where people can get Space Kitty. Absolutely nowhere other than Rochester. You might be lucky to find it at like uh, some kind of random warehouse store or something like that, but officially Rochester is kind of, kind of where you can get the Space Kitty. <laughs> There's that cat pee. Smells like cat pee goes down like, well, cat pee. If you like cat pee, which I do, I love it. Kind of undecided on a fire. I, uh, I, I probably can have one. I could definitely get away with having one. It'd be nice, but I'm just so dang hot right now. My camera's overheating and shutting off. I'm overheating. I'm not about to shut off, but I'm, I'm, I'm warm. I'm very warm. I don't know if adding heat to the situation is, is what I want to do right now. I'm going to sit in this chair for a little while, kind of relax. Hopefully it'll cool down. But in the next half hour or so, if I'm still like, <sighs> there's really no reason for me to have a fire other than, you know, it looks cool in the thumbnail, I guess. It was kind of a whirlwind earlier with my camera shutting off and uh, I had another camera on that I, ta I, I talked to about this. Uh, but it was, it was weird earlier when I was setting up and I saw a head go that way. It was a head walk by. Um, I'm not positive it was a person. I didn't hear anything. Um, in fact, the more I think about it, it was probably a deer. I guess, I don't know. It, it, it's creeping me out a little bit, I guess, <laughs> to know that it was possibly a person walking around back here that I only saw for a second and didn't hear at all. It's a little eerie. So I'm gonna go with it was a deer. Just so, you know, just, just, to, just to ease the nerves a little bit. For the eagle-eyed among you, I have been to these woods before, not this exact spot, but elsewhere, not too far from here, in these woods, about a year ago, actually, uh, almost a year to the day, I think like, maybe maybe like a, a week, week and a half uh, short of a year. Not too much has changed. I'm glad I could still get back here, that's always a positive. Uh, there's still the same amount of hunting stands about, that's, uh, that's cool, they don't look in terribly used. They don't really look unused. It's on a... one of them's on a dead tree.
I love this. We're getting into my favorite camping season. Oh, I can't, I can't get enough of camping in the fall. Technically tomorrow is the first day of fall, technically. But by the time this video drops, it will have been fall for, for a week or so. <laughs> oh, geez. Yup, deer. I don't think he sees me. I wonder if that was the one that I saw earlier. The one I saw earlier was like a half hour ago. I don't know. I don't, I'm not picking him up. I definitely, it was 100% a deer. There he is. Oh yeah, he got down on the ground. Yeah, he's, he sees me. I don't even know if he sees me still. Looks like a young one. Are those spots that it's still? Yeah, it's like grown out of its uh, fawn spots still. It's a young deer. Hi there, deer. Hi. You're okay. Hi. All right, there you go. Oh, there's another, there's another one over there. This is what they tell you not to do, right? Approach wildlife. Oh, there's a oh, mini herd, there's three of them. Hi, deer. Is that Papa over there? I'm guessing baby, mom and pops. Oh, you're coming closer. Maybe you're not feeling me next to your fawn. Yeah, look at that little guy. See them next to the normal sized deer, you can definitely tell how much smaller they are. Okay, well you, you guys seem to be pretty chill over here. I guess you're gonna be my roommates for tonight. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna be over, over there. <coughs> oh. Okay, I just wanted to come back and turn my other cameras off. But I'm, I'm gonna, Come back. You got too many opportunities to just have deer kind of live their life right next to you. These guys do not care. I mean, I am in an urban environment, so city deer are a different breed, but usually they run. This is the first time I've ever seen them where they just look at me and they're like, oh yeah, human. All right, cool. Usually they at least book it. Yes, yeah, walk another one walking towards me right now. No worries. I'm cool. I'm not gonna get any closer. I'm gonna just get a little bit closer here. Completely indifferent to me standing right here. Are you one of the guys I saw earlier walking around over here? get too close. I don't think you're rabid, but you might have ticks or some kind of disease. Got the Rona. Looks like dad's a little more wary of me. I'm assuming that's dad. Just a little bit bigger than the other ones. You're just getting closer, aren't you? Hi. Yep, that's Max zoom out. He's just walking towards me. Yeah, just got, just got a, just had a deer hanging out with deer here, <laughs> urban stealth camping. Yeah, you're, a, you're, a, you're on YouTube. You're famous. You're famous now. <laughs> I wonder if I can ride it. I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no idea where these deer just went. I still ha I still got mama right there. I do not know where the family went. They're gone. <laughs> All right, mama, I'll leave you to graze. Oh, there they are over there. See ya.
Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I guess that answers my question. Guess it wasn't a person, it was a deer. And I just, got, I just got to meet him a little bit. That was pretty cool. Never gotten so close to deer in the woods before. Really happy I got that on camera. It's like a, it's like probably like a once in a lifetime experience, right? Where you're just sitting in the woods and you see deer and they're walking towards you and you walk towards them. And they're just like, huh? Oh. <laughs> they were so indifferent. They looked at me, they saw me, they knew I was there and then just continued grazing. They, they must, I wonder if they're like, it's local residents around here feed them or something like that. I've never seen deer not care about people like that. Usually that's not like a great sign, but all three of them were just super relaxed. They didn't look rabid. They didn't have uh, the mange where they're all like furs falling off and stuff. They look like pretty healthy deer. Watch one just crashes through the woods and bites me. <laughs> I'm half expect. I'm probably gonna see these guys later tonight. I think I'm like I might just be like camping where they live, because this area is like perfect for grazing and sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. Huh. Who is this from? Looks like snails really like it. They're freaking out over there. I thought I heard a, a voice. Somebody might be walking through the woods. Yeah, they, they're like getting down on the ground. Somebody might be walking down the trail over there. I definitely hear something. Yeah, there's a person. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but I just saw a person walk by. person just saw a person walk by well that's good to know they were like right there and then they walked that way I'm gonna have to keep my voice down and my eyes peeled it looked like maybe they were walking a dog glad that dog didn't detect me just gonna have to keep my voice down these trails that run through these woods connect to, in a couple spots, to the apartments that I, the Uber dropped me off at, and to the homes over there. Uh, I didn't, I haven't seen it today, but last year uh, I continued walking along this trail, and there's a spur that just straight up leads into somebody's backyard. There's like a posted sign and everything being like, stay out of here. Maybe it was that person, or just someone who lives in the area, or someone looking for a stealth camp. Well, I got this spot. Stay away. Now I'm just gonna sit here staring in this direction. I don't know, I, I, I pointed my camera at where I saw the person, but I wasn't paying atten enough attention to what I was filming to actually know if I got it on camera. I hope I did. Yeah, I all of a sudden feel like extremely exposed. For all I know, they could have seen me. We're trying to walk by fast. <laughs> well, for all I know, somebody else walked by when I wasn't paying attention and I was just talking to the camera, being loud. I did not realize I was that close to the trail. That's not far at all. All they had to do was look to their right and they would have just seen my entire camp set up. This is, this is not a stealthy tarp. That's not a, that's not a tarp. All right, I'm going to sit here and shut up. Wait for it to get a little bit darker start cooking some food, kind of just relax. I don't really need to be talking this whole time. Man, I'm glad I have that bug net. The mosquitoes are really coming out. There's no, a summer, it was like six mosquitoes all summer, and I've already been bitten like five times just sitting here at the end of, uh, end of September. Those deer alerted me. 
He alerted me to a threat. This is, this is a symbiotic relationship. This is what we call in nature a symbiotic relationship. I don't know what I'm giving them. Company? Fame? Hmm. Time to eat. Tonight, I have some Tuna Creations. What a surprise. It's actually been a while since Tuna Creations have been on the channel, but we have a bit of a twist with the Tuna Creations tonight. I'm gonna add something, and that something requires me to chop it up on this cutting board, add it to the package, and put it in a tortilla. That's more work than I normally do, guys, so, you know. Let's keep expectations reasonable. I gotta hurry up and do this. Wow, there's a slug on the top of that. Just hanging out. That's nice. Boo, boo, beep, 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 boo. All right. In here, I have a red onion, a tomato, and a lemon. I'm gonna dice the red onion. I'm gonna dice the tomato. I'm gonna squeeze some of the lemon all into one of my tuna creations packets here and then i'm going to put the whole concoction into here uh i'm actually going to split up the things that i dice into the multiple packets of tuna creations that i have but you get the idea we're actually doing work here tonight on small plots for my meal for once we're actually doing more than just you know for the for the meal and i got again i gotta do this quick because i'm just so illuminated there are houses nearby, there are apartments nearby. Anyone who looks out their window right now is going to see me. I have two production lights on me right now. I'm just completely, in, I mean, you can see, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm illuminated. I've said it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is chop up this onion here. I got this, uh, it's like a <laughs> Walmart knife with a gut hook on it. No big deal. I'm gonna, correct, I'm gonna correctly cut this onion. I'm gonna cut it the correct way. So you might learn something here. So I'm gonna take this half onion. If you don't know the way to cut an onion, this, is a, this was a half uh, starting. It wasn't a full onion. It was, well, that's not the way it was halved. <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it was a half of an onion. So I quartered it, basically. The other two halves have been eaten. They're in my body. So what you're gonna do, take one of the quarters this is not a cooking channel, so you're not gonna get like nice up close views and whatever, but basically what I'm doing is chopping along, chopping along there. So you can kind of see the cuts I've made and just, and you slice it, and you slice it, and you're gonna slice it, and then you're gonna slice it, and you're gonna get slices here, and then that onion turns into diced onion. Boom, there you go. The quartered onion, and you're gonna slice it. And we're gonna slice it. We're gonna get the slice going. That's fantastic. Okay, so we have all the sliced onions we need for this. Need a little bit of a space kitty. All right, now we have a tomato. Oh yeah. Kinda wish I had a better knife for this, but it is what it is. For the tomato, I'm just gonna slice it into slices and dice it up from there. Let me know in the comments if you know a better way to dice a tomato. Ooh, geez, this is just leaking out of my pants. Let's uh, keep it keep it a little better. Leave, leave me uh, a comment if you know a better way <laughs> than slicing a tomato with a dull knife. Only gotta, that's about to just drip anyway. I may as well spill it over here. So I have, I, I don't have a great knife here. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Before coming out, I was like, yeah, that knife seems sharp enough. It's not. It's not sharp enough. There's just so much juice, I gotta empty it out again. There's just juice. Just juice. Yeah, shoulda, shoulda sharpened the knife better. It seemed sharp. It's, I, I, I flicked my thumb against it. And I was like, that'll slice through major. 
right nice. It's not. It's not slicing through any maters, and it's not right nice. Glory! Oh, I gotta... Oh my gosh, it's the liquid just pouring out of this tomato. Good lord. Oh my gosh. This tomato is 100% water. There's not even any tomato left. I don't even know where I stopped dicing. It's just tomato mush. Okay, that's that's all we really need. Just <laughs> some tomato mush. I'm stealth camping right now. Oh my gosh. Jeez, weeds, just pouring liquid. Okay, well that's... There you have it now, don't you? Okay. So I have two different types of tuna creations. I have Thai chili style, and I have buffalo. I'm gonna start with the Thai chili style because frankly, oh my gosh, hold on, let me get this, let me get some more of those juices before they, I, my pants still have, I don't know if you can see that, still have juices, but I'm trying to mitigate that as best I can. I'm gonna slice this lemon and Drip, drip a little of that in there as well. Uh, we're gonna find out how it mixes with the buffalo. It's not gonna be nasty, it just might not be like the best, you know? So here we go. You could do this at home or camping. All right, so I'm gonna take some onions and put them right in there. Oh, you know what I should have done? And I meant to do, and I'm just now really realizing I didn't? I wanted to bring just a, a, a dollop of mayonnaise, just a dollop of mayonnaise to put in here and mix around with it would do wonders. But I don't have the dollop of mayonnaise. I have ju just juicy tomato mush and onions. Oh geez, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my spork. I didn't bring my spork. I'm unprepared. I gotta get my spork. Got the spork. Got tomatoes and onions in the Thai chili. Tuna Creations pouch. I'm just gonna kind of just ease them around, you know. It's not a, not a hard mix. More of just an ease easing, just kind of gently mix. Again, would be better with a dollop of mayonnaise. That's my fault. I was planning on bringing that, and I'm now just remembering that that was part of the plan. And it's not something I did. But you know what? I don't need the calories. I'm I'm fat enough. So that's fine. Oh my gosh, just it's still juicy. Just get the juice. Just get the juice out of here. This is how you get raccoons. All right, now usually I kind of split up a tortilla for a couple of tuna creations, but because I'm doing such a crazy mix in this bag, I'm just gonna do one bag to one tortilla. I think that's appropriate. Uh, yeah, um, I guess just this way on my leg, we're gonna do it. Let me, maybe like, yeah, in the, I need, I need kind of a fold. I'm gonna use the crevice of my legs as, as the, uh, to, to, to house the natural fold of my folded tortilla that was in my pack. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot a major ingredient. I can do, I can still use, I can still put it on there, but I have completely forgot about the, the, the lemon squirt huh forgot about the lemon squirt found it okay here it is move the mushed tomatoes moved the perfectly diced onions now one thing you want to do this this lemon seems pretty juicy but a tip at home if you want to get a juicy lemon uh, take it in your hand like this I'm, I'm not gonna do it here but I'll demonstrate it roll it on a counter or something, really juice it up. I'm just gonna do this here. Just kind of juice it up. Kind of just juices it pretty good. Gets everything on the inside just ready to squirt. I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take this seed that's ready to fly out. I'm just, oh, okay, it's, it's under me now. I'm sitting on it. It's gonna squirt it a little bit on. It's just, I think it's gonna, you know, it's really gonna bring out the flavors. Here we go. Nope, oh, this one. That one has seeds ready to go. Just a little squeeze of lemon. You know, it's not like a huge thing. Just a squeeze. 
probably half a lemon would be good for like a few of them, not just the one. All right, so I'm gonna tighten in the sides. This is tough to do one-handed with a stale tortilla, but I'm gonna tighten in the sides, kinda, kinda roll it up like that. And there you go, and here we go. I can't complain about that. If you're a longtime subscriber, you've seen me eat tuna creations before, but never like this, never with added ingredients, with a zest of lemon, well, it's not the zest of lemon, just lemon juice. That's pretty good. On the Thai chili. I'm not so convinced it's gonna translate well to the buffalo, but we'll find out in a minute here. Again, a touch of mayonnaise, I think it might kick it up a notch. Just that tang. But without the mayonnaise, it's still fantastic. That was a fine meal. Okay. I got a couple more tuna creations left. I might just have this one more. That one full packet of tuna creations in the tortilla with the tomatoes, with the onions. Really, I kind of feel satiated. The only reason I'm doing a second one is because I want to show you guys, it's probably going to be nastier with the buffalo. The Thai chili, I feel like, lends itself more to additional ingredients, whereas the buffalo, buffalo as a flavor is more all encumbering. You know, there's 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 not too much uh, leeway with the flavor of buffalo. It just kind of makes everything taste like buffalo. So I'm gonna try to put some onions and attemptedly diced tomatoes, ended up being smushed tomatoes in here with a dash of lemon. A good raw onion does you well. I'm gonna make up a vitamin that red onion has in it right now. And I think you can really get a good uh, amount of uh, vitamin yuck with the, with, the, with the red onion. Vitamin yuck, not yuck, gyuck, gyuck, like G-H-Y-U-C-K. What am I looking for? Just gush, just gush it out, just move the contents onto the tortilla, just gush the tuna right out. This is basically what we're working with here. That's buffalo tuna with tomato, lemon juice, and onions. Very sloppily, very, very sloppily. That's how they do it at Chipotle, probably. My hypothesis was correct. The onions, tomato, and lemon neither add or subtract anything from the buffalo, as the buffalo is all encumbering. It's good. This is not, the extra work doesn't really add anything. What I'm, what I'm probably gonna do is just shove all this back into uh, the Tupperware that I brought and just put it, put it in a wrap t tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna scarf this right down and continue on with the night. Well, it's been a fun night. Been hanging out, relaxing. Uh, nobody's been walking by, at least that I've noticed. It's just been just really nice. There, there's only so many nights left this year before we can get out with a big jacket and a hefty down sleeping bag. Speaking of down. Uh, the good people at Get Out Gear sent me this blanket to have uh, to to help, to help me keep warm tonight. It's supposed to get down to the to the low 50s tonight, so this should be just the trick. Can't wait to try out this new blanket from Get Out Gear. Check out the link in the description. Oh yeah, that's right. We got two links in the description for different products. This video, get ready. <laughs> get Out Gear, baby. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty pumped to check this out. I actually packed up this blanket like way better than the factory. Usually it's the opposite way, but like the way the fact, the way that sent to me was fine. But I packed it up even, even tighter, even smaller than it came. Like just, it was basically like a can of beer, right? <laughs> wow. 
Well, I can't see anything. This is gonna be cozy. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a cozy night. Nothing. Nothing new to report, other than this. Uh, this. This nice blanket here. This down. This down filled blanket from Get Out Gear. Link in the description. Uh, it's uh, been pretty quiet. Just hanging out. Very full. Ate a lot of tuna. Had one more pack of tuna. Ended up not eating it. I'm fine. I don't. I, 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 my, I don't need it. I don't need the. I don't need the pack. The deer never came back. Never, 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 never heard from my deer buddies again. Um, I've heard some woos. Uh, there's construction for a while ha happening over there. That I don't, I don't know what was going on there. Construction that lasted between the hours of 7:30 and 9:30. Just typical construction hours. Um, yeah. Really nice night. I'm looking at. I can see some stars, even here. Uh, in the uh, in the city, it, it is the edges of the city. Uh, it's nice, uh, about two or three stars going on there. Nice night. Is this red freaking you out, man? Are you intimidated by the color red? It's cool, I'm just trying to stay chill. Dog. My dogs, my dudes. Well, the, uh, the temperature is definitely dropping a bit. It was, it was never, the temperature was never the problem, it was the humidity. And the temper, the sun going down means that it's just, uh, just did, it's just going right down. I got my thermal on, my, uh, not thermal, my, uh, flannel. It's not thermal at all. The thing I'm saying here is just be aware. It's not controversial, I don't think. Just be aware. Just nobody, everyone, just stop freaking out. Nobody needs to freak out here. I'm just trying to say that in the morning I need to be aware. See, I think it's very important that at the end of the day, the thing that... <sighs> well, it's been a fun night. I'm hanging out. No campfire. Just hanging out in the dark. Just the, the clean dark but I forgot I brought a snack I got uh, sour punch it's uh, pineapple mango chili straws I have a little look see here hey oh no okay here we go oh, there's a few more straws than I imagined they're kind of smooshed together they're like that's all like a mass of straws I got, I'm gonna have to oh they're so sticky oh man here Pretty good. I don't know where the chili comes in. There you go. Pineapple, mango chili. Oh, there is a little heat right at the end there. Interesting. Cool. The perfect thing to eat before bedtime. Just a bunch of sugar. I'm gonna chow down on these suckers. Uh, but yeah, unless anything insane happens in the middle of the night like deer trampling through my sight i will see you guys in just a second something's something's walking around out there Beast of the night. The train's going off. And at the same time, some animals screaming over there. Of course, both stopped by the time I grabbed the camera.
not a bad sleep. Slept pretty well last night, can't complain. Uh, nothing really to report in the night. I heard something coming up on me. That ended up being nothing. Uh, no sign of my dear friend roommates. I uh, wonder what they're up to. I was hoping to catch uh, breakfast with them. Somewhere at a diner or something. Oh well. I'm sure they're around. I'll catch up. I'll catch up. Uh, it's a little later than I would have liked to have gotten up. It's about 8 o'clock a.m. right now. So I got get up and get out. Still uh, undecided. I'm probably going to catch an Uber home. We'll see. I'm, I'm about an hour walk from home. Um, I may just do that instead. Save the money and get a little exercise. We'll see. The only thing stopping me is the uh, shortest way home is directly through a college campus. And it's like walking around looking like you're homeless through a big crowd of people is like not exactly ideal, but I don't care really. <laughs> I don't really care. I only care a little. Uh, it's not not a significant amount. So I'm going to contemplate that. Oh, I got to... There's like a hundred little... Whatever you call them. Pill bugs, potato bugs. On the inside of my... Uh, kind of on the outside, but... Like... <laughs> these are all like baby potato bugs. I don't know like if there was a hatch... A hatching... Um, but they're, they're, t they're everywhere. I'm going to have to shake those off. I'm not bringing those home. Uh, that was pretty easy. Yeah. Beautiful morning. Hate to leave, but I gotta leave. Because, I mean, people... People might see me the longer I stay, right? That's, that's kind of the rule. My new blanket worked out fantastic. I think I got down to the uh, lower 50s, upper 40s last night. And I was toasty warm. by or walked by quickly. It was definitely a person, not a deer. It was right as I was crinkling like a, a shopping bag too. They must have heard it. wonder if they saw me and, and you know, this red thing and uh, ran. Because I looked up and I just saw like a dark, like the tail end of a dark figure. It was a standing up figure just running. Nope, I'm getting out of here soon, so whatever. Almost done being packed up. Just got my hammock and bug net and ridge line and chair. And I'm out of here. These people are starting to catch on, I think. Looks like a, a slug or a snail found their way onto my bug net last night. I guess uh, this is a, a well-needed bug net. I don't know if you could just see the mosquito flying in front of the camera. They're out. It's getting chillier, but they're out. And that would have been on my face if it weren't for the bug net. Well, I'm all packed up, ready to get out of here. Got the site all clean, no trash, didn't have a fire, don't have to worry about that. No ridge lines, no squirrel fancies. You know, squirrel fancies. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> guess I'm guess I'm more tired than I thought. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I think I'm gonna hail an Uber. Uh, I, there's like just things happening that I need to get home to deal with. If you know what I'm saying, uh, and <laughs> having a nice little hour walk is 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 is, uh, is gonna make that much more difficult on me. So I'm gonna jump out to the woods here. I'm actually gonna take a little different way on the trail. I'm not going to head back towards the apartments where I came in. Uh, I think there's another exit to these woods that's a little more low-key. I think I'm going to jump out there and then walk up to the road and and, and call the cab. So let's, let's go do that right now. Goodbye, small plot. You've been a wonderful small plot. Mwah. Oh, no. I'm always so red. I mark up so easily. Okay, which way do I want to go? Actually, I don't know if this is the best way. I think maybe if I go this way. Oh, really nice spot over here. The sun coming through. Looks majestic. Okay. Here we are walking out onto this trail that I've already seen a couple of people. Well, one today and one yesterday. 
but it is used. It's a used little foot trail. So I might just scare somebody walking their dog or something. Okay, looks like we're safe so far. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Walking down this little trail now through the forest, and then I'm gonna pop out onto another trail that's actually more heavily used than this, but at least it's not an apartment complex parking lot like where I came in and I said hi to those people and they just looked at me. You know, the same thing's happening to me today that was happening yesterday, where the temperatures are low and I'm sweating. Barely, barely even moving. I'm just sweating. It's like 58 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And I'm like, probably gonna take this beanie off. Whoo, let the dome breathe. Okay, walking out under this other trail here. Looking good. It's a well-traveled trail. I mean, I saw a couple people, so no surprises there. I don't see anybody else out on this larger main trail. Not a soul. Not a soul at all. Had to take a little side tour here into this, uh, this little side path into this big beautiful forest. I wanted to check up on this weird thing here. I saw this a few months ago, it's in the video. I can't actually, maybe in, the, in April or so, something. I'll, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put the link in the description, but it was just, it was much bigger. It had a roof. It was much more involved. Looks like they've downscaled, got a little fire pit going um, with, you know, unburned garbage in it. That's pretty nice. Well, I just wanted to check up on this thing, you know, for old time's sake of uh, six months ago. I think I've decided I'm, I'm just gonna walk home. Uh, I'm kinda, my feet are kinda muddy, my pants are a little wet from walking out of the forest. And I don't wanna get in anybody's car. Sorry for the noise, I picked a, a great place to, to try and talk right above the expressway. But uh, yeah, not too much farther of a walk anyway. I'm about to walk to a college campus. That'll be fun. Oh, I've got like a homeless campus sitting down there. Weird. Well, it was a really nice camp. Had some space kitties, had some tuna creations, real small plots, classic adventure. Nobody saw me, although people did get close. Had a nice magical deer encounter. That's a once in a lifetime opportunity. That doesn't happen every day. So that's, that was just kind of nice and magical. But this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, new episode Tuesday. Don't forget, everybody, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 Eastern Time. Uh, I do a lot of stealth camping. I do some not so stealth camping, just regular in the woods camping. You know, sometimes I'll walk around the city and just point at stuff and talk about it. It's every, every once in a while, I'll do one of those. Uh, you know, little random things here and there. But thanks for watching till the end here, everybody, and I'll catch you on that, oh my god, it's so magical nexty. Mwah. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, outside for another little stealth camp today. As you can see, it's kind of rainy. It's not actually raining currently. It's supposed to rain tonight, so that'll be nice. A nice uh, autumnal stealth camp in the rain. That'll be, that'll be nice, that'll be nice, huh?
you think I look like I'm going camping? Does it, does it look like I'm going camping at all, do you think? I don't know, I think I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty low key. I'm looking like I'm going camping. I'm here today with my buddies, Sean and James. Say hi, Sean and James. Say hi to the camera. Yeah, you guys know Sean and James if you've been uh, around on the channel for a little while. We like to go camping together sometimes. And today we're going stealth camping together. It's gonna be fun and wild. Press their button. Press their button. Ooh, anyone else smell natural gas? Yeah, I yes. Smell natural gas. I need to smoke some. In abundance. <laughs> so you need to smoke some natural gas? I need to smoke something here. Oh, so it explodes? So we die. <laughs> so, we die. <laughs> so we explode and die. Okay, so we're leaving the road now, and there's a path up here that's going to lead us to where we're camping tonight. It's gonna be wild and good and fresh. Wild. I love the beautiful fall foliage. It's quite nice. It's pretty wild and good. We're not quite at peak. A couple days, maybe a week or so, we'll be at peak. Hopefully next video will be will be a peak trip. Uh, but we're almost at peak, so it's still still pretty gorgeous. Okay, we're uh we're about to leave the trail. Nobody's out, we haven't seen a single soul. Like I said, it's been raining all day. Uh, it's in the upper 50s, so it's not too cold, but it's just been windy and raining all day and it basically stopped as soon as we came out to camp. So that's convenient for this walk. And nobody, nobody stopping us. Oh, the tire tracks, relatively fresh. Okay, yeah, this is it. So I guess let's just go in, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, way better than a few months ago. We've been to this spot before, if you want to go back a few months. Uh, it was when we camped in Poison Ivy. But we're going in a different way than when we went in that time. Oh, geez. Yeah, beautiful forest. Oh, God. It smells good back here. Ooh. Okay. It smells like uh, autumnal joy. Ooh. It's pretty wild and good. Of walking through this long thin stretch of woods here to the site that we had last time because that was pretty decent and spacious wild and good getting closer Here's a big tarp on the ground here. Remember this from somebody's camp from a long time ago. I think this is where we camped, yeah. Nice. This is it. It's a beautiful little clearing here in the woods. It's gonna be a nice night, wild and good. So the first thing I'm noticing is that uh, I don't really have a great spot to set up my hammock. Last time I was here, I was in a tent and I almost want to do one of these trees over here to this tree right here. But these vines, these vines right here are poison ivy vines. So I won't be doing that. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to camp just a little bit away from these guys. Not far, not far. This actually right, right over this person's tarp right here might be the move. Oh no, this is a dead ash tree. Never mind, not going to use that. Uh oh. Huh. All right, I think I found some okay trees. Not great trees, not trees that I would pick if I had my druthers, but I don't have my druthers, so I'm picking them anyway. I uh, got this, you can't see them, they're too off. Oh, yeah, that one, okay, that's one of them. Uh, that little fella right there. Uh, the challenge is trying to find trees that are far enough apart and not dead and not covered in poison ivy vines. I think these two fit that description, so that's the best I can ask for here. Uh, so I'm going to get my stuff set up, uh, probably set up a tarp for us to hang out under, uh, get a fire going, get to camping. This tree right here is going to be interesting to put the hammock straps on because it's not like a normal round tree. It's kind of got some branches and stuff. We'll see how it works out. I don't think I've ever hung a hammock on a tree quite like this before. Oh, I beefed it. I twisted it around. I didn't mean to do that. I... Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> can you believe it here in the fall? Yeah. Kind of something like that, I guess. I don't know. Seems dirty. Got my uh, my typical wise owl backyard hammock here, double wide. Tried, trusted, and true. Wild and good. That's pretty wild and good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wild and good. a little bit higher on this side and I think we got a hammock here folks. <laughs> well that's just darn cozy. Hopefully this tree branch doesn't break up here. I can probably tie my ridge line to the smaller branch here. It doesn't have to hold human weight. Professional setup. Well, rain's starting to come down. Starting to rain. Good thing I'm getting my tarp up. All right, I'm basically set up for the night here. Let me give you a little tour of the digs. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I decided against a bug net tonight, at least for now, for hanging out and it seems particularly buggy, spiders, mosquitoes, whatever, I'll, I have a bug net to put on if I need it. But I kind of just like sleeping out in, in nothingness, you know? I mean, obviously with the tarp, it's going to rain, but uh, other than that, just, it's just to total nothingness. Total darkness, no protection. Really connect with nature. Uh, usually uh, the sleeping bag, especially in a setup like this, where I am not using a bug net, the sleeping bag goes up last, or at least a few minutes before bed, so that doesn't give all the creepy crawlies opportunity to crawl inside my sack. We don't want that. 
It looks kind of dipped, but that's just because of the sleeping bags weighing it down in the middle. Should be a pretty flat lay tonight. You can kind of see it's diagonal to get the, the flattest possible lay imaginable. And we'll finish up here and uh, probably break into the beverage center. Just heard something over there. I wonder what that is. Gunshot or something? I don't know. We're going to... Something's coming up on us. I don't know. Definitely not supposed to be here. <laughs> It's pretty woodsy, it's pretty rustic, but the size of the woods we're in is tiny. It's, uh, you can see behind me there, that's the edge of the woods. And then behind me over here, that's the edge of the woods again, just on the other side. So like a long, narrow strip of forest. You can probably hear the expressway over there. Uh, there's uh, the train going by over there at points, so that's kind of going to be loud. It's going to be a loud night, but uh, should be relatively relaxing. <laughs> ow, ow. All right. All right where am I standing? Then? Wherever. Can I well, be, I was standing there and you stood in front of me. Oh, sorry. Well, I just wanted to make sure we can all <laughs> get in. in frame. Yes. My in see frame. You yeah. Anybody in there? All right. Yeah. Um, that's pretty. That's probably pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I hope the focus is on me. Right, right in the center. You're the one that's pinched in the fish eyes. Yeah, right. Well, I look smaller. Uh, a little bit. A right? little bit. Yeah. Like See, doesn't that look like you're like way farther away from me it than does. right next to me? This is actually the least amount of fish eye the camera can do. It can go way more fish eye than this. <laughs> All right, um, let's roll in. Let's back up just a little bit so we get in that camera. I think we're good. Let me, let me just double check. I did it. Well, here we are, about to break into the beverage center. James, you want to start off with your beverage center uh, drink? We got a new one today. New one. Space Kitty. Never oh. seen Space Kitty before. What? That's true. Totally new. Totally new. <laughs> you pat your patent it. <laughs> <laughs> No, space space, I actually got some Space Kitty too. I'm not starting with Space Kitty, but I got I got the I got the Space Kitty. I will never bring Space Kitty. No, you hate Space Kitty. I don't like Space Kitty. I love it. It's not good. It's my go-to every it's time. Yeah. Really great and cheap. Uh, wild, wild and wild, good. Wild and good. <laughs> wild, 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 wild and good. It was wild and good. All right, Sean, what do you, what do you got rocking? Oh, I'm, I have a K2 Brothers uh, brewing a Mosaic Hazy IPA. They're normally known for their sours. Yeah. So I'm excited to try this, you know. I like the good, good old boys down in Webster, New York. Yeah. The, yeah. the colors are almost kind of like what we're dealing with here all yeah, around us. Yeah, yeah. Like green. a fall mosaic. Yeah. Uh -huh. Green, orange, and yellow, and black. I'm excited. Uh, brown, whatever. <laughs> all right. Well, I got a, a new one. It's a little bit of a weird one. It's from a, a brewery that I actually hate a lot. But I'm going to try this. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. It's from Goose Island, which you guys probably know Goose Island. It's everywhere. It's a very mediocre IPA. Uh, this is Tropical Beer Hug, Imperial IPA. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's a nice, I like, I like the pink and the turquoise. Uh, Sean and I had the, the hazy beer hug a few yeah. weeks ago, and it wasn't bad. I was, was like, okay. hey, was okay. for, yeah, for, for a Goose Island beer, this isn't bad, so well, I'm going to try the Tropical was Beer the Hug. Was the hazy 9.9 .9 like no, that is? No, this is 9.9. .9. The hazy was like 7.8 yeah, right? or something like okay. that, yeah. So that's what I'm starting out with. Like two of those. Yeah. yeah, right. So I got this and four space kitties. <laughs> Bottoms up, boys. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. It's actually pretty good. Ooh, that's good. That's hazy. That's Ooh. hazy, baby. Ooh, that's hazy. I can taste the hazy. Yeah, that yes. not, doesn't taste too alcoholic. Surprisingly no? so. No, not too bad. I would expect it tastes just like poop. Well, it's a little like poop because it's Goose Island, but other it's than a tropical, it's. Do you have any citrus? Do you taste any citrus? Mm. A little citric. Mm. Kind of just tastes like a hazy IPA, if I'm being honest. Okay. It says a beach vacation for your taste buds. Well, I'm going to need a vacation for my taste buds after drinking a Goose Island beer. I'll tell you what. <laughs> cha cha cha. Oh. All right, we're going to drink. We're going to drink these boys off. We're going to start get some wood, get a fire going. Hasn't started raining yet. The uh, chance of rain is, is dwindling, so may not see rain at all. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. We'll find fingers, out together. Fingers crossed. Fingers, guys. Fingers, fingers. fingers crossed. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's memorable. I'm going to get comments about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're ready to start the fire. Right there, we got kindling, 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 slightly bigger kindling, bigger boys, bigger boys. Yeah, we're set. We're set to start a fire with all this wet, wet wood. Yeah. I'm gonna need these gloves to start the fire, James.
Okay, time to start a fire. We got all this wood processed up, all this kindling, all that nice hardwood. We're gonna have a nice fire tonight. So I got a buttload of, of birch bark here because everything's really wet. I wanna make sure that the birch bark will, you know, work. So here we go. Can I just reiterate how much more superior birch bark is for starting fires than literally anything we've ever Anything tried. else, unless the camera couldn't pick up what James just said. He was just commenting on how literally there's nothing better than birch bark for starting a fire. It's yeah. better than kerosene, which yeah, we have is. tried. Yeah, it's better than kerosene. Like, yeah, seriously. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, get all over that, get all over that chaos. Fire oh. loves chaos. So do I. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> so even though it's wet all these little spaces for the flame to go oh it loves the chaos it loves the chaos shout out to corporal's corner who uh, we're quoting a fire loves chaos <laughs> that's, a, truth, that's, a, that's a corporal's corner line yeah i think about it every time i start a fire and it helps me make better fires mm -hmm. i'm not making fun of them it like help it like helps me slightly bigger guys on in a second I'm going to let it uh, kind of burn a little bit longer than normal just because everything is pretty wet. But that's looking pretty that's good so yeah, far. No, it's, yeah. it's looking good. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I'm happy with this. Not too bad, right? There's still birch bark burning. Yeah, yeah, there's still birch bark in yeah. there. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, all that moisture coming off. Mm. It's hard to tell with the camera. Like, it looks like it's not looking at it's it. It's okay if you're on the show. <clears throat> We're all here. We're all here. We all want to see you. All right. So... <laughs> Am I in the shot? <laughs> You're good to start putting some bigger things on. Oop. Gotta give it the chaos it desires. Oh. Yeah, these bigger guys are a little wetter, so they're gonna take. They're kind of putting it out a little bit. Oh, oh we got some good breakthrough in there. Yeah, good. Put one of the dry innards. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, I can't one stick it. I wouldn't dare. It's a Joe Rabinette line. I wouldn't dare. Right, all, all, all the campers. All the campers. And there you have a fire. Beautiful pink sunset. The clouds are parting. It's actually raining right now, but there's a nice beautiful sunset over here that we want to go check out. Yeah, it's the, the wind's picking up, the rain's coming down. But man, we can't help ourselves. We have to go look at this. Oh my glory to goodness. There's the bulletin board, or the, the billboard rather. It's raining. This is, this is this is the point in the night where it's actually like raining pretty good. That's looking pretty good. So pretty. Uh, Look at that. Isn't that romantic? It is. The blue sky mixed in there with the oranges, yeah. and it's getting blown out on the camera. But it's real. Ooh, there we go. Come on. Are you kidding me right now? By the way, open to space, kitty. I don't know, see, yeah, the expressway down there. You guys just wanted to, to just hang out down there. And that's true, J that's true. J James was the catalyst of us coming up here. And I'm glad we did because it's, it's starting to, it's setting, it's starting to get darker as we speak. Really nice. Also, guys, if you are injured. Oh. Call, call that guy. There you have it.
All right, Sean's starting starting the cooking process. Oh yeah, baby. Bacon in his pan. You know how Sean does it. You know it. how I do it. With you the you bacon. know how Sean does it with the bacon in the pan. Yeah. He that, that that's kind of his thing with the pan it and is. the bacon. Don't talk smack. You know, I got something that's really gonna blow your mind tonight, guys. It's something that you're never gonna think that I'm ever gonna cook. So. You know, get ready for that in a little while. Tuna. It starts with a G <laughs> and ends in Lizzie's. <laughs> All right, so Sean cooked his bacon, and within Ooh. the bacon grease, he has a, was it buffalo chicken sausage? Buffalo chicken sausage, that's baby. Look, that's looking pretty good. How, how's that treating oh, you? Oh, it's Fried so good. It's so bacon-y bacon and buffalo-ish. One and, of those. Oh, man. I'm, I'm gonna make another one. I cooked three slices of bacon, so I got other bacon waiting. Oh, nice! Got them bacon waiting. <laughs> hey! And and, uh, and yeah. James has some water boiling for his. Uh, he's gonna make some breakfast burrito kind of deals with this uh, dehydrated mountain house, mountain house <laughs> breakfast skillet. Putting it burrito in burrito filling. Burrito filling. <laughs> so he's gonna fill it into some burritos, and. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm gonna make food in a minute here. I need some coals. You know me, I like to cook on the coals. So I need some good coals to start forming up before I, I get cooking. But it's, it's imminent, it's imminent. I'm getting hungry. Uh, I got I got a whole block of cheese for no reason. I'll eat that maybe, but I got my meal coming up. You'll never guess what it is. It's never been featured on small plots before. You you can't even imagine what it's gonna be. You're gonna, it's gonna freak you out, you guys. It's gonna blow your mind. We're glizzy popping. Popping some glizzies. Here we go. <laughs> get it, just get it up, get up, just get it up, just get it up. Can't, can't be one, can't be one glizzying it. There we go, we got some glizzies on the coals. Gonna cook them up. And I have one single, where is it, tortilla? There's some cheese, don't worry about that little guy. I have one single tortilla. Well, I'm gonna break it up into fourths. But that's so you little. Say anything, I, I don't need any more. I don't. I don't need any more. I have, all that's I need so is one. That's ridiculous. It's not. You could have had an extra. Well, maybe, but I think I'm good with the one. So we got the glizzies rocking. I have more as well. I'm you're ridiculous. I'm. Uh, you guys are so offended that I, I only brought I one tortilla. <laughs> Little tortilla to hot dog ratio. Well, I, I, I put it in a fourth and I have four. That's a fourth of a, <laughs> of a taco tortilla. For the size of these hot dogs, that's all you taco need. Taco size tortilla. Yeah, but these are little dogs. They're not like big sausages. They're small, regular right. Oscar Mayer, like glizzies. You know I what I'm saying? Yeah, we're all right. Well, James is out of here. <laughs> See, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this into fourths, little triangles. Each one is big enough for a hot dog. These guys don't know what they're talking about. I've done this a thousand times. One tortilla. One tortilla. Think of the calories, Sean. Punishing himself on Christmas. There. This is all you need for one hot dog. You don't need anything more. I got four. It is the bare minimum. We're ultra lighting it. Cause I don't. What do I need? Like a whole like loaf of bread to eat them. That's all I need. Look at these guys. How dare you judge me? All right, here's one glizzy per quarter of tortilla. What, what, what more do you need? That's what more depressing. do you need than that? That's perfect. It's, it's. I mean, yeah, it's depressing. I didn't say it wasn't. I'm just saying, what more do you need? It's bare minimum. We're ultra lighting it here. This is, hot sauce No, I, I enjoy the taste of the glizzy. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Elizabeth. Delicious. Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pop these glizzies. I am. We're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure. What? Yeah, I'm not gonna you know, fill them every glizzy, cause like you I mean you get the picture. Here it is. Just picture this four more times, or three more times. I got glizzy juice all up on me. That's not great, but. I've eaten them all, and the tortillas were sufficient. Yeah, in fact, I wish I had less tortilla. That's how I feel about that. I just dripped it all over myself. All right, time time for an adventure. Ah, uh, ah! I was breaking some twigs, and I got caught right there. Sean's a nurse. He's gonna clean me up. He's gonna clean me up so good. We need to go to the emergency room. All right, we're on a little journey here. Hopefully you can see me. I'm only being lit up by the billboard lights. 
There we go, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. It's very light out here, by the way. It's, it's tough to tell on camera, but it's pretty lit up. This whole area is lit up pretty well by the billboard. Look at the look at the boys. Yeah. Look at that. This whole area is just completely illuminated. <laughs> wow. Look at the helicopter up there. Oh yeah. It's a bit, bit of a helicopter action. There's another billboard over there. There's the expressway right there. And our camp is in there. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice pretty indeed. Pretty nice. The the leaves look really great on camera, I gotta say. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, there's the barns for <laughs> <laughs> it's time for cheese. Mm. All right, I got this uh, McAdam sharp cheddar cheese. Uh, I've never had this before. It was at my local bodega, and it was new for them. They had never have, had had it stocked, so I decided to grab it. It's New York cheddar cheese sharp as you can see it was uh 13.99 is it aged yeah i mean sharp i think implies aged i don't know necessarily. it doesn't necessarily it doesn't say aged anywhere on it i don't think but it's new york state certified all right the the maiden cheese in no way would i consider this sharp cheese it's decent it's okay it's pretty good you know but i don't know why they call it sharp it's, it's really i mean it's like like one percent sharp maybe it's really corners. it's really not that yeah yeah they're they're rigid corners so i guess that's the sharpness right there it's okay i'm gonna eat some more i mean a lot more regardless here let's uh Great shot. Yeah, it's a wonderful shot. I know. Shot. There we go. It's truly the shot of the ages. This is, good this is fantastic content. Yeah. I mean, it's cheese. I don't know why they stocked this. Yeah, it's okay. It's pretty good. It's all right. It's not something I would serve to a king or a queen. Or really anyone but oh yeah it's fine what is this uh what is the name of the brand macadam macadam it's fine it's just not sharp it says it specifically says sharp and it's just really it's really not sharp at all it kind of enrages me if i'm being honest i'm in a, a, a heated rage right now mm. I'm gonna keep eating it. I mean, it's good, good, good cheese. It's fine. It's fine cheese. It's just not that good of cheese. Well, it's been a fun night, and I think the only thing left to do is to eat some more of this cheese and then go to bed. I don't think there's any other option for me at this point. Just to eat cheese and then, and then go to bed. What is this, cheese? Kinda. It's cheese. That's my review. It's cheese.
Well, it's been a fun night hanging out around the campfire, chilling and having it just be so uh, uh, wild and, and great, wild, wild and good. So it's time for bed. Got my sleeping bag out here. No bug net or anything like that. Uh, spiders were kind of coming down on us on the campfire, so we'll see how that works for me tonight. Sorry, the lights all in the shot and stuff. Anyway, unless anything like totally like rocking and bodacious happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you guys in a second. Really great sleep last night. Slept really solidly. It wasn't too cold. I mean, it got cold, but I wasn't cold. It's was probably in the upper 40s, or lower 40s rather, upper 30s. I think we're near like a quarry or something, because occasionally there are just these loud explosions, I guess you'd call them. That's what they sound like. It's hard to tell exactly. Just loud sounds like burn. So I kept happening in the train was loud. Other than that, fantastic sleep. But uh, we do have to get <laughs> we do have to get out of here. So we're gonna pack up and well, then we're gonna get out of here. So that'll be that'll be nice. Jeez, Louise. Basically all packed up, ready to get out of here. Campsite's looking fine. It's looking good. It's looking wild and good. I would, I do say, I do believe, wild and good. We're just gonna jump out the way we came in, not anticipating any issues. I was not expecting to see this. So uh, let's get to it. Let's get out of here. Huh? Glory. Your eyeball. Yeah, good lord. This forest loves doing that. Just Hulk smash through. Yep, just got a Hulk smash through. Huh. Alright, here we go. Alright, nobody's out here. That's that's fine. Whew, warm. Whew. Okay, so there's a... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh. We're very visible now, so we need to keep walking. Yeah. So we're just going to walk right through this? I guess so. What is happening? I do not know what is happening. I was not expecting to see this. Oh, maybe. Did somebody fall in or something? This is not what you expect to see out here. No, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Hey. Hi there. Something happening in the canal? A little training exercise. Oh, training. Oh, that's, that's a relief. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, just a training exercise. We're worried somebody had fallen into the canal over there or something. Yeah. Okay, well that was a weird 
interesting to walk out to. <laughs> the least stealthy exit ever. Just <laughs> EMTs and fire trucks and just random people everywhere. Not expecting that. Absolutely did not expect that. You were right. Well, then you're just contradicting yourself. Definitely strange to see vehicles on this yeah. no vehicle road that we're on now. It's supposed to be a bike path, bike path, uh, foot track. Can't speak. A bike path, foot path. Good lord. Yeah, that was a little crazy. It's a little jumpy. Yeah, I'm warm. If anything. Huh? Yeah, I'm warm. It's just this coat is not what I need to have on me right now. This guy almost just stepped on one of those fuzzy caterpillars. I'm glad I missed him. It's almost a tragic morning. Well, that was a funny thing to see walking out of the woods on this here fine small plot. I love that site back there, man. Hopefully we didn't just give it away by walking out. I don't think they're gonna care. I don't and I don't, they didn't see exactly where we walked out of anyway. We we're just walking down the path as far as they knew. If they have anything to say to the fine people, Sean or James? Just, uh, you know, make sure to wash. You gotta wash? Corroborating the wash. I third the wash. I think yeah. you gotta wash unless you're, you know, Oh, you know. Everywhere, not just the, the stinky bits. You gotta wash everywhere. The non stinky bits. Yeah, well, the stinky bits are, are key, but the non stinky bits will become stinky bits unless you, you wash them. Anyway, uh, this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6 30 Eastern Time. Uh, thanks for watching till the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you. I can't believe that just happened next year. <laughs> Oh, I am so hungry. So Sean and I are meeting up at this diner here. Uh, Sean's not here yet. I got here a little before him. Uh, parking lot's pretty full. Hopefully we'll be able to get a seat here at this this diner. But I'm, I am famished. This diner is exactly what I need. All right, here we are at the diner. Big old chunky Hydrating. water. Hydrating. Hydrating. Big old chunky coffee. That's very hot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm famished. Sean, are you famished? Oh, I am so famished. I'm ready to get satiated. Come on, yo. Famished, <laughs> yo. <laughs> All right, we got our food. We got a turkey club. Sean got pancakes oh, and eggs. Oh, yeah. Right? Is that what you got? Yes, awesome. eggs. Eggs. Oh, this is what you need after camping. Nothing, oh. nothing quite like stopping in a diner after a camping trip. No, I agree. After a stealth camping trip. Kind of we're, stealth. Stealth. we're very stealthy. No, I'm so stealthy. I'm like kind of sweaty. <laughs> You know, hitting the spot. I feel like I feel like we've really earned this turkey club. We do. And pancake combo. Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs>
walking over an old decommissioned railroad bridge right now. It's got some uh, some nice holes in it. Gotta wa watch my foot, watch my feet, watch my step. And there's the Erie Canal below me. I can still hear the expressway, but it's definitely a little quieter out here. Okay, there's a, a runner coming up behind me. I'm about to duck into the woods. But for now, I'm kind of just looking like I'm playing with the camera. Hi there. Okay, let's do this as uncreepily as possible in case she looks back and sees me jumping into the woods. I don't know if the camera picked up on it. She had some kind of weird contraption on it. I don't know. I'll talk about it in a second. Okay, there's definitely some skid marks here. Like, something else has come up here recently. Probably a deer. Hopefully a deer. When I say skid marks, I mean in the in the mud, not like in the underwear. Yeah, there's definitely disturbed leaf action, but they look like deer footprints. Okay, success, we are in the forest. I'm gonna go in a little bit, so I have a higher probability of being able to have a fire. It's gonna get real cold tonight. I'm gonna be pretty sad if a fire isn't possible, but I think we'll be okay. I can hear a plane taking off. I'm very close to the airport. Okay, this looks okay here. I'm gonna keep going, but this would not be a bad spot right here. Flat ground, I got a tent tonight. Not too shabby. We'll see though, I think there's a better spot in here. walk down here there is an abandoned hotel I thought they were gonna redevelop it into something whether it be another hotel or something else but it looks extremely abandoned still boards on most of the windows yeah I don't think anybody cares about this place I could camp right here probably and nobody would care and I'm not gonna though that would be I'd be a little, a little, I'd be pushing it just a little bit. I'm here above this kind of like little dip in the earth. I'm going to try and go down because it looks like there's some amazing flat ground that's, that's open enough and flat enough for a tent and a fire. But I'm going to get down there quickly because I keep hearing noises. Who knows who's in this forest? I haven't done a thorough check. Someone could be camping right over there, and I wouldn't be surprised. This is an urban forest. Okay, hey, hey, who are uh, sliding down? Here we go. Okay, is this tree dead? Yes, but it saved me. I had to ask if this tree was dead. Okay, we're good. 
All right. Okay. I really don't think I'm gonna find a better spot than this. This is great. I'm protected on almost all sides by berms or raised ground. Behind the camera, you can see right here. Over there mostly, I can kind of see the expressway um, and hear it still. Yeah, over here, no one, no one would see me have a fire back here. <laughs> some trash not too bad though okay well I'm going to take my pack off do a quick little walk around make sure there's no neighbors but I think this is a pretty good spot I gotta hurry up because we got about uh, I don't know hour hour and a half of daylight left so let's move yeah no signs of any previous campers no real uh, disturbed leaves or disturbed anything. Hardly any trash, a little bit of trash. Not too bad. Just kind of, kind of getting a, a glimpse, a little snapshot of the area. Not too shabby. Got some nice big old boulders. I'm not gonna walk around this whole forested area, but I've camped in other places nearby and it was, Okay. Man, look how big and old this tree is right here. Wow, we. Looking around at the ground here, it's actually going to be kind of a pain to find the perfect spot for a tent. There's a lot of roots, there's a lot of big boulders. I'll have to sh shuffle away the leaves and see what's underneath and kind of go from there. I'm thinking tent here and then fire out in front of it, kind of here where the camera is maybe, maybe out that way a little bit, whatever works best. Maybe, yeah, I don't know, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> I don't want to move all of the leaves away to get down to the dirty, muddy ground because that will soak up through the bottom of the tent and make it terrible. I don't have a ground tarp today. I know I probably should, but it's an extra thing. And I had my pack just just bursting, just bursting with uh, camping ingredients. So basically I'm kind of moving leaves around to see if there's anything sharp or anything immobile. I'm gonna kick some rocks out of the way, see if I can't find any roots. But this, this is probably my option right here. This is gonna be a lumpy sleep. Ooh, maybe I'll set it up over here. This isn't too bad. It's a little less protected. The other spot is in the corner over here, but uh, there is a root going right through it. Can't really, can't really sleep with that. Uh, plus, there was a ton of branches that were just in the dirty mud. I can see the ground pretty well here. I think I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm just going to go for it right now. I'm going for it. Normally, I set up my camping chair and put my bag on the chair and unload from there. But I didn't bring the chair. Sitting on the ground tonight tent pole sticking out the back with an extra tripod that I don't need but I feel like if I connect it to the pole sticking out of the pack it looks more like I'm filming like it's camera equipment and not camping equipment I don't really know if it's any better or worse considering the neighborhood I just walked through but there it is extra tripod if I need it Ooh, 
Ooh, got something in the beverage center here. Gonna have to see what that is in a few minutes here. Huh. Now, I think it's cozier to have the front of the tent facing this way, but strategically, I think it's better to have it facing that way, because if anybody's coming back here, it's from that way. But aesthetically, it looks better this way. I don't know. What should I do? Aesthetics or safety? This ground is very wet. Probably should have brought an extra tarp for the ground. It's been raining, well, slushing and snowing and wintry mix raining in the past couple days. So everything's kind of soaked, including the ground where I'm putting the tent. Not too shabby. Yeah, can't say shabby. My mouth, I'm starting to get cold. Ugh, I can't speak as quickly. Getting close to freezing. I can feel it in my jaw muscles. Oh man, see the dust coming off of this? Oof, oh, it's gritty in my teeth. This is, this is dusty. <laughs> Look at all. It was mud last time I used it. And uh, I didn't clean it out, I just kind of let it dry. So it's kind of dirty in here. It's a tissue from last time I used it. Gross. Yeah. We have, <laughs> have to shake this tent out. I'm gonna try to take uh, something like this and just sweep it a little bit. I'm not gonna get all of it, it's still gonna be dirty, but there's just some big hunks of dirt and bark and rocks. And then I'm basically all set up. Got my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag. Oh my gosh, this thing is so muddy. Look at this. <laughs> uh, if you want to see the camping trip where I got this tent super muddy, it's uh, from a couple months ago. It's the only camping ASMR video I have and it didn't do that great. I was just not in the mood that week for uh, turning it on for the camera. It was the week my grandma passed so I did a, a quiet ASMR camp and got my tent really muddy and I'm finding oh and I'm finding this uh there's a stick underneath here that I'm trying to get out and I just knocked the camera over. Okay I'm clearly not almost done. I'm clearly right in the middle. Anyway I'm gonna get this all set up, sweep my tent out and then we're starting a fire. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'll try to get it out the door best I can, but I'm gonna need both hands. Yeah, that girl that was jogging by right before I ran into the woods has some kind of like weird contraption. I'm not really sure. It looked like dental headgear, but it wasn't. I'm not really sure. There were tubes. I think probably at the end of the day she was just wearing like a mask because her face was cold like a like a scarf and the tubes were like a like from a camelback or something going in there to hydrate her but like the way they came up it looked really weird i don't think the camera picked up on any of that but it was it was startling of, of the two people uh she was the weirder one for once as i'm about to jump into the woods for a stealth camp i met somebody else who was doing something even weirder than that So I was looking around this little small plot here and I found what I believe to be some kind of, well it is a cave, it's a small cave, maybe home to a fox, 
or perchance coyote. I don't know, but I'm gonna shine this light and it's hard to tell if the area around it looks disturbed. It doesn't look super used, but I mean, this is a perfect spot if you're a fox or coyote or just like a small man. Yeah. I don't see anything. But it, it, I mean, this is perfect for a little winter, you know, hibernaculum or whatever. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's possible they're in there and just farther back. I can't quite see the back of it. Cool. Why did I bring a tent? I could have just camped in there, camped in that hole. Okay, I think it's time to start gathering some kindling and some wood. Not gonna have to look too far. This place is lousy with both. And I'm gonna get that fire going, break into the beverage center, and continue on with the night. Got a simple half fire ring going on here. Uh, I'm gonna need some coals to cook on, so I didn't want to do the entire round ring because it's more difficult to bring coals out. Nice little seat. We have five, ten minutes before the sun officially sets. We gotta get this fire going. Oh boy, off to a good start. Got some uh, trusty birch bark here that I've harvested from another place. It's probably the last of the bag there. I didn't have time to get all the wood ready. I got most of it. I sawed a couple things up, got more to do, and I'm surrounded by just totally usable, mostly dry wood. Man, I, I gotta get this fire going. I am hungry and thirsty. And there you have a fire. Time to break into the beverage center. Whoop. You know what we got today. An old classic here on small plots, Space Kitty. If this is your first time joining the channel, welcome. Hope you subscribe. That, that would just be so lovely if you could subscribe, maybe give a little like. That, that would, that would you know, really, really do me a solid, so, so thank you. But if this is your first time, Space Kitty's a mainstay here on small plots. I, I enjoy it. It's a Citra Double IPA. It's a local Rochester, New York beer by Rohrbach Brewing. And that's the stuff. This is the first time I've had to sit down since leaving my house to go camping. I, uh, it's about five o'clock now. The sun is set, still a little light out, but not enough to film with. Got the fire going. Everything's kind of finally in place for me to relax just a little bit here. 
it, it's it's weird, you know, uh, leaving for a, a, an overnight at 2:30 in the afternoon. It was about an hour walk through the through the city to get here, and uh, oh, I've got to tighten my pants here. Things went pretty smoothly. I haven't camped here before, but I've camped nearby, and I had this spot kind of in the back of my mind. And then I remembered it the other day. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta go back to that spot, because I wanted a place where I could have a tent and have a fire. That's what I wanted. That was, that's what I was in the mood for. The fire, mainly because it's gonna get really cold. I'm pretty warm right now, though. Moving around, I had, to, I had about 10, 15 minutes to grab as much wood as possible and quickly start the fire before the, uh, the sun went down. Sorry, I thought I saw something over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person back here. Not a whole lot. Uh, not, not a whole lot of places other than here and a couple other spots. Oh, I still got to go around get some more wood for the fire, but this is basically it. Just kind of chilling. It's five, five o'clock, just about p.m. Fahrenheit, and uh, it's I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest. Of it. I got I got hours. Usually this is when I would like leave for a camp. Is right now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cook food in a minute here. I'm getting kind of hungry. Let this beer go down. It's going down nice and easy. The beer. Uh, once it gets a little darker too, I'll take a little walk around the area. Um, get up closer to the expressway. Just kind of just take a little night walk. It's a little bit of an eerie late fall night. Pretty still. It was windier earlier today, but not too much wind now. The leaves are pretty much dead still. Other than the road noise, very peaceful back here. Look at this uh, amazing wood action I got going on here. It's the height of laziness, really. I don't feel like chopping this stuff up or sawing it up. So I just find it, you know, around, around the woods here and just kind of put it on the fire as it, as it lays. It's been, it works, it's been working out pretty well so far. And uh, I'm going to keep doing that. You can see I have some, uh, tissues discarded on the ground there. That's not just carelessly tossed for no reason. That's where there's a big old pile of deer poop there. So I can easily avoid it. I'm not going to leave those. Uh, fire's doing well. Really well. Really, really well. I kind of want to touch it. Let me just Uh, it's not quite dinner yet, but I have something really unique that I want to cook and it is uh, It's something that is the it's, it's kind of a New York heritage thing. So I'm really excited about this uh, Let's get to cooking so one of the uh, The major mountain ranges in New York State is the Adirondack Mountain range now the word Adirondack is Iroquois for bark eater you got some nice tasty strips. Ooh, a little toasty. Got some real nice strips of bark here. Ooh, ooh, yeah. These are gonna be tender. These are gonna be wild and good. That's pretty succulent looking, isn't it? Can't wait. Oh no, my delicacy. I left it on the flame a little too long. And it caught fire, so I guess I'm not eating bark tonight. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah. That's okay. I got I got other food. I got have other things. Maybe I'll find some more bark. But I don't know. Usually there's not a lot of bark in forests. It's kind of rare. So we'll see. Since I burned my bark, I'm gonna have to eat some actual food. So tonight I'm cooking some space kitty. Wrong can tonight cooking some beans, baby. And I'm actually not gonna cook them in the can tonight. I've done it the past two times, and that's the only two times in my life that I've ever done it. So I'm like, not a big deal. 
But I feel like if I keep doing it, then I'm just the dude that is constantly cooking his beans on the fire. And that's just not a great thing to do. So I have this, I have a little pot that I'm gonna pour some beans in. The pot is not nearly big enough to fit this entire gargantuan can of beans in. So I'm, ha I'm gonna have to cook it in, in phases. That's all right. I got no problem with that. There we go. Yep. Yep. Oh, this isn't gonna work with me doing, doing this. Why is this not like, there we go, there we go. Had to get it to puncture. This is the food preparation part of the video. That's why I'm filming me opening the beans because this is the preparation. People like to see the preparation of the meal. Here I am doing it. Oh God. Oh, I don't want to get the bean juice on me. Okay, we got a little bit of, got a little bit of lid left. But the bean juice is, it's really aching. It's really aching to come out here. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Okay. 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 There we go. Just a little bit left in the corner. So you can pop it open like a classic can of beans. It's always good to have the lid just kind of barely hanging on. It's just it's more classic that way. Okay, so I've got this glove that I'm gonna to need to, you know, use as kind of a, an oven mitt. And I've got this, my Joe Robinette little thing that fits around my nail G and it goes on every single camping trip and I use it on a tenth of them. But uh, it's so light and it just fits around my nail G and bottle so it's like n bringing nothing extra anyway. And it's handy in times like this. Also spork. This fire's keeping me nice and warm. I keep looking at the temperature. It's not quite freezing yet. It's uh, just above freezing, but I feel just fine. I have my jacket open. I am wearing layers and thermals and stuff, but uh, yeah, should, should be not too bad tonight, I think. I, I don't know if it's gonna get as cold as predicted. Anyway, let's pour some beams in here, huh? Okay. Hmm, it's gonna be interesting because these beams are liquidy and I wanna get more beams than liquid. Also, I don't want to do it over my space kitty. I have my space kitty right here. Let's not, let's not do that. Oh, that's most of the beans. I might be able to, I might be able to fit all the beans in here. I think I'm going to do it. Oh man, that's awesome. I thought this was going to be a whole thing. There's just a couple of beans left. I'm, I'm gonna need a, a tool for that. This is just great news. I guess I could have looked at the uh, am amount of beans and compare it to how, how many milliliters that is, but uh, I didn't. And now I'm surprised. I got a little surprise out of not doing any research on my own equipment. That's just a solid cup of beans right there. Here we are cooking some beans. Super pumped about how that worked out. Ah, fantastic. That just made the night so much better. That's what it takes for me to have a good night. The beans fit in the container, even though I didn't think they were going to fit in that container. That's it. That's, that's, that's what brings me excitement. Okay, looks like it's good to take off. Oh yeah. Look at them boiling beans. Okay. Time to eat some beans. Not out of the can. Mm. That's what beans taste like. This fire is really hot. I have to move. 
It's like searing me. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to eat these beans. I'm going to drink this Space Kitty. I'm going to have myself a little time here. Well, I've eaten the beans. I've eaten them hard and I've eaten them strong. I have the can of beans. Well, the can, the vessel, the bean vessel. Uh, in the fire just to kind of like sear up the beans inside so I'm not putting bean juice in my trash bag. I'm not trying to burn the can or anything. I uh, just don't want bean juice around, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to let this settle in my stomach a little while with the help of some space kitty. And then, then I think we'll go for a little walk, huh? Kind of check this place out. See, uh, See if we can't get ourselves caught just by roaming around. Let's try. Let's try, huh? <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll find something just you know fabulous. So I'll, I'll sit here for a minute and digest, and then let's go on a little journey. go on a little adventure. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here. It looks like I can get pretty close to the road. I think anyone suspects that there's someone lurking in the dark. <laughs> Absolutely zero activity here. This abandoned hotel behind me. Nothing really going on here tonight. Pretty uneventful. No weird sounds. No weird happenings. No strange men running out of the woods straight at me with a knife. None of that. Kind of disappointing. I mean, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a nice camp. It's been it's been stellar. It's been peaceful. I've enjoyed myself. But, you know, it's a stealth camp. You expect some, ki some kind of turmoil. Nothing. I didn't even hear, like, a stick crack, really. Like, there, was, there, was, there wasn't even anything where I was like, what's that? Oh, my God, someone's coming up. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's a pretty uneventful stealth camp, which is fine. Uh, it's been, been a fun camp, anyway. It's been nice. I'm glad I got to camp at this little spot here. Just nothing. Like, if, if a man came out of the woods right now, like a toothless, long, like a silver, long-haired man, toothless, just came running out of the woods right now, and just, like, didn't even say anything, just came running at me. Um, it'd be pretty good content. I'm not gonna lie. It'd be pretty, that'd be some pretty good content. But for the time being, this is this is kind of it. Sitting here, just being completely engulfed by the smoke. Good time, fun time, fabulous time. 
I'm gonna head in the tent soon. Have some candy. I don't know if I'm gonna eat the candy, but I have the candy. Traffic's died down a little bit, so it's gotten a little bit quieter. Hopefully it stays that way. Probably won't, because it's traffic. I'm gonna try to wake up pretty early tomorrow and get out. I gotta get home, gotta get editing, get the video out. Uh, it's not supposed to rain. There's about a 10% chance of rain uh, at like 4 o'clock a.m. or something like that. I don't have the cover on my tent, so there's a little bit of a, there's like a tiny triangle of mesh facing the sky. I'm going to chance it. I'm going to chance it. I think, I think I'm going to be okay. Too good, too stealthy, too good of a spot, too stealthy of a spot. I, I gotta, I gotta de-stealth it a little bit, like downgrade a level of stealth. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not gonna lie, that's uh, that's been a pretty terrible seat all night. I know it looks luxurious. I know you're thinking, Kevin, how how can this seat be? not comfortable. It looks so comfortable. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there's just there's just not enough back support. That's really the problem. You know, I need I need the lumbar uh Well, here we are in the tent. I've got my sleeping bag all set up here. I couldn't find my blow-up pillow for my tent camping. I like a little blow-up pillow when I'm tent camping, not so much hammock camping, but... Uh, so I put my jacket that I was wearing, my coat, my puffy coat, and another extra shirt that I brought in case I got too cold, which I didn't need, uh, in my stuff sack, in my... <laughs> in the stuff sack for my sleeping bag. So that should be a pretty good pillow. I'm gonna actually probably do that from now on. That's a, that's, a, that's a fantastic idea. If it's not too cold, I don't think it's quite below freezing just yet. I think it's like one or two degrees above freezing, probably 33, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me check my phone. 35, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, not gonna get quite as cold as I thought, but still pretty chilly. One camping luxury I take every single camping trip, unless I forget, but usually I don't forget, is a new pair of socks as soon as I get into my sleeping bag. So I'm gonna put these socks on, crawl into this sleeping bag, and slumber away. I got to, I, I'd like to get up a little bit early, get home, got to edit this video, got to get it out to you fine people. Um, unless anything like totally weird or bodacious happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you guys in just a second. That was a pretty, pretty fine sleep. Maybe one of the better sleeps I've had in a tent. I'm getting better at sleeping in a tent. Uh, nothing really to report. I heard some screeching at some point in the night. Probably a fox or something. Other than that, nothing. Just loud traffic noise, but it's kind of peaceful. Sometimes it keeps you up, like you get a loud car, but... I, I only woke up a couple times last night after I fell asleep. Not too bad. Uh, it's kind of chilly, not... I don't know what temperature it is. It's probably at freezing or just above freezing. Uh, it's about 7 o'clock a.m. Fahrenheit. And I'm going to start packing up here because i got to get home and get to editing this video. i got a lot of clips i got to go through. Some condensation here. Sweet. It smells kind of like freshly baked muffins out here. There must be a place nearby making some freshly baked morning muffins. It's delightful. I'm not sure where that place would be. I know there's a diner right over there. The, it's the airport here, so there's just like a few restaurants around. Nothing crazy though. Like It's not like a restaurant hub by any means. Uh, I'm already like half packed up. I got all my stuff 
like my sleeping bag and my sleeping pad and all that stuff packed up. I just gotta get my trash and my tent. Uh, if I can't fit my tent back in the bag, if it doesn't fit up or if it's too wet or whatever, I brought another bag to just kind of shove it in and walk with. If I have to do so, it's the orange bag. You guys have seen the orange bag. I've used it before. Okay, we go do that. Again! I was able to do it, fit everything in there, didn't have to put my tent in a little exterior bag that I hold in my hand. It's all there. It's all just shoved in. It's quite tight. It's quite packed. But I'm ready to go. Well, this was a fine little small plot. Thank you, small plot. Thank you. I was gonna thank the campsite, you know. Pretty clear, pretty good. Fire's cooled to the touch. Everything's all set there. Yeah, I don't think I'm leaving anything behind. Nothing hanging in trees, no lights, no pin the tail on the donkey. I don't know. I just woke up, you guys. <clears throat> okay. Now let's hope there's nobody running on this trail out here and I scare the bejesus out of them. Just popping out of the woods. Okay, I'm at the point. <clears throat> it's it's like a it's like I have to once I get going, there's no stopping. I gotta run up that berm and then down the other side where the trail is. That will take me home. Okay. Hopefully, one of these days I'm gonna freak somebody out. Especially this this one right here is prime for it because. I, I can't see anything before I come out, and I just have to run onto the trail, basically. Okay, going up the first berm. Doesn't look like there's anybody on the trail. Oh god, stuck in the bramble. Just go, just go. <sighs> not today, runners. Maybe another day, but not today. That was a pretty fun camp. Got to eat some beans. Got to experience sitting on uh, concrete blocks for several hours. That was really good on my butt. Uh, yeah, yeah, really enjoyable little spot. I'll have to head back there one of these days. Don't forget, if this is your first time on the channel and you haven't subscribed, I mean, you may as well subscribe here at the end of the video. You watched the whole, whatever, 40, 50 some odd minute video. Please, just subscribe. Subscribe, please! Well, thanks for watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Sometimes I go on stealth camps like this. Sometimes I go to the backwoods. Sometimes I uh, jump naked into a body of water and scare children. Uh, but thanks for watching till the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on that I don't really do that. Nexty. Nah. Is is this just a random pile of snow? Y yeah. Uh, I know this is kind of like a sports complex. Must have something to do with that, like an ice rink or something. <laughs>
Yeah, that's uh, that's just a big pile of snow. It hasn't snowed like like this yet this year. Really ice. Yeah, this has to be an ice rink of some kind here in this little park. I hear action going on over there. Okay, I'm getting out of here. You can see the brown water of the river. I'm standing over the Erie Canal at the confluence of the Genesee River and the Erie Canal. You can see that's all just smoky mud kind of coming down into the canal here. Really cool looking. So weird. It looks like rocks. It's not. I don't think it is. Could be. Now that I'm looking at it, it could be rocks. But I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's mud. Okay, I'm standing down below. It is definitely mud. It's not. It, lo it looks like a shelf of rocks, but it's definitely mud. I'm going to throw this in here just to prove it. I don't know what that proved. Uh, I guess that it's mud. Look at it swirl. It smells like natural gas out here. I'm going to get out of here. It's a rainy one here in Rochester, New York. Very late November. Walking through the city here on my way to a little stealth camp. You're watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Today I'm going to walk through a city neighborhood. Not too sketchy, kind of a kind of just a regular decent city neighborhood. Uh, and my destination is the tallest point in the city of Rochester. It's a big forested area with camping opportunities. So Let's check that out. Temperature wise, we're looking at mid 40s Fahrenheit. So it shouldn't be too chilly of a night, although I'm hoping to have a fire as I usually do. In fact, I brought food that needs to be cooked on a fire. So I'm really hoping that we can have a fire tonight. That would be, that would be key. That would be key to the trip, really. The sidewalk starting to incline a little bit as I get towards the hill where I'm going to go camping. It's right up here. I'm going to jump off these city streets and into the forest. All right, I'm in the, uh, the Swilberg neighborhood here. And just as soon as this car passes, I'm going to jump right into these woods behind me there. Okay, let's go.
oh, man, really uh, lucked out with the rain. Okay. Oh. That guy's seeing me. That's all right. Whew. Already starting to get a little out of breath. It is quite steep. Whew. More than a hundred years ago, this hill was a cemetery. And here is one of the old gates to the cemetery. Hope nobody minds, we're coming on through. Climbing up, climbing up, 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 up. There's more of the neighborhood down there. Whew. Still going, still going up. Forget how uh, steep and kind of strenuous this is, right in the middle of the city. Whew. She's not, she's coming this way. No, she's not. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's kind of the thing with these woods. It's not, it's not like a park or really technically public space, but people come here. It's just a forest. A lot of people walk their dogs, run, bike, a lot of mountain biking stuff going on here. It's kind of just a place the city leaves alone for the most part. And we are up here. Whew. Yeah, not sure exactly what the summit is. I'll put the number here, uh, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, it's not quite the summit, but you can see people do camp here. This isn't where I'm camping. I have a hammock and a tarp. It's not really a good place to uh, set those up right here. Nice view. Looking south. That is not where downtown is. Hopefully we'll be able to see downtown, which is that way, uh, tonight when it's all lit up. I just heard like a jingle of keys. I wasn't moving, it wasn't me. I just wanted to make sure I'm the only person camping up here. Wow, beautiful over there. You can see the, start to see some of the mountains of the Finger Lakes. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. It was like keys or something jingling, like a, something camping, I don't know. It was pretty close too. But uh, I see, I'll check them out. Somebody has chairs up there. Hopefully they're not coming back for them tonight. Okay, another kind of mini chill zone. Got the chairs set up. Looking out over the nice view. Really pretty. Glad the rain kind of let up so I can explore a little bit, but I do want to keep going, get the tarp set up so I can get a fire going for when it does start to rain again. sun is going to start setting soon. This is where I'm going to camp. Uh, I think, yeah, there's some perfect trees for me to set up a tarp and hang out under for a little while before setting up my hammock, which will also require the trees. So it's going to work out that way. Other than that girl walking her dog and that strange jingle of keys, I feel pretty alone down here. Although I keep hearing sticks cracking down below me down the hill. Like I said, it's a, it's a forest in the middle of a city. I can't think I'm gonna be the only one here all night. Hey there! But at least there's no 
squatters or people that are semi-permanent. That's what I was worried about. Okay, let's start getting set up. That's just a professional hang. I don't need to do anything else. Okay, sun's setting pretty much right now. I've got a couple minutes left. Uh, have my shelter up here for the night. Looking pretty good. I don't know how I'm gonna hang a hammock there because the ground is like slanted like this where I am. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking up on how slanted that is. Um, we have the fire out front here where it isn't slanted, where it's kind of flat. And uh, yeah, speaking of fire, I got to get moving on that because of the aforementioned setting sun. Uh, this place is kind of picked clean. I don't see a ton of stuff around. Usually when I'm stealth camping, like it's just I have to reach over five feet and there's stuff. But here, because I guess people camp here occasionally, there's just not a whole ton to have. So, um... I gotta, I gotta find that in, in the next few minutes. Anyway, let me grab my headlamp. Let's go get some wood. All right, the rain is flirting with coming back. Gotten a few sprinkles, kind of just processing wood as quickly as I can to, uh, to have the fire going within the next five minutes. So let's not have these dangling right there fire. So when I was packing up today, I was refilling my a bag with birch bark to take out here today and start a fire with it. Well, I never put that birch bark bag back into my pack, so I don't have any birch bark to start any of this wet, wet wood. Thankfully, I have a backup that I always carry with me, and that's a couple of uh, rolled up pieces of duct tape. It's kind of a good way to start a fire in an emergency, even though it's kind of a pain in the butt. So the idea is basically, I got three pieces here. I'm gonna light this one, and then I'm gonna put that one on top of it and create a triangle, and then light another one and put that one and kind of make like a, like a full closed triangle. So uh, that will burn for a little while. It's actually not a bad thing that I'm using this because the, the, wood, the wood is super wet. It's very wet back here right now. Uh, the rain's been coming and going since I got here. It's supposed to be raining all night. I don't know why it's not totally pouring right now, but I'm glad it's not because that would make this even bigger of a pain in the butt. So uh, let's try to start these pieces of duct tape on fire. That's always fun, huh? There's no wind out here. It's too windy though. They love to go out. Just gonna let make sure that's burning. Just when you think it's burning, it's, it goes out. So I'm trying to be real careful. And then it starts melting and the flame. Ah, see, yep, see, it went out. The, the melting plastic kind of like puts the flame out. It's a big pain. Stick cracking. Something's over there. I don't know. Probably someone laughing at me. Better than nothing, right? Here, I'm actually, I'm gonna get a fourth one going in there. Ooh, smell that burning plastic. It's really great. Okay, we have some fire going. 
I'd be real, real careful with this with this wet kindling here. Oh, wet starter, the tinder, real dry or real wet. It's not dry at all. Great. Let's do something like we put it on either side of the flame, kind of let it dry out, make like a like a stick igloo or something around it. So the wood will dry and then burn. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's any wood burning yet, but it's starting to. Ooh, there we go. You just caught a little bit. I don't want to get too close and inhale these fumes. You don't want to breathe in duct tape. You get you get the sticky lung. <sighs> Yeah, I'm really, I'm sitting in the best possible spot for this, huh? Well, by now the sun is almost completely down. It's, uh, I think it's showing up a little bit lighter on camera than it really is. Plus I have a, a light on me. Uh, yeah. Glad the rain held off for me to be able to do this. It would have been way harder, if not impossible, with it uh, pouring. And there you have a fire! That's... That's, uh, that's how you stay stealthy. Have just billowing smoke going down the hill to where people live. There's, there's no way they're not going to see that. There's no way the entire road down there, where I don't know if the camera's picking up the car driving down right now, there's no way that road's not going to be filled with smoke. Wrong zoom. Uh, you know, in about five minutes. Sorry time to break into the beverage center. Well, you can really see the smoke just going right down that hill. That's okay. Got the fire out here in front of me. The rain's kind of stopped for now. When I was walking here, it was a 90% chance, and then it was supposed to turn to a 70% chance. But I feel like that 70% chance has just kind of been like zero. It's, it's sprinkled on and off since I've gotten here. Nothing substantial at all. But we're gonna get a little wet ourselves, a little wet the whistle, wetting the whistle. We're gonna wet the whistle. Here's a beer from a local brewery, Rock Brewing. It's called Littering and. I think it's the finest product Rock Brewing has ever put out. I, I really like I really like this IPA. I think it's a Northeast style IPA. Not quite sure. Not quite sure on that, but it's delicious. Really nice, really nice. Oh, yeah, fantastic beer. I don't think they have rock brewing outside of Rochester here, but uh, if they do, pick up a littering and eh, 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 you, you won't be disappointed. Getting a great view. When it gets a little darker, I'll, I'll take some footage. It'll look even cooler, but a nice view of the city right over here, of downtown. All the leaves and the trees are gone. Normally you can't see downtown over there but all the all the trees are are barren so we're good to go fire's doing pretty well i got some more logs around it kind of drying off i'm about to put those on so it continues to go pretty well yeah really nice spot atop this hill here I'm not quite at the summit but i'm like 20 30 feet from it maybe yeah, i can see cars driving around and I can hear the expressway in the back. I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick up on that. I was actually, I was originally going to, here, let me put some, let me put some uh, wood on this fire here. So, story time. I was actually planning on going to a totally different place uh, to go camping. 
Uh, but yesterday I kind of, I was just kind of walking around. I was like, hey, let me just go over to where I plan on camping tomorrow. And uh, I was walking through the forest and I was walking up to, to the exact spot that I was like, I think, you know, I, I've been in these woods before and I was like, oh, that might be a, an okay spot to camp. It was actually in the same woods that I made a, a, a video of a few weeks ago and everyone was like, nah, dude, don't camp there. Uh, well, I was, I was gonna camp there. Anyway, I'm walking up to uh, a big, uh, it's kind of an old hollowed out concrete half circle abandoned building thing where I was gonna have the tent and uh, uh, this tarp over the tent. And I, I walk up to it and I hear like a cough and I like tur turn my head and I just see like some guy kind of, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, like emerging from between the earth and the concrete. Like, I don't know if he was coming down cause there was a bunch of houses and stuff up there. Um, he was coming down, I just looked over and kind of immediately just started walking in the opposite direction. I'm sure he wasn't up to no good, but I didn't want to stick around to find out. Just thought it was kind of funny that the moment where I'm like, hey, let me go check out this spot. Let me double check for tomorrow's stealth camp, make sure I'm going to feel safe, make sure I'm going to have a fire. Uh, and there's just a, a, a guy. So didn't end up camping there. Had to, uh, had to figure something else out. And I remember this place here, this, uh, this is the tallest point in the city of Rochester. It's called Pinnacle Hill. And actually, Sam Bananas and I camped up here over a year ago on our first ever collaboration video. Uh, you can go check that out. It's, I don't even remember what it's called. Walking through a city to stealth camp, something like that. About, about 13 months ago, uh, Fahrenheit, anyway. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully I don't see anybody up here. If I do, it won't be a big deal. I'm completely open and visible. The trail I came in on is right over there. I, it would be impossible to miss if somebody came up here. Uh, but hopefully they're not going on any night walks in the rain. If it ends up raining, come on, come on. What, what do you think I'm out here for? My health? Certainly not. But yeah, ho hopefully, hopefully nobody's walking around here in the middle of the night. That would be weird. And I'm going to wake up early in the morning and get out of here. Littering and... Littering and what? I don't know. It's like littering and stuff. Well, I can see the Kodak Tower. I don't know if any of my cameras will be able to pick up the Kodak Tower, but I can see it with my eyes. You guys remember Kodak? <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking about if I can't get my hammock or if it sounds like too much of a pain, then maybe I'll just plop my sleeping bag right on the ground here have myself a little sleep tonight. We'll see, we'll see. Wouldn't be the first time I slept on the ground. Last time I slept on the forest floor, I had no, I had no tarp, at least I have a tarp this time. Right on that horizon right there was a dog. It was just sniffing around. I don't know if owner is somewhere or if that dog is just like a loose dog. But I heard something walking. I still hear it. And I, I saw like the curly tail of like a husky or something. I don't know if I should go investigate or stay right where I am. I thought it was a deer, but it was definitely a dog, like a bigger kind of dog too. It didn't seem to see that I was here. Huh. I hear it walking around over there still. I don't want to entice the dog. I don't want to go over there and have it come up to me. I don't know this dog. Yeah, that was creepy looking up at that horizon and seeing something. Yeah, it's, it's not coming back for now. It's a fox, maybe? No, it was, it was distinctly 
I saw like the tail curl up like a husky or some kind of breed where the, where the tail curls up. I don't know. Definitely seemed like a domestic dog, at least from what I could tell, but I, I, it's hard to tell. It could, it could have been a coyote. I, I don't know. All I saw was a silhouette. Okay, well, I'm going to keep an eye out on that, on that ridge there. May not be alone. If it was somebody walking their dog, I mean, it's like six o'clock at night. <laughs> it's pitch dark out. I know it looks bright over there because of the city lights. Somebody walking their dog isn't out of the question, but I didn't see any flashlights. I've been looking, too. I've been looking for flashlights. I have a good view, like, all down there is kind of like the trail up. I've seen nothing. I just heard leaves crunching and the silhouette of a canine right there, which is not far away. It's hard to tell on camera. That's uh, 100 feet away, not even. Pretty close. Okay, I'm up where I saw the dog. I don't see anything. There's my camp right down there. Pretty good. Lots of, uh, lots of city lights all around. No dogs. Which is great and bad. Definitely a little weird seeing that dog. But nothing else to do but just kind of continue camping. I'm not going to leave because I saw a dog. Lord. <sighs> really beautiful night. You can see the nice view behind me there. The camera's not doing it even kind of justice. It's so, it's so tough to pick up cool city lights on a camera. They're just all, all like pics, all, all blown out. I was going to say pixelated. They're not, they're not pixelated. They're blown out. Nothing's happened since I saw the dog. I've, I've heard things like walking around that could be the dog, could be a deer, could be a man. Probably not. That would be weird if it was a man. Yeah, I got here so close to sundown today. I, I, was, I was rushing, rushing, rushing. I didn't really get a great chance to look around to see if there was anyone else camping. I don't think there is, but I mean, I saw the dog. But also, it's not that late yet. Well, I'm going to hang out for a little while longer, cook some dinner. Hopefully it rains. It was supposed to rain all night. It rained like on my way here. And uh, since then it sprinkled a couple times and, and nothing. Like I'm not even sitting under the tarp. I'm just hanging out close to the fire. It's keeping me nice and toasty. It's not too cold. I don't know what it is now. Probably lower 40s Fahrenheit. Look at that view, huh? Just look at that gosh darn view. Dog or not, I'm going to open up another beer here. We got Tropical Beer Hug Imperial IPA from Goose Island. I don't really like Goose Island. You may have heard me say this on the channel before, but I don't really like Goose Island. At least base Goose Island. This is okay. The Tropical Beer Hug is okay. So let me get, let me get that in there. Yeah. It's not too bad. I had uh, two of the Littering Ands drank those up. I need more courage for all the dogs just attacking me here in the middle of the night. Is that any of that coming? Yeah, see, this camera's terrible. This is all just super lit up cityscape to me. I don't see anything on the, on the camera. Looks like there's nothing behind me. Average and decent. Can't really complain. It's not blowing my mind, but it's not really like annoying me either. Pretty okay, Goose Island. You're kind of you're redeeming yourself just a little bit. I still hate Goose Island IPA. It's everywhere. You go to any major city, you're gonna see Lagunitas and you're gonna see Goose Island. I hate both of those IPAs. I hate them. The fact that it's not that late yet is like weirding me out. Like if it was like one in the morning and I heard a stick crack, I'd be like, ah, it's a deer. It's not even 7 p.m. yet. So that's why, like, the dog makes kind of sense. I don't know. I, I, enough with the dog. Well, unless I see the dog again, I'm not going to mention this. It's just dang dog. Beautiful camp, though. I'm loving this uh, view I got here that you can't see. I'll take, I'll take footage of it with my uh, other camera my ca on my phone, which takes better night footage. 
Not great night footage, but better than that. That's nothing. It looks like I'm standing up against nothing. It's a whole city. That's a whole city of Rochester right there. You can barely see it. <laughs> Well, I, I don't think there's a chance of the camera microphone picking up on it, but it started to rain. It's starting to sprinkle just a little bit. So I moved in under the tarp because even just a sprinkle, even if it's not a big rain, sometimes a sprinkle, like just a steady, slight sprinkle, you can, you, you can wind up soaked in a few minutes. So I didn't want that to happen. So I'm here under the tarp. Maybe it stopped. I feel like this video is just me chasing rain. It was, it was uh, you know, I, I, I watched it. I watched it rain really heavily for, for, t for uh, about three hours today. And the forecast called for that basically all day. It like dipped a little bit in chance, but it was supposed to just be a steady day of rain. Uh, it was like, it was like a, if you looked at, at today's uh, rain chance, it was like 90%. It rained for about three hours. And then it's just, just sprinkles here and there. I still hear a little bit on the tarp. It's still kind of slightly coming down. We'll see if that's picking up soon, but that's kind of why I wanted to camp tonight. I was going to camp another night and I didn't because it w the rain chance went away and I was like, well, hey, this day has a 90% chance. So I decided to camp this day because I really wanted to hit a rain video. And here we are just chasing the gold. Beautiful view of the city. I feel really lucky to uh, be camping here tonight. It'd be extra cool if it were raining, like it was supposed to, but I'll take it. It's, it's such a nice night. Low 40s. The breeze picking up, but not too bad. About, I'd say about seven mile an hour wind. Just, just just throwing that out there about seven mile an hour of wind to give you an idea you can see the 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 tarp is reacting to the wind it's not enough to hear maybe you know in the trees but you can see the tarp it's uh, very reactive I'm not doing that here's here's my hand and the other hands holding the camera look at that how about that huh Wind, you, you can't believe it. Okay, I'm out of here. Ah. Well, hey, if you're having a good time watching this video, if you're having a little bit of fun, I would appreciate it if you gave me a little subscribe there. Uh, I'm trying to grow the channel. I have big plans for 2023. It's gonna be a great year. I, ha I have so many things I wanna do, things that I've been wanting to do the entire uh, Small Plots tenure. The entire existence of this channel, there are things that I've, I've been wanting to do that I think 2023 might be the year. Uh, when I started the channel, I had a lot of ideas, a lot of things that I wanted to do, but I had to space them out. I, ha I had to spread them out, depending on how big the channel was, how the growth was, this, that, and the other thing, what people enjoyed watching. Um, in 2023, I have a lot of stuff that I've been thinking about for a long time, thinking about planning. Uh, so subscribe to see some of that stuff sorry there's the gust of wind and the tarp started making a sound uh, so if you're having fun please pop me a subscribe if you're having a lot of fun pop me a little like there the, the, the like always helps me in the algorithm leave a comment like all that all that stuff all that stuff you are you already know you've heard people say it you've heard me say it uh, it, it, it helps it really does it just just proliferate the video out to, to, to as many people as possible. There's been a ton of new subscribers lately. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, thank you if you just subscribe now. That, 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 that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. And get ready for more small plots in 2023. A lot more. Tons of stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Lots of stuff. Stuff that... Uh, it, it's you it's not even it you, you don't even know you don't even oh my gosh oh all the plans oh i'm so excited Mwah. the wind is picking up 
Oh, geez. What's going on here? Oh, it got torn out. Oh, oh no. The corner got torn out with the wind. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. I know, I know, I know. There are, there are, I hear voices. There's someone right there. There's people walking up on me. Hey there! How's it going? Oh, hey! Sorry! Hey, oh. sorry, no worries. Just camping. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, hey, Otto, I'm quiet. I'm trying to talk. Do you know... Uh, 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 hey. I know trying to find it at night is probably not the best idea, but do you know if there's a cut trail that goes down to Pinnacle Drive? I actually don't know. Oh. I know if you keep following this trail, it ends up at the, uh, I don't know, the, the antenna facility. I'm not sure if it goes all the way through. Oh man, I'm gonna test it. I feel like, I have hope that it might be steep, but I feel like you can cut straight down if you bushwhack a little. Hey, go for it. I, I, I wish I could help you more. <laughs> so good, you got a sweet setup down here. This is the best spot at night, I love it. There's no, I've never seen anyone up here. Oh yeah, no, this is fantastic. I, it was supposed to rain tonight. I was hoping to get some rain. Dude, I know. I was. Um, Did you have your dog up here earlier, perchance? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I saw a random dog earlier, and I'm, I'm not sure who the owner was. Just a dog? Though? Yeah, just a dog. Just a random dog. Well, that was interesting. Saw a, a girl walk by with her dogs there, had a, had a little chat. Um, uh, thanks, for, thanks for stopping by the camp. Uh, I'm glad it was a, a nice person and not someone who was just totally insane. Well, the wind has picked up. Uh, I have to cook food fast. This is not expected. The wind is just kind of going crazy. I thought I'd get rain tonight. No rain happened. So here we are uh, with the with the intense winds. Got some uh, Eckridge Farms today. Here we go. Uh, jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage. Let's go. Let's let's do it fast. I, I don't have a lot of time because uh, I might blow away. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, I, I opened up the, the, the coal chamber here and oh, it's just so hot. I can't wait to cook on it, but let's, oh my gosh, it's just so hot. Oof, ooh, it's hot. There we go, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm just throwing them on, oof, ah, man, I touched that one with my hand, oof. Okay, got my jalapeno cheddar dogs on the fire. The wind is, I, 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 gotta, I gotta cook and eat these real fast because the wind's going nuts. I gotta hunker down here fast. I did not expect the wind to kind of kick up like this. Oof. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's cook these puppies. Man, the wind is just, going insane right now uh wow didn't expect this kind of came out of nowhere i wish i had a poker i wish i could move these weems Th this is this is the glizzy nightmare right now this is a glizzy nightmare i don't even want to touch them they're just burning in the fire i don't even have a stick here, here i found a stick gotta move them around the wind is stoking the fire like a like a beast so these are all just frying up but you know what glizzies are resilient just like uh, uh, look how enormous this tortilla is it's almost it's almost enough for all the hot dogs i have oh oh Ho oh, ho ho, baby. Here we go. Here we go. We're coming in pretty hot here. I'm uh I'm just kinda folding my tortilla into force. I'm gonna I'm going to uh take those glizzies and put them on the tortillas. They're very burned right now. I need to just take them off. Uh oh my god, the wind! The wind!
Okay. Ow! Oh, I sliced it. Oh, I sliced my finger out, taking that out of the thing real quick. Oh, that sucks. Ooh, I really sliced it. Ooh, I really sliced it. Oh, that's not great. Okay, well, I gotta take these out. Come on. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it's dripping. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah, this is the worst. Okay, well. All right, well, I'm dripping blood. I, uh, I took my knife out and I just hit my finger real quick, trying to get that all out. Oh, it's not great. Oh, it's just dripping. I'm just dripping blood. Okay, this has turned into a disaster. This is terrible. I'm, I'm bleeding everywhere. I, uh, I really nicked my finger. I pulled my knife out too fast. I'm trying to do everything super quick here uh, with the wind just picking up. Really nicked my finger. It's kind of gushing blood. Um, it's okay for now. <laughs> my, my dogs are pretty burnt. I need to eat them fast though. Oh geez, I'm just bleeding. This sucks. All right, well, I'm gonna um, treat this wound real fast. Yeah, I, I gotta put the camera down. I charred my meal. That's my meal right there. Okay got my finger wrapped up it's uh it's bleeding pretty good but i'm i'm still hungry <laughs> that's that's what's next that's pretty crispy it's still pretty good though it's pretty charred but there is a little bit of meat in there that's not complete carbon Okay, the rain is coming down. Uh, I'm, I'm just setting up my hammock and stuff right now. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be a weird hammock setup. But I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> this is coming in. The the it, the wind is blowing my tarp right right in. Uh, I don't really have much choice right now. So I'm setting up the hammock. Hopefully, it works. Okay. It was a whirlwind, but I got my hammock set up. I got my sleeping pad in there. Uh, I'm not sure how the lay is gonna be. I, I really didn't, I, I really didn't uh, pay too much attention to how I set that up. I, I had to do it in the high wind. As you can see the, the tarp is kind of coming in, in on me. That's because of the wind just blowing it. I'm gonna open my last beer here and uh, enjoy that call the night it's uh it's getting kind of late not too bad but i gotta get up pretty early and walk home in the rain maybe yeah the, the fire's going pretty good when i say pretty good i mean it's it's going pretty good to be dying down i'm not gonna put any more wood on it tonight i have my uh where i'm sleeping facing looking out the corner of the tarp to the city so that'll be kind of cool to fall asleep to looking out at the city yeah but right now i'm gonna stay underneath the tarp <laughs> the wind is just is just happening here uh so, so, camping Well, here I am in the hammock. The wind is just kind of going insane. Couldn't stand. I couldn't stand it anymore. Had had to get in here. I'm just gonna. 
hang out here for a minute until I go to sleep. And unless anything like crazy happens in the night, like somebody else coming by or like another dog running by, maybe that dog will come and the, the, the first dog that I saw would come up and jump upon me and, and uh, just have, we would have a new mascot. We'd have a small plot's mascot. I mean, that's basically what would happen next. But unless that happens, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh man, I look gnarly. Not really great night's sleep though. Super windy. I was quite snug in my sleeping bag. Uh, it did end up raining last night. It, uh, I heard it on the tarp. And even though my shoes were very much under the tarp, uh, they are wet. <laughs> the rain came in and soaked them. Not on the inside, just on the outside. So I'm cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get packed up and get out of here for any other dogs or people come and see me. Well, I'm all packed up, ready to get out of here. I didn't feel much of that. Uh, because it was a huge pain. So here it is, magically, magically all cleaned up. Fire is nice and cold. And uh, it's time to get out of here, I think. Oh, I'm very thirsty. I drank all my water, but I'm very thirsty. So I got about a half hour walk home through the city. And oh, a nice glass of water is going to do me just fine. Uh, well, thank you, little small plot. Mwah, mwah. And thank you, any dead people that may still be buried here. This was a cemetery. And like, you never know if they fully exhumed the bodies. Walking up now, this is where I saw the dog last night. And then later, the girl and her dogs standing, looking right down at me down there <laughs> on this trail. And then, one more view of the mountains, you know, upstate New York mountains, that aren't the Adirondacks. Really nice. Okay, well, I am parched. Let's get moving. If you live in the Rochester area and you're really into mountain biking, Pinnacle Hill is the prime destination for you. People have set up all these jumps. Most of the trails are set up to be mountain biking trails. There's like tight turns and a lot of excitement for you mountain bikers out there. So here, they even got uh, somebody hauled up some picnic tables and put them up here. Again, this isn't like a park. The city doesn't do anything here. Uh, if there's garbage, I think just the local people that live in the neighborhood and use the forest pick it up. And it's a very clean forest. I've seen minimal garbage, which is fantastic. Uh, so if you do come here, make sure to keep it clean, please. Respect the area. Even though it is a city forest, sometimes people think that because a forest is in a city that you should just be able to trash it. So, you know, don't, don't do that, please. 
isn't the way I came in, but it's the way I'm going to go. Kind of muddy. And we're out of the woods. And there's people, there's cars have definitely seen me. But that's okay, because I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I've done the deed. No problem. Goodbye, Pinnacle Hill. Mwah. Until next time. Look at this story. Somebody stepped in the mud here, tried to get all the mud off, and then walked this way. Maybe crossing the street here. Yeah. <laughs> the stories we see. The stories we see. Walking through the city. I'll be home soon. That was a really fun night last night. Saw some weird stuff. Saw a mysterious dog. That was uh, still that was a mystery. Still, it was still a mystery. Even even as the night progressed, never figured out that dog. It was probably just somebody walking, and they saw my fire and decided to not go up there. So that's why I didn't see them. Uh, but it was a very chill night. But when I was packing up, I realized that like all of my stuff was wet. <clears throat> when I was asleep, the rain must have blown in like sideways or something because the top of my sleeping bag was wet my underneath of my hammock and like the sides were soaked uh and my pad was was wet like everything was just kind of wet alas i'll just have to dry them not a not a big deal uh, but thanks for watching everybody this has been small plots with kevin i'm kevin don't forget new episodes of small plots every tuesday 6 30 p.m eastern time sometimes i do stealth camping like this sometimes i'll go regular camping out in the woods sometimes i'll uh just you know dance around naked in the prairie with with daisies on my nipples you know uh but thanks for watching until the end here everybody and i'll catch you on that i don't even know where to get daisies this time of year next year Mwah. got a fight got a territory dispute between these cats here Seems as though one might be pregnant or just fat. <laughs> Slinking away. Yeah, I'm talking about you. All right, the one's walking away. He's all set. Okay, we're running in the woods here. This is kind of a different style intro. Usually I film where I'm going in. Not today, I don't wanna, I don't, uh, it's, uh, I don't want you guys to see where I'm going in. So we're headed back. James is with me. Everyone say hi, James. Hi, James. Oh boy, okay. Little divots. Well, I guess we'll just go over them. Oh, this is a lot of liquid in my arm right now. <laughs> Huh, all right, well, there we go here. Okay, so we're, oh, oh, oh caught on the, oh, sorry, oh, frickers. Okay. Oh my God, frickers. Okay. All right, you're watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and uh, we're gonna run back here. We're really not supposed to be here, and I'll check back in a minute. Okay, we're back in these woods. We kind of got to keep it low key. We're going to be here for two nights. So uh, we found a spot that's a little bit better than other spots. It's not a good spot. It's not a good spot at all. It's actually pretty bad, but it's better than some of the other spots that we saw. So we're, we're going lightning speed. The sun is going to set in 40 minutes or so. Uh, we got to pack up, set up, and uh, get this night started. There are houses behind the camera. I think there's some houses this way. We'll, we'll explore a little bit as it gets darker, but uh, we got to move, baby. Okay, as you can see, it's night, and Sean is here. We got hey. we, we got Sean hey back guys, here. here. He's here. We yeah. snuck him back. We are in kind of not 
the most secure place. I'll, I'll, uh, okay. I'll do a lot more filming tomorrow morning, tomorrow during the day. We have all day tomorrow, tomorrow night. We're on a two day stealth camping trip. Uh, there are five tre no trespassing signs right over there, right? I can see, I'd be, I can't see them because it's getting dark, but yeah. in the day, <laughs> they're, they're right there. Uh, so we're gonna keep it down. We're gonna keep it respectful. We're gonna keep it low key. We are gonna have a little bit of a fire. And uh, yeah, so here's my setup. I'm, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I got my sleeping pad, sleeping bag in there, the tarp. I blew up my sleeping pad with an, uh, a USB charged electric little motor thing. I didn't film it because it's been go, 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 go. I didn't really have time to pick up the camera and do it. And here, here we are still setting up in the dark. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll show that to you guys tomorrow or the next time I camp. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, time to get some wood for a fire. Okay, finally time to sit down. We have a good fire going. Look at that fire. Look at, that, that's pretty good. That's fire. That's pretty good fire. It's a B plus fire. Yeah, it's yeah. been kind of a whirlwind. We ran back. We're really not supposed to be here. Uh, but we ran back and quick had to set up. Sean had to get out of work, came a little late. So James and I ran back to the access point and then <laughs> came back here. So it's been a whirlwind trying to get everything set up before dark. My feet hurt. But now it's dark. James's feet hurt. <laughs> they always hurt. <laughs> They're always hurting. But it's time to drink a little wine. Uh, normally have, have uh, breaking into the beverage center being beer, but today the beverage center is wine. It's wine. It's wine. Oh, wow. So I have, it's a, the highest quality wine you can imagine, 19 Crimes. It's a 2021 Cabernet Sauvignon. There you go. This is the Snoop Dogg wine. That's not Snoop Dogg. That's a different guy. That's a criminal. That's, that's, a different that's, dog. Just, some, that's, that's criminal. just some criminal dude from like the 20s or something. Yeah. Uh, but I've had this before. It's decent. It's a decent cab song. It's what, like 11 bucks or something? I don't know. Sean, what are you rocking? I don't even really know. Um, it's called Talaria Vineyards. Talaria Vineyards. I don't know. A patient uh, brought in a box of wine uh, to work, and we all took one. And it's just, uh, it just says red wine. 2014, though. 2014. That's hey, a good vintage. That's, that's almost a decade ago. Yeah, dude. That's nice. Cool. There yeah. you go. We'll see, I guess. Yeah. We'll okay. See. I have an El Esteco Don David. <laughs> Don David. <laughs> Reserve. Cabernet Sauvignon 2020 from Argentina. Very excited. Oh, nice. Argentina. I, I like Argentinian. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I think it's ready. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to drink it. How's the, the nose? Bottom. Oh, you can, you can really experience <laughs> the tannins. Snotty. Yeah, snotty. Can't smell much. Are you guys drinking out of the bottle or pouring it in? Oh, I'm going to yeah, pour in my little big cup, cup here. Oh, uh, no. James is bottling it. I'm cupping it. There might be a cup somewhere in my pack. I just don't. That's fine. All right, well, cheers, brothers. Cheers. cheers. Kind of the perfect beverage for where we are and what we're doing right now. Yeah. We're out here in the uh, middle of the forest, um, near, near some houses behind us. I don't know if the camera will pick up on lights back there, uh, but there's some houses over there. Uh, other than that, very quiet. We can kind of hear the din of traffic that way but we're uh other it's it's, it's kind of peaceful back here yeah now that we're yeah. sitting down it's not too cold it's mid 30s 35 i think you said it was um yeah like 33 30 32. okay yeah it's, so we're getting <clears throat> yeah we're getting down close to freezing fahrenheit uh but i'm i'm feeling fine we got this nice fire and now we're lighting a little fire in our bellies <laughs> it's a little it's a little interesting because this is a wine that you usually drink room temperature yeah, and it's and it's chilled. So That's it's true. A, it's a different experience. It's true. Yeah, this it is a different. Probably should have brought some white wine, but <laughs> yeah, it almost tastes a little bit sweeter while it's when it's cold. Yeah, no, it's good. It's just it's it's not what I was I, expecting. I drink, uh, you know, caps off a couple days or fridge. Yeah, no, I've definitely done that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that too. If if I it's have not, any left over, I mean, usually <laughs> yes, if there's some left over. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it's 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 wine. Yeah, right. no, it's wine. Yeah. It's, you know. it tastes like wine, red wine. Red, red wine. Sweet berry wine. That's grapes. So, we're gonna... <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. It's, it's a Steve Brewer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so 
So we're gonna we're gonna sit here, sip on some wine, and in a little while we're gonna cook some food. How about that, huh? Cooking food while you're camping. <laughs> To yeah. Total originality here, here on Small Plots. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make some food. I'm gonna make some food that you've never seen me make on Small Plots before. You're gonna see you're you're gonna see this clip of me talking about the food. You're gonna see a quick clip of me making the food, and you're gonna see me eating the food. Uh, I don't know what more you want. Thank God they got the I think that's the best I can do right now. All right, cooking up a burg, C cooking up a bit of a cheeseburg here. I don't know what, what that's supposed to accomplish. It's just for the effect, I guess. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. All right, here we go. We got the uh, cheeseburger. That's some wine on top. I spritzed some wine on top for flavor. Uh, and really, just really, just no reason at all. There's some uh, raccoon hair right there. It's not a big deal. All right, this is gonna be good. Just wait for the cheese to melt. Ooh, baby. That's looking good. I'm never gonna be able to use this pan in my house again. All right, here we go. Pretty medium rare. Is it? Yeah, I should have let it sit on. Is long. it really? <laughs> yeah. It's not too bad. It is my bad. I no, it's, actually, it's not too bad. It's actually more medium. It's not oh, bad. Oh, dude, your burger's on fire. Uh oh, yeah. my other burger's on fire. Oh, thank you. Huh? I don't know. I just need to let it go out. Yeah, it'll go out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Nice. Thank you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, your burger's on. That's burger number two. Here's burger number one. Flame broil, boy. Burger number fun. Uh oh. Okay, number two burger. Number two burger, looking good. Oh yeah, there's me with the useless steak again. You expect it to do something, but it doesn't. It didn't do anything. Okay, burger number two. Let's see how it's gonna taste. I bet probably pretty close to the first one. I cooked that very well. <laughs> it's well. Very well. I was, I was nervous. Good job. Yeah. Well, you, you know, did a good job. <laughs> It's tough to cook burgers in the fire, but yeah, it's delicious. That's, that's, that's quite delicious. I like well burgers, man. You know, yeah. With burgers, like I said, well, medium well. Yeah, I'll get, if, if it's a nice steak, I'll get medium rare, but regular burgers at a restaurant, if you're ordering medium rare, that's just a show off. You don't really yeah, like that. That's just ground beef. It's snowing. We got some snow. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on it, but it's nice. Guys, isn't it nice? It's, pretty, so it's nice. pretty nice. Oh my god. Pretty nice. Uh, we're trying to trying to save the fire. Everything's wet. It's been ice storming and raining it's for the past long, couple days. Long. And uh, everything's just soaked. So our fire is looking like this. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get it's there. Back, yeah, it. it's coming back. We're using pocket bellows and stuff. But uh, it is snowing. I think I think I think I can see it coming up on the camera. The, oh, yeah. the snow, yeah. for sure. It's snowing a little bit. It's coming. The fire's coming. Yeah, there it's it's either go. freezing or right above freezing. So I don't think the snow is going to stick. But it's nice that it's snowing. It is 33 degrees. Yeah, I should probably get a hood on or something. And the, the this jacket doesn't have a hood, and, and I'm just wearing shirts underneath it, so I don't have any hood. I should put a hood on. Put a hood on. I should put a hood on. Take it down. Take it. Take it down. Put your hoodie on. Dude, we're gonna get copyright strike. Oh yes. Ah, well, it was a fun night hanging around the campfire, but it's time for bed. We have a whole other day tomorrow and another night coming up. Uh, but for now, sleeping bags looking muddy fine. So unless anything uh, like totally sensational happens over the night, I'll see you guys in just a second. Well, that was a really great night's sleep. It was toasty. I didn't want to get out of bed, but I had to because we have more camping to do. I have a, have a few fun things planned for today. We'll make, probably get the fire stoked up soon. 
Um, I'd like to make some coffee, maybe some breakfast, add some bacon. Uh, then we'll probably explore the woods a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> and just kind of, you know, kind of kind of do the camping thing, do the stealth camping thing. No uh, disturbances last night of the person who would probably care that we're here. Uh, which is good. I thought, thought I saw somebody for a second. It really wasn't. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I don't think it's person. I hope. Nice beautiful snowfall here. Got the fire going. Where is it? I don't know. I can't even see the camera. Maybe you maybe I got it, maybe I didn't. You know what fire looks like. Ooh, hear that? That's where I'm gonna sit. That's where Sean's sitting. <laughs> Keeping it warm for you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. All right, time to bloom the grounds. Really just wanna bloom the grounds here. Get the grounds wet, let them chill for a minute or so. Blooming the grounds, baby. All right, let's get some coffee, Hoffman boy. Talks about you gotta get just even extraction. You gotta, yeah, you gotta get the well, even I'm extraction really of the bean. The even extraction of the bean. Yeah. It's looking kind of oily. Every now and again, I do get a little bit of oil on the top of the coffee. And some of the, some of the beans are oily. That's exceptionally yeah. strong. Exceptionally it's strong coffee. Stuff. It's going to perk me right up. Oh, boy. All right, going to cook this coffee. Cook this coffee. Going to cook that bacon drink this coffee. Uh, have ourselves a nice little morning here. Kevin, you want some garlic powder for your... For your mm, no, thank you. Rude. Ah. Ah uh, yes, my reward, my bacon, my bacony bacon reward. Mm. You can't beat it out in the woods. Out in the woods like this, you can't beat it. Not even gonna try to beat it. You shouldn't. You try to beat it. That's illegal. It's called assault. I don't want to beat it. <coughs> beat it. Okay, leaving camp, going on a little adventure, gonna explore around, see if we can't find a different route back to our access point, because the route we took initially is just terrible. It's a terrible route. It's through like swamps and prickers. It's a whole thing. So uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of a whole thing. Yeah, I, I didn't see nothing. Got something weird carved in this tree here. 500 TT. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Obviously carved long ago. Is that other words that were carved under? Yeah, this looks like there were other words carved under it that are, you know, no longer legible. Place is loud. He just cut the trees down and left them. Yeah, now we're kind of just yeah, surrounded by fallen trees. Yeah, the field was, was clearer than this. 
since this isn't the field that we want to, like the field was actually kind of weird and just rushed it. Give it. It feels like it could be rough. <laughs> There was just a super loud, really close shot, shotgun shot, well, rifle, gunshot, anyway, like really close. Hoping it wasn't like a warning shot. I don't see anybody. Huh. Hmm. Muzzle loading deer season, um, December like 12th through December 20th and December 26th through January 1st. Yeah, okay. It's like some stuff is being hunted. Why, why do I have the feeling someone's like watching us right now? That was super close. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing for the past. 20 minutes or so. So we started the fire back up again. <laughs> I'm not too worried. I don't think I don't think that was because of us. And if it is because of us, well then that's just may maybe some fabulous future content. In the, in the near future. We'll see. There's some lights from the houses over there. We're not super close, but we're not that far. Homie. Homie. We have the weather. You see the snow, it's snowing. It's a nice, it's a nice snowy night. This yeah. is kind of, hopefully this shows up how I see it. It's kind of cool. I get a little bit of the, uh, the woods behind me there. Yeah, it's nice. Got the snow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. So anyway, we're just uh, we're just sitting around the campfire in the snow. We're gonna cook some food soon. Sean's watching football on his phone. Yes, I'm watching the Buffalo Bills on a Saturday night. It's stupid. No more Saturday night games. I agree. I agree. Uh, but yeah, just kind of a really chill, relaxing night after that shotgun or rifle or whatever that was. Really close. Nothing. Nothing. Not so much as a stick crack. These woods are are dead. These are dead winter woods. Nothing. Nothing's going on here. We heard coyotes last night, but that's like it. A couple of birds here and there. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. Nice to be out here in the uh, in the in the wintry woods. <laughs> It's time to eat, baby. <laughs> Let me try that again. It's time to eat, baby. Okay, I'm using the pan again. I got my, I got some dogs. I got some bacon. We're frying them up. It's gonna be good. Sean is currently enjoying a similar experience. Yes. But with sausages instead of hot dogs. But and also the bacon. And some hot ones, hot sauce. And some hot ones, hot sauce. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. Yep. James isn't eating anything. He's just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited. I got this going. Ooh, ooh, I can already smell it. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Let me get that. Let's get that out of there. Just get it. Just get it. Yeah, yeah, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let me just. Ooh. Ooh. Almost done. Looking good. Smelling great. Just a bunch of bacon. And glizzies. My body is ready. Wow. Ah. That's fantastic. I really kind of <laughs> bit it weird. <laughs> a weird 
look there. Oh my god. Well, yeah, yeah, that's quite good. Can't complain about that. You can definitely tell there will be some. There'll be some what? Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, everybody, it's been a fun night hanging around the campfire, but now it is time for bed. It's in the uh, upper 20s Fahrenheit, but I'm, I'm all I'm all jacked up with the warmth, with the downs, with the with the goose feathers, with the synthetics. I'm all I'm all I'm all goosed up. So uh, unless anything like totally just sensational and sexy happens in the middle of the night, I'll see you guys in a second. Very restful sleep. Cold night, cold morning. Get down into the 20s last night. Uh, it's below freezing this morning. I'd say probably about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Just, it's just below freezing. <sighs> but time will soon come to pack up and leave our two day woodland paradise. Really nice patch of woods here. Yeah, really, really nice patch of woods. Ah, well, camp's all cleaned up here. It's just me and Sean. James had to get up for work a few hours ago. The campsite's all nice and clean. Fire is ice, it's ice, it's icy ice. According to Sean's uh, watch, it's 29 degrees. It's pretty cold. Quite nice, quite nice. Well, thanks everybody so much for a great 2022. This will be my last camping video for 2022. I've said it a few times, but for those who haven't heard it, there it is for you if you made it to the end of the video here. Uh, I will return with videos in February, but I just need to take some time off, uh, charge the batteries, do get, get through the holidays, all that stuff. Sean, do you have anything? Say to the fine people. Oh, I hope everybody has a safe and happy holiday season. Yes. And I, I hope it brings all, all of the joy that it could to you and yours. Wonderful. It's very heartwarming. Uh, well, this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, new episode, new episode, blah, blah, blah. Uh, episode of Small Plots <laughs> in like a month. Not <laughs> usually every Tuesday, but you're going to have to wait a month. And I'm going to be posting some other stuff, but it may not be on Tuesday. And it's, it's not going to be camping, probably. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, well, thanks for watching until the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on the, where's this guy going for a month, nextie? Mwah.